another Wednesday, or another wonderful night of Boba Fett. Ugh. That was stellar. I was not prepared for that. <laughs> Would you even that say it's the greatest of the three? Yes, in terms of enjoyment, I would say so. It was pretty mm. funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw a lot of people sharing the pictures of the of the people in those little scooters. Um, <laughs> I think it distracted a lot of people, understandably so. Super out of place. I had someone tell me um, on on Twitter. That the like the show is dope. Aside from those biker people, it's like <laughs> Aside. Geez, that's where you draw the line. I really that's think it is just like, too far. It's got to be aesthetic. It's got to be aesthetic for these people, right? It's like those people those don't fit in. So I've noticed they're bad. That makes sense that it's totally aesthetic. Because well, I guess Jay's people... saying, why isn't there anything else that they <laughs> like have issue with? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Remember when the Wookiee tried to kill Boba Fett? Kill? Like, I don't tank know if we and can... him a, a cuddle? Can we say that he tried to kill him, really, with what we no. saw? I don't think so. It seems like it's more of a... He was his... asleep! <laughs> I don't know how you fuck it up, but you managed to do it. You fucked up... I. It's like... This is a... Like, how does an assassin... It's the perfect ideal scenario. No one knows you're there. The, the Mark is sleeping. N I have no awareness that you are there. You have you no have just like, full need run to make it place. look like an accident or anything. No, no requirements like that. Yeah. Perfect setup. Just make the sleeping man be scenario. dead. You have weapons. No, you don't. Well, no, no, you, you do. I've seen you carrying no, one before. No, no, no that, that's, that's silly. So that's, um, Propaganda. I understand your confusion, but he Those doesn't have it. Show. They're not real. Yeah. He doesn't have like, it. Like, I don't, like, you shouldn't be writing a scenario in your story where the requirement for the plot is that a s assassin fails a kill on a sleeping man who he's alone in the room with. Like, wh why did you get to a position where you wrote those words? I mean, I'm supposed to be intimidated by this character, right? I think the problem here is that you need to, you need to, you, you see, that's not what the story's about, right? Mm -hmm. The story, thematically. yeah, thematically, the story is about something else, mm -hmm. right? Which means that, hmm, why can't you just enjoy? You're just like Cinema Sins. Why can't you just enjoy things? Yeah, like ooh, plot holes. Ooh, yeah. yeah, you're always you're There's always more like of a ooh, story this, than plot. Yeah, than logic or sense or world building. Or the characters Love and what is they the relinquishment do. of ro of logic. Yes, and logical patterns. That sounds like something like an abused spouse would say. That's what um. That's what Steve says in Hill House. Well, yeah, we don't have to agree with things. Well, he says a lot of things. Okay. He does. He said at the end. He says like walls are only bad. At one point, and it's like that's, what? That is true. He does say that. Um. So anyway, we're, we're live. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, we just saw the Boba Fett episode. I'm sure you're going to want to hear some tidbits, but you, you, you know, you'll get the full f throttle uh, in days from now, probably four or three or four. It was something. Uh, um, the main. I feel like I'm in shell shock almost. A little bit. Uh, it was really bad. Um, that was incredible. So, you know, let, let's get started, I suppose. Uh, first one says, hi, Mauler. Hello. Hello there. How you doing? Um, next one says, I, I really like the deleted father scene from Tasm 2. If Tasm 3 ever became a thing, uh, I hope they use it somehow. Andrew Garfield is a top-tier actor, even in a bad movie. True. That scene is pretty I'm cool. Not f I don't think I'm familiar with that scene. No, I don't I know what that's about. shared on Twitter. It's, um, it's the dad is still alive. Uh... And comes back to him and says he had to fake his death. I'm not sure how that makes any fucking sense, but the emotional, uh, uh, the, the 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 acting in that scene is, is top notch. because oh. Andrew Garfield's in. Um, He's a very good actor. He is. Got paid on vacation. Have some money. Thank you very much. 
Uh, this one says, hi, mama. I, I don't know who that's meant for. Which one of you is the mum? I, I, I don't know. Me. All right, well, there you go. Uh, if only S.H.I.E.L.D. weren't such D-bags and reimbursed Vulture for the money he spent, Hydra was in charge of relations, probably. Yeah. Well, um, they may have given him some level of reimbursement for the contract. The problem was that he'd taken out a bunch of loans to pay for additional trucks to get the best job done possible to make the most money. And I don't know that they would be, uh, they have to account for that, you know? Like, that's just something that he's lost now. Um, as, as, as that person said, he overextended himself. And then he punched him. Uh, why is Father Gascoigne so gassy? That's, that's, uh, I, don't I don't know, know. why? Plus, they don't have, they don't have a payoff. Oh, I thought that was like yeah. a joke or they just a like punchline. They really want to know, yeah. Oh my god. So I can't, I, I tweeted out that I thought Book of Boba Fett was embarrassing and someone <laughs> replied with, wait, why? So far I'm just like, it's like Mando, but just not quite as good. Oh, no. it's, oh my god. Oh my fuck. I don't get it. I don't understand. How can you be a, like a consumer of media in any critical regard and you think that this is good? I just like, I just like it's not quite as good as Mando, so how is it embarrassing? Yeah. And you're like, what? Because <laughs> Mando was great. Like, oh, to be fair, like, I'm a child. We we are a rare breed of people who think that Mandalorian season one and two are both shit. So, and a lot it of people think they're great. Be... I know, I know. A lot of people think they're great. I one of my one one of my friends the, the other while he he came to me and was like, "Have you seen the Mandalorian?" I was like, "I've seen a bit." He's like, "Yeah, I think it's some of the best Star Wars content oh. I've made." And I'm just like, "It's cool that you think that." Like, I'm just looking at him like, "I don't want to, I don't want to talk be about friends this with now. you." We're not media friends. Our We're not, not media friends. Things that you enjoy. <laughs> We're not media friends. Like I could, like we could be pals, but I just this is a thing that you can't have a discussion about. I was like, I'm happy to talk about like movies and stuff with him, but like you know, it's like I don't, I don't want to do them. Well, first of all, I haven't seen most of Mando, so I can't, I can't be going. Okay, so I think it's shit for this reason, this reason, this reason. I'm just like, I'm pretty sure it probably sucks, but I've seen like one episode, you know. So I can't, I can't even, I can't even have that discussion if I want to. But at the same time, I'm just like, I don't, I just want, I want to let you have fun with this. I don't want to start shitting on it. It's just, you know, you, you know that feeling when, when someone I from know. outside the circle says that how much they love a thing, where you, where you, where you know, where you're just like, oh no, oh no. The horror. Uh, as an eight-month-old member. I demand another Adam and Sitch episode. <sighs> Adam and Sitch episode. Yeah, we'll, we'll have them back at some point. Sure. Ban them. Ban that person. Oh my god. Ban. <laughs> uh, Watch Dogs Legion bad. Is it? I don't know. I don't know anything about that no game. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't know anything about it. Daredevil, good. Oh, yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, thoughts on Assassin's Creed, preferably the old ones. Um, I like the old ones quite a bit. I didn't really Likewise. play one. I loved two. And both Revelations and Brotherhood, I enjoyed and played. Uh, All right. I can't be too critical about them because it's been ages since I played them, but I remember really, really enjoying them. They came up, actually. We were asked if we could go back and replay a game oh, yeah. for the first time. Assassin's Creed 2 was on my uh, was on my maybe list. Well, there you go. The CDC recommends you wake in the morning and step outside and take a deep breath and you get real high and you scream at the top of your lungs, what's going on? Hmm. Alright then. Going down. Rags, you excited for Battlefield Friends returning? No. Uh, I never watched it. I don't have anything against it. I just never watched it. I hope it's good and I hope people enjoy it. I just don't know anything about it. I think it's weird, the timing. Because with 2042 state right now, the fact that people are abandoning it, Steam's giving refunds, looks like the sales are pretty troublesome. Um, that this is the time it comes back. I don't know. Maybe this is what the Battlefield series needs. Just something that isn't Battlefield. What it really <laughs> needs is for them to just go back to five and start adding more DLC to it. Because that game is the shit. Uh, Wario Land 4 is up there with the likes of Super Mario World, Super Metroid, etc. It's one of the most underrated classics from the big N. 
fucking Nintendo. The big... Oh, right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I never played it, Mario Land 4, I'm afraid. But, but you know, with that kind of recommendation, it does feel like, like ooh, you know? Mm. Uh, Boba Fett has a jetpack and he flies! Uh, he has a Rancor, he, he rides, he has Tuscans, he loves to die. Very, co <laughs> very cool dot. Also, Black Bear ain't got time to bleed. Um, we talk about the Wookiee, or does the... Uh, uh, it's all so bad. It's all so bad. 17 fully realized levels, each with different music, textures, and gimmicks. Excellent controls and bosses, three difficulty levels, Wario Land 4 belongs in a museum. Play it when you get the wow. chance. Yeah, yeah, it sounds belongs in a museum. A museum of Wario games. Hmm. Uh, are you guys gonna watch Peacemaker when it comes out tomorrow? Um. I don't know. I yeah. I, uh, you guys said you would be interested in we. I'm interested doing it in together. It. I'm interested. I have interest. This is true. Yeah. Right now, I'm just in the phase where I'm worried to consume- if, if, like, once I really like a character, I'm instantly afraid to ever consume anything it's relating to that character James again. Gunn. It's made by James Gunn. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. I, I'm still worried. I'm still just yeah. worried. I'm just still worried. I mean, he, I, am, I, I, I am interested in seeing it. I just, I just don't know the nature in which we will be seeing it, you know? I just don't know. I'm sorry. What am I doing tomorrow? Well, today. Rags, you're my secretary. What are we doing? Well, you have an appointment booked. Uh, Boba Fett's going to come into your office no, at no, 2 p.m. No. And he's going to have a bunch of weirdo biker cyborgs outside. No. Uh, don't worry about them. Um, you can't escape. This is your fate now. And no matter what you do, it will inexplicably uh, not work out, regardless of how much you've planned or prepared. I don't like that that's the reality, but I suppose that's the reality. <laughs> Jay, I'm doing a piss to you who knows the other one. I know. But it's still funny. And I, yeah, I would go with uh, the left, because the right doesn't seem to want to kill anything, but the left, uh, you know, hitting someone with a kettle over the head, that could kill yeah, him. Yeah, I could kill him. You're right. And you know, the, I think his targets weren't asleep, so he's got the, um, he's got the edge, I think, there. Because mm -hmm. you know, that was, that is trickier when they're not asleep. True. Uh, what's the worst false positive report for SJW Tisms you've heard about a show or a movie? Can oh, Bly? ooh, the Bly Manor one. Ooh, Drinker's Bly Manor one was really bad. Um, is it the worst? I don't know. That's definitely well, up there, though. You know what? Actually, no, it's no um, bullshit. Yeah, no bullshit. Infinity War. Oh, right. yeah, that's true. There was yeah, also the a suspicious... giant midget in the movie. Yeah, the giant midget one. <laughs> that might take the cake. <laughs> And you know the the they they made a Hulk. They made him. He was the Marvel's most manly character, and they had to strip him down by giving him erectile dysfunction. And this this really this is really seems like an agenda driven thing here. The suspicious amount of women too. Hey, like, he that he said that about Black Panther. So this is still no bullshit. Same video. It is the same video though. Uh, in Spido Three. One, the butler scene is replaced with a shorter, better scene of Harry looking sadly at a picture of his friendos. Also, Sandman gets one last scene with his daughter before the climax. Those are the deleted scenes, yeah. Uh, if Spido 3 is a 3 out of 10, then 3.1 would be a 3.5 out of 10. Very well, maybe, sure. I don't think I ever saw a 3.1, is that what it's called? Because I know that 2.1 was the, um, the second film was one of that, so. Interesting. Uh, the only thing I want from She-Hulk is a shoe-busting scene that I can watch over and over and over and over again, etc. Uh, shoe-busting? Like she breaks shoes? Uh, I guess so. I really don't know. I'm Yeah, I'm sorry. I just don't know what you mean by that. Um... Maybe it's like a shoe fetish. Or a foot fetish. I don't fucking know. Uh, Eternals arrived on D+. Will you watch or review? Oh, it's it's on there. That's nice. That's great. Good for them. Yeah. Good for them. Jay, you gonna rush onto that one or? Yeah, review Eternals. The I might have. Um, it's tempting to review Eternals. It could be fun. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe. 
I've got so much other stuff I want to do first, though. That's the thing. Name one other thing. Well, my, my current list has finished the current video, which is about um, reaction content on Twitch and YouTube. Um, then we've got... Uh, then I want to move on to the No Way Home video. Then I want to do another Life Season 2, finally. And then it's probably going to be, like, next year. Oh. But then I also want to do Lego Star Wars. I want to do... You know, all that stuff. You want to do a video about how bad KOTOR is, right? How yeah, yeah, yeah. How bad the story in KOTOR is? Yeah, yeah, I want to do a bad, a bad about how story the KOTOR in... Hang on, I've lost... I've run out of words. I'm familiar with this KOTOR. Say Crooked Hillary with best Trump impression. Crooked Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, actually, I don't know. That's a toughie. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. That was real that. good. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, crooked yeah. Hillary. It's fucking... It's good she's shit. crooked. I know it. You know it. We all know it. What, I was about to say she's slimy. No, what does he say? She's nasty. Nasty woman. Nasty woman. Nasty woman. <laughs> you can call uh, by the way, I just want to let you know that I'm alive <laughs> and in slimy. good health. He's slimy. He's slimy, slimy, gooey woman. woman. Gooey, gooey woman. woman. <laughs> Uh, EFAP she movies. Uh, EFAP movies record, I guess. Uh, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Ooh, Gold. that would probably be a good one. Oh, I've seen that. The first minute is really fun. Oh. It's and then oh! That's shockingly, like, good for the movies that we often watch. Hmm. So, like, the first, the first, like, I don't know, like, there's a, there's a world building scene at the start that's really, like, it's, it's totally great. It does a great job establishing the setting and the history. And then they, like, build a really crap story or, like, on top of it. Oh. Ow. Well. But it's a great scene. I, I really like okay. the scene. Okay. We can watch it for that and then just make fun of the rest. Yeah, I'd totally be down for that. Um... Gold tier, what the fuck from the creator of Fifth Element. No Mila though, sad face. Hi, Rug. Hi. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe we'll check it out at some point. Sounds like an EFAP movie. Paid off my student loans, have some interest, and I uh, that I saved thanks to the beer bug, beer bug de deferments. Cheers. Thank you very much. I'm glad beer you bug? glad you did. Hmm. The um, yeah, cause cause cor Corone. Karoon. Ah. Karumbo. Um, Karoony. I had a teacher called Karoon. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay, I, I've recovered. That's good. So, do, 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 do. But yeah, paying off student loans, man. That's good shit. They can be pretty annoying. They're like a little tentacle monster that just attaches themselves to your stuff, and you're like, hey, love it, and kick them off. Gonna like, try... I hate tentacle monsters. Mm -hmm. Gonna try using Linux as my daily driver. WML. It's WML, dude. Wish me luck, I'm oh, guessing. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It does make sense. Um, Imagine well, yes. being able Good to luck. determine what something is because of it makes the most sense. Mm. It's nice to be in the real world again. Ah. Fritz the Cat EFAP when? I've never actually seen that and watched it. I've yeah, seen I'm, clips, but I'm I haven't unfamiliar. sat down and like watched that show. Um, are you a fan of older Rockstar games like Manhunt and the Warriors, early mid two thousands era? I have not played them. I'm just not familiar. Uh, yeah, I'm not familiar. Um, Gun Train or McMuffin Train? <laughs> well. I like Gun Train. No, what the fuck was the point of McMuffin Train? Is it like you just go around chucking up <laughs> muffins at people? I just feel like they want to compare Gun Train to uh, the McMuffins from Rise of Skywalker. Those good little triangle bros. Um, but yeah, I'll go with Gun Train for now. Feels like it has a bigger cool factor. Cooler than what? Sorry? McMuffin Train. Hmm. McMuffin Train? Yeah, McMuffin Train doesn't seem cool, but guns are very cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Jay agrees. That's why we never see them in Mando, a show that is... Or, fuck, Boba <laughs> Fett. Um, I have become exponentially more hated by my normie content consumer friends and have all of you to thank for it. <laughs> that means you're doing God's work. 
I can just picture, are you the stick in the mud friend? Is that what's happening? It's like, yay, Boba Fett uses his, his jetpack. Woo! And then you're like, well, Yeah, this is Star Wars. Well, yeah, well. Um, Muller, I know you watched and liked The Grey with Liam. Did you watch Monster Calls as well with him? If yes, what are your thoughts? I have not seen that. Nor do I recognize uh, at all, actually, I'm afraid. Any of you guys know of this this creature called Monster Calls? I don't know Monster Calls. I know that, um, I know the gray is incredible. True. So, yeah, we're in agreement there. Uh, love the book of Mussolini. Hmm. Oh, all right. I don't know if any of you guys have any thoughts on that. Uh, I've not that, seen it. That, I, I saw a meme about Boba Fett being Mussolini or something, I think. I don't remember where, though. Just ringing a bell. I'm not sure I quite understand, but I agree. Good, it's good that you agree. Jay, you have a moral obligation to steal your friend's feelings. Also, your voice sounds different. Hope you're feeling better from that cold you had. I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot better actually. Um, my my voice, yeah, hasn't recovered yet. My throat's still very sore, but I think that's just left over from all the coughing and stuff. Mm-hmm. Because, like, my headache is gone, and it's real nice to be able to just, like, think. Oh, I've missed that. Mm -hmm. Are you guys still getting badgered about arcades? Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I like how Jay's like, I can finally think again. Time for Book of Boba Fett. Yay. Oh, yeah. Woo! Book of Boba Fett's quite good for clearing the mind, you know? Because it, it fo you focus so hard on how stupid everything is that it just gives you some f clarity, you know? Disney is the intellectual palate cleanser. Mm -hmm. Minority Report is really bad. It's like Knives Out. Oof. I haven't seen it in ages, so I can't really I'm say. I'm not familiar enough with it. I think that's a very spicy take. I thought everyone I'm, really As far as I know, it. yeah. It's a spicy take, yeah. I mean, it literally has minority in the title. It's probably what That is pretty hateful. Uh, if you press this button, all media in the world will become much better. However, there is also a non-zero chance that Movie Bob will attain power. Do you take that gamble? <sighs> say that. Say that again. If you press this button, all media in the world will become much better. However, there is also a non-zero percent chance that Movie Bob will attain power. Do you take that gamble? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. He's really evil. There's yeah. a non-zero chance already. I'm worried that the non-zero could be like 99, and therefore I'd be like, no. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to risk like, that. All it confirms is there's a non-zero chance, which I think is the world we're already in. So I'll take that. That's true. I guess there is. That's also define power. Well, that's the problem. They're vague enough that I worry. Yeah, he could become like a McDonald's. Well, so that you are, it's like a monkey paw wish, where it's like the non-zero chance is a hundred percent, and it's power yeah, and over the whole with world. Yeah. Because you are right that it's non-zero right now, but I have no worry about him right now. Meanwhile, this little spell that this wizard is casting, I'm like, mm. It could be a 20%, so... Yeah, mm. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Media's gonna stay as shit as it is. I don't want to risk Movie Bob killing everyone. Yeah. Uh, high rags and metal is gay. No, you Hi. Uh, please, Kylo Meesum, does it hurt and don't stop? Wait, they just want, they want us to say those those things as Kylo, I guess? Does it hurt? I can't, you're the, you're the person who does the Kylo voice, so this one's on you. Well, surely everyone can do it, right? Because it's like a goofy... His voice is kind of goofy, like, in general. He is, he is very goofy in general. I want the to be voice free of this pain. Like, he talks like this. Very strange. Don't like stop. he's kind of stopped up. Yeah, like I don't know how to describe it really. It just, it's just a goof voice. It's like a, I don't know. He's a, a goofy voice. Mola, what was your favorite bit in Smiling Friends? Mine was the Renaissance Man. That was pretty fucking <laughs> that funny. That was pretty good. The Renaissance Man joke was really funny. It's it's almost even, uh, fun to explain it in terms of like like when when you watch it with someone that you're like the funniness of this is the core misunderstanding they're having as the conversation goes on. Like, yeah, yeah. it's so fucking awesome. I, I was very happy with that. Um, it's a really good Chekhov. 
You see, you know? they, they do it, like, in almost every episode. The, the little opening conversations they have in their little office, there's usually something that comes up that'll be relevant. That's relevant, yeah. Um, what does this man coming? What, what, what does that mean? I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> just the fact that... <laughs> like, it's like, I don't know, I was just reading it out. They're not even of the era! era. <laughs> I don't... That, that they're not even dress rides, it it's not the era. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I told you that they would be coming, but you didn't believe me. It's like, you, you knew? You knew that they'd come here and kill? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, that dialogue was fun as fuck to listen to between yeah. them. Even oh, like yeah. the, the Christmas episode where they have their argument, it's really well written. The uh, It feels yes, like it a is. real conversation. Well, I feel like that's the strength of the show, is that it's like these absurdist, weird characters reacting realistically to the situations that they're confronted with. I recommend it. It's really um, good. It'll take you an I hour and you'll watch like the whole season. show, so, you know. Yeah, and they better make another season. Do it. How long is the season, sorry? It's like an hour and a half, because it's eight episodes that are about ten minutes long. Yeah. So you ah. can watch it very quickly. Good shit. I reckon you'd like it, Jay. <laughs> I've already seen the, the pilot episode, was it, on YouTube? Did you like that? I liked it a lot. <laughs> yeah, I want to watch the show. I love kids, Yeah, Charlie. the Renaissance Medic Crusaders. <laughs> the Renaissance <laughs> Medic Crusaders. Like they that. just come in and shoot arrows at them. <laughs> and then right off. <laughs> and the riding off is, like, not animated properly either. It's just yeah. bobbing up and down. <laughs> <laughs> I do love a whole episode just for a blackface joke as well. That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. That sounds racist. Oh, I it. it totally I don't even know what it is, and I love it. I mean, it wasn't at all, but it was funny. So that's the important part. I even um, How could it be funny without being racist. I showed I that understand. clip on uh, uh, Real BBC actually, and I was like, "You all should watch this. You'll like it. Pretty edgy." Edge and the edge. Uh. I still can't believe Fringy said Canada isn't a real place. It's kind of messed up, man. That's, I never said that. False and defamatory. Oh, I can't, now you hit more lies, I see. I was about to say, now, you, now you're making some big claims about that guy, so... I'll yeah. that guy. How could you lie about Fringy? Yeah, prick. <laughs> My god, it's just no slack is being cut today, huh? They're no. like the Renaissance men. <laughs> they don't even look like Renaissance. This is the wrong <laughs> fucking time. <laughs> Not even of the era. It's not even of the era. <laughs> they just I come in and kill them and leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucking hilarious. It's uh, so good. I all I noticed on not Captain Marvel's Two's IMDb two page that there is no writer credited. Wiki claims Megan McDonnell is writing the screenplay, but her page has no mention of it either. Any thoughts? Who knows um, how things are written for the Marvel movies anymore? Yeah, <laughs> who gets the job? Why would you take credit for it? All oh, kinds of different questions. I assume maybe just no one wants to own up to the fact that they did it. Yeah. I assume the first draft is like it's done by like predictive text on a mobile phone, and then they sort of just you know <laughs> work with it. And then Captain Marvel destroys draft? the spaceship, and she is so amazing. <laughs> wow, this mobile phone is great. Uh, any chance of EFAP mini reaction for Arcane episodes? <laughs> um, I doubt it. No. Um, P A T O D. Oh, this I, f I used to know what that stood for, but I've completely forgotten. It's about dinosaurs. Was it like? Dinosaur of the day or something Philosopher like that. Philosopher at Dinosaur... Philosopher no, this one isn't that. Because the... there's no way this one's that, isn't it? That you'd never think this is a fucking philosopher. It's Basilosaurus. Well, that that's a philosopher. Okay. <laughs> it also says hi, Rags. Oh, hi there. Um, Speaking of philosophers. Are we supposed to Google the... I can't remember what the, the instructions were with this. Let's have a look at a Basilosaurus. Oh, it's a water one. Whoa. He's a big boy. Neat. Um, 
This was the most embarrassing 30 minutes of Star Wars I've ever seen. I literally can't comprehend what just happened. I really have nothing else to say. Sorry. Like, <laughs> don't worry about it. We were pretty baffled, too. Uh, yeah, this might... It might be the most embarrassing. I don't know. It's off, It's not the worst, objectively, but I, it, it was really embarrassing. Yeah, I, I'm... Like... And the fact that people, like... I don't know, people just saying that... So many people are saying, are just picking out the biker gang, like, this is so bad. Like, I don't get why, why is that the thing? No, I get exactly why that's the thing. It's because it looks dumb. Like, is that all? Yeah, there's so much the more The assassin that was sent without a weapon who couldn't kill a sleeping person. <laughs> like, can The we... huts just go and yeah. fuck it, we're out, bye. Like, what? Bye, you killed our unarmed, or you kept something. Um, some reason for something. I think the first test of, of an assassin should be, can you kill a sleeping person th like, that you're alone <laughs> in a room with? Can you do that? No. Oh, that's so hard. You've had, you have all the weapons that you've decided to bring with you on your assassin job. Can you kill the target discovering that they are asleep when you've arrived? It's like what you use for assassin practice. Yeah. Like, okay, this is a person. Right? And um, you need to kill them. So you could use this method and this method. And see here, that's that's the neck. You can stab that. You could shoot them in like, this place or this place. Let's say you're um, let's say you're a master assassin and you're training an apprentice assassin and they're on the job with you. You can be like, oh, um, I want you to get used to the um, the feeling of killing a, another living person. You know, that's not, you know, it's not trivial if, if you've never done it before. So I want you to get used to it. So since this target's asleep, I'm just going to give you the knife and I'll let you do this one. It's important that you get used to that feeling now before, you know, you're... you're yeah. Uh, We're not just going to send you out on an, ass an important assassination ass a mission and you just have never done this before and you don't know what's happening or what's going on or where you are or what the job is because we don't want you freezing up and becoming a, the, the hero of your own story because th that would right. be bad. Yeah. Well, well you, you have no idea how confident. much I want to reference Teapot Man, but no one will understand. I know, it's okay. Uh, thoughts it's on teapot. Thoughts on Hawkeye, Arcane, Cobra Kai, Season Four. Oh so no! None no. of us have seen all of <laughs> any of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all we've got is Fringy Saw Hawkeye Episode One. Yeah, that's the best you got from me. <laughs> oh, I guess you can give your opinion on that. I don't think it was very good, but I mean, I'm not in a rush to find out what they do for the rest of the season. I got really put off when I found out what they did to Kingpin. Um, yeah, that that was definitely a thing of like, oh man, I don't think I want to watch this. Sorry. I was for Arcane. It's it's happening. It's gonna happen. It's happening. It'll Death happen. Games. It's happening. As for Cobra Kai, all I've heard is good things, but I obviously I haven't seen any of it. So watching season four is gonna be a while from now, if ever. Yes. Um. Seems like someone at Disney watched the Top Gear Vietnam special and based the biker gang on Clarkson's moped. What a joke. Um. <laughs> I don't know how to explain what that was. Um, I don't know what kind of drugs one has to imbibe in order to think that that really any of that episode was a good idea. All we can point Not to. Not even a good idea. Like I, I, I feel like good idea is pushing it too far. I don't know what drugs anyone was on to consider any of that episode acceptable. <laughs> acceptable, yeah. All we can point to is that at the end, it said, written and created by John Favreau. No. But he's cool. He's yeah. very cool. How can how do you maintain cool? How many of these episodes do you have to make before you lose your cool factor? He made well, the Lion King remake. Yeah, did not shut Jay up. I didn't shut up. <laughs> um, as the Grey is undersold as Liam fighting wolves instead of depression and suicide in trailers, Monster Calls trailers show CGI monsters, goofy CGI, etc. Movies about dealing with loss. I highly recommend. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. Um, it feels yeah, like but... just the mismatch of marketing versus the content, like almost afraid to show people what it really is because it's yep. not popular or mainstream enough. Yeah, it's super lame. frustrating. Yeah. Uh, were the Power Rangers in Book of Boba Fett Episode 3? So... Um, when I first saw a screenshot on Twitter of, it was the shot of them arriving, um, I thought it was photoshopped, I was like, uh, I don't know why, maybe this is a joke referencing something, like, because they just seemed so out of place. 
Um, which I think is just what's distracting everyone right now, is yeah. how out of place they are. Because um, I don't think we've ever seen anything like that in Star Wars. Not that you can't ever have anything well, like that in Star Wars. No, I think they would fit in, like, Coruscant or something. I think Maybe. Like some... Coruscant, even yeah. in Coruscant, I would want a specific Maybe. setting. Like, some kind well, of... Yeah. like the issue with, like, Jets to De Dexter, right? The, the 50s bar. It's like, hmm. Maybe a little competition he's running. That fits more on Tatooine. That fits more on Tatooine than Coruscant. What, Dexter's bar? Yeah. I don't know. Did you look kind of similar? The <laughs> Power Rangers, yeah. Uh, the thing about Coruscant is, I guess we haven't seen enough of all of its districts. It might like. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Wow, yeah, so we haven't seen the shitty cyberpunk district yet. One in chat is like, Jay, upload videos. Yes. Yeah, Jay, what the fuck? Sorry. You got. Jay and me not doing a Q&A. Yeah, that's true. You've got that. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, probably one of the, the funnest of the cuff things I've done. <laughs> that has got, like, put into a video. <laughs> that's its own video. People people who, who yeah. don't watch my second channel, you know, they're missing out. Yeah. It's really funny. It was funny for us. That's it was funny for funny. us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> So, this one says, Hi, do you think the guard fit in the tub or not? Um, I think the, Excuse the, me. wait, so, is this about Boba Fett? Well, but, the guard fit in the tub? Because, so, um, the Gamorrean guard in the back to tank is my guess. Well, why would, I, I don't know, why, what, 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 Would he fit in there? I, I guess he probably would. Maybe, I don't know. I think Boba's the only one allowed in the tub, though. <laughs> It's his dub. Well, until the guard was told, they put him in there. Oh, sorry, so is that- bit. was that a line he in the- He got bitten. Yes, yeah, so they put him in the- in the tank. Oh. Okay. Uh, would the guard fit in there? I- uh, I think so. I think if you squeezed in, yeah, probably fit. Yeah. I'd have to have a look, but I'm not sure. Uh, thanks to the clip of smiling friends on Nerdrotic Longman. Any more thoughts on the show? And have Raggers, Jay, and Fringle watched as well. Uh, I watched it with Fringy. So. Mm -hmm. I would be happy to show, like, Jay and Rags if they want to see it. I mean, it's good shit. It's what, sorry? Uh, smiling friends. I imagine you, Jay will probably try to see that regardless. I don't know about Rags. Oh, yeah, Rags. I really want to watch Smiling Friends. Rags would probably like it. I imagine. I've heard good things about it. Um, a monthly reaction of one episode of TOS when? Uh, TOS. The Terms original. Service. <laughs> Is that <laughs> the Star Trek, the original series, they say? Or? The, I, I guess, but I don't have any interest in watching that, really. I don't oh, I'd know. Love to watch that. I don't know what an EFAT reaction to that would look like. I feel like it wouldn't be as. Entered. Yeah, we would just. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's got a lot of good stuff for EFAT Rex because it's got it's got like just funny of its time stuff. It's got stuff that really hasn't aged well, and both in like the effects department and choreography, but also in like script and uh, value stuff. But it's also got a lot of good stuff in there, and there's a stuff to actually take out and appreciate in it. And it's fine, you know, Jay. It's, it's, I'll watch it with be you. Really, all be right. really fun for EFAT. Yeah, it'll be fun. If you do it, I'll do it. But if you don't do it, I won't do it. I see. I am the long. This is my show. I eat the frog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, he gets to the point. You can't deny that. Yes, good stuff. Sufficient. Hello, boys and rags. What are some of your favorite aesthetics in media? Uh, I really like love. I'm a man. I love future western like Firefly, Fallout, and Borderlands, etc. Hmm. That's a cool one. I don't know that I have any favorites. I like. I, just I like really them all. like. Um, so just aesthetics like that you see in in stories. Yeah, though um, I'm bored of fucking I mean, sand. I will say that. I really. Yeah, like I'm steampunk. really. Yeah, I don't ever want to see sand again. <laughs> Fuck sand. Steampunk is cool. Victorian. Steampunk is very cool. I like fantasy um, stuff. I like uh, castles and 
good, you know, cool cities made out of stone and stuff. I really stone like Blade stuff. Runner aesthetic. That kind of cyberpunk that's not like too in your face. Yeah. A little bit more toned down. What about you, Jay? What? I forgot, I forgot to listen. Wow. What about you, Metal? Um, I've always really liked the, the Warhammer style. Oh, like just the, the, the aesthetic of that in general. Like, doesn't even matter if it's like the uh, Total War style or the 40k style. I guess 40k. Is 40k the space one, generally? Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like those. I think those are probably my favorite. Just going off the cuff. Um, Jay should have figured out the question. By yeah. Um, Jay, what I, what ex what aesthetics <laughs> in media do you like? I like a lot of them. Liar. I guess um I guess <laughs> my 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 gripe was just I, I like it when things look practical. Um, me too. Yeah. So like. Hashtag me I too. Mean, even aesthetically, I like it more when they look practical. So like. Um, a lot. I, I hear people discussing like sword stuff on Sword Tube, right? A lot of Sword Tube people will say stuff like, "Well, you know, there's a trade-off between a sword looking cool and actually being practical." And then they'll show two swords, and it'll be like, "No, I think the practical one looks way cooler." Absolutely, yeah. I I, I really like a good practical utility sort of yeah. thing. You know, like just it it looks sleek, it looks elegant, it looks nice. It looks like it was built to do a thing. And that appreciation I have for that is immense. Yeah. 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 I, 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 that's the kind of thing I favor. I don't mm -hmm. like silly... Like, I really like fantasy stuff, but I fucking hate, like, um, like MMO-style fantasy where everything's just obnoxious and glowing. You mean like Blizzard-style where everything's yeah, really Yeah, and shoulder big. pads are as big as... Barns. Um, I think yeah, the and you've got is, like. I I don't. I think the style is fine. I think the problem might be that there are so many, like, uh, clones of that style. Um, I no. I just. I, mean, I, 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 still, I really don't I, like it. I think okay, it can okay. work as a style. Nothing like, like it's just. I think. Well, sure, nothing can, looks practical. It all looks yeah. silly. And well, you don't want it to be. You don't want it to be a grounded setting. You want it to be maybe I, uh, know, like a comedy or something where the stakes aren't that important. I, I can, I, I think, um, I like, because you see, like, Diablo 3 leans a lot more into that Blizzard style, and it seems like Diablo 4 is going for more of a, it's like stylized realism, more so. Like, it's, every things are a little bit exaggerated, like, a little bit unrealistic, but not pushed too far. Uh, I think it looks really cool. You can definitely make it work. <coughs> It's just not a style that I am particularly, uh, that I really enjoy at all. Yeah, I like, when I look at a character, or when I have items or skins I could put on my, my warrior or my whatever I'm doing, I want to be like, oh yeah, that would protect me. I'm not just running around here with just no armor covering my entire belly area. It, you know, it's just, there. there's something to having a good practical piece of equipment and kit that I really like. Looking at it and knowing it'll probably actually do Me. what it's supposed to do. Yeah, fair enough. Hey, fam, did you know there's a Spider-Man called Spider's Man? Literally thousands of spiders mind controlled into thinking they're Peter Parker. I heard of that. Oh, yeah. it's a million ants, basically. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming this predates a million ants, but yes. Yeah, sure, but I still a million ants is the reference in my head for that type of I thing. I hope it's from a comedy. It's probably a very serious drama. Uh, well, you never know with comics, really. What's your order for remaining EFAPs that need Super Chat catch-ups? I assume the cur current catch-up and then the latest EFAP go to the front of the list. Aside from those, what's the current standing order? Uh, I would have to check, but yeah, the way it works right now is there's a backlog that's all in order of when they came in, but then those get superseded by anything that we can finish off that comes in new, uh, so that we don't uh, increase the backlog ever necessary. Well, I mean, I guess you still could at that point, but the intention is to not increase at all and just keep keep shaving it down. Um, 
It'd be neat if it turns out Boba is breaking bad of Star Wars, where he uses Tuscan Jesse to take over Tatooine, but redeemed by Bink's shredder death. What? <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for that to make sense. I like Tuscan <laughs> Jesse though. It's gonna make some meth with Tuscan Jesse. Sand meth. Um, blasters are more mythical than the Force now. Yeah, no one has any. <laughs> yeah, it because it would really make a lot of these fights difficult if they just had guns, so he can't do that. Mm -hmm. Which is weird because Mando, a, a lot of people, more people had guns. It still was dumb how a lot of people just didn't have guns, but at least more people had guns. They just magically would never hit anything. They would only hit Mando and his armored parts stubbornly. Um, he would take obscene amounts of hits to only his, his armor, which I guess that's better. Um, about the adaptation argument, manga creators are usually the only ones who do the stories, so there's no different versions to consider definitive, and anime is usually one-to-one, -one, so it's interesting that business choices make such a difference. Yeah, I mean, certainly compared to, like, Western adaptations, the, uh, I'm pretty sure the faithfulness of comic to, or source to, to anime is very much, um, way more similar. The interesting one is, um, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, right? Like, they made the first mm. anime before the books were finished. So there's a different ending to the FMA Brotherhood. I don't even remember that ending anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, true. Rewatched EFAP 100. Tonald has a point. Thank you all for providing unparalleled entertainment and insightful criticism. Wow. Tonald has a point. Much. Tonald does have a point. Also, I shall leave you already because I have to go back to work tomorrow. So. Oh my goodness. Right okay, bye, Metal. Bye, bye, bye. I'll catch you Ew. all around. Kisses. Wow, he didn't say kisses back. That is kind of fucked up. Mm -hmm. He's too busy doing kisses. True. Bringy, watch Succession to let these massives know how good it is and fully worth investing time and potentially an EFAP onto it. Ooh. I would like to watch it, yeah. I've heard nothing but good things. At 11.27 in Gary's new Hawkeye review, he sees a diverse family and then spends 15 seconds laughing as he forgot adoption exists and the, and the mum is a BW? Black Widow? Black woman? Black woman? Oh. Uh, Oh, well, we're, we're keen to we get the black widow, part. Maybe, yeah. Well, either way, black widow, black woman, they're all... Well, they're not all black, but they are all women. Wait, could you read that again? What was the, what was the, what was so the question? It, Gary's new Hawkeye review, he, he sees a diverse family and spends 15 seconds laughing as he forgot adoption exists and the mum is a... BW. Like I said, I think that's... Is that oh, black Oh, okay, yeah, that makes more sense, right? Black if the Widow, Black so Widows, can't have black widows are, they can't have kids, so that they have oh. to adopt. Oh! Oh! So that, that oh, wow. totally follows that. Adopting a kid that isn't your color? Cringe. <laughs> well, um, I'm assuming he would that he would argue that, like, the, the, they didn't choose a white child, which is deliberate on their part or something, but yeah, I don't think, right, I don't think we would care. care if they were adopted. Yeah. I don't care. No, I do care if they were adopted. They're they're a lesser person. <laughs> no, yeah. I thought we settled that. Wait, yeah, are we pro adopted people or <laughs> We are absolutely the pro adoption anti people. We're anti -people. Oh, so Gary so. is adopted, right? I uh, I don't know if that would have any relevance to his perspective on this though. Um uh, we wouldn't oh, we, it's just, it would be strange that he would forget. Is, is well, all, um, yeah. I don't know if I didn't. Uh, did he know that well, the lady's a black, black woman? Black yeah, made, Black Widow. Uh, sorry, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, what I was gonna say is that we said that orphans can't own their own blood. I can't remember if we were pro or anti yeah. though. Well, yeah. So as long, so long as they don't own their own blood, they're good. Sorry, so long they as they don't claim to own their own blood legally they by can't. the blood's owner. Hmm. That's, a lot of contracts. That goes stuff. against God. Jesus. Uh, spoiler. In Breaking Bad, is what Gus does after he's blown up silly, uh, and over the top, or fitting? I've always seemed a bit cartoonishly silly to me. Um, I can definitely see the argument for saying it's over the top, but I quite liked that he corrects his, uh, his clothing. That's the last thing he does, yeah. Because he's 
He's such a prideful He's man. He's Gus. He is, yeah. So, I don't know. Um, it's a bit, it's a little bit absurd, but it's probably medical support that There's you could last a couple seconds yeah. after a thing like that. There's got to be precedent, I would imagine. It's extreme, but, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I always found it pretty effective, but I can understand someone being like, what? That's silly. But, I mean, he dies anyway. Like, Yeah, so, so it's know. no big deal. How did Boba get punched in the face by a spiked fist Wookiee and not have a mark? This show, he should have just, that should probably kill him. It's it's electric, it's spiked, it's a knuckle a duster, Wookie. it's a Wookiee, yeah. Yeah. It makes you wonder, like, what does this add to your, you just having a fist that you punch people with? <laughs> just like Zappy a, fist. It's, just, it's bad enough it's a, it's a Wookiee fist, but it's a fucking knuckle dusted Wookiee fist. It's like, with <laughs> giant spikes electrified, it's just uh, insane. Yeah. Uh, EFAP chat. Tells EFAP to watch something good. EFAP, watch his book of Boba Fett. You do this to yourselves, massives. <laughs> Look, hey, okay. we didn't know it wasn't going to be good, did we? No, you got to watch yes, it to figure that out. Yeah. yeah, we knew in our hearts. Well, I feel that we are studying it, all right? It is our purpose. Like, it, it should be in a laboratory. Well, because I was about to say, like, you know, EFAP community, they rely on us to a degree to keep up with Star Wars. Even without having, like, they don't want to watch it, but they'll be interested to see what's happening yeah. here and there. You know, it's like stepping stones. I don't want stones. them to watch it. Yeah, no, I, I certainly wouldn't recommend it. Um, but thinking about it, it's like... If if episode 10 is to be made at some point, and for some reason it references all these shows, you know, EFAP are going to need that continuity, okay? You need to know. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I don't know if we'll be able to keep that up once they release like 10 shows per year. Uh, it's going to get tough. Hello, yes, all. It is. We've heard a bunch about your favorite animals, but what are some of your least favorite animals? Mosquito. I don't know. Yeah, um, mosquitoes. Yeah, they suck. Cockroaches. I don't like flies. Fucking flies annoying. are a big one. Yeah, especially the flies that are like drain flies and things like that. Just well, there's a lot of annoy you. Um, in the insect world that are terrifying to me. The more I find out about different things about them and stuff. Yeah, the praying that, like, mantises are pretty mean. I like yeah. them though. Yeah, they're kind of cool, um, but they're mean. I think the ones that just exist to be parasites or whatever, it's like, ugh. Yeah, like, yeah like, little, things like the, that, the, yeah. That, like, worm that burrows into your leg and grows like a meter long. Fuck isn't, that that like, one. isn't there like a, a little fish that swims up your pee and lives in your cock? The or Kandiru! Do <laughs> you know the name of it? Yeah, from the Adventure Bros. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> Uh, oh wow, Yoshi rolled a triple, triple eight. He gets ten Which coins, Mario that's it. Are you playing? And four. Um, you should have gotten like a hundred coins for that. Um, but yeah, that, that covers a lot. Chat, what have you got? What's the, the brain worms? Yeah. Ugh. A lot of them are insects and parasites, really. Just yeah. shit that should yeah. just not exist. Genocide them. Because even if there was like... Like, if goblins were, like, a creature that just ran around and they just tried to stay alive in caves and stuff, I'd be like, I don't know if I hate them compared to hating, like, a brain worm. Yeah. yeah. Which just feels things, like yeah. animals that basically exist to cause suffering. Yeah. It seems to be their only purpose in life, is to cause suffering and reproduce to make things that cause more suffering. Bugs are not animals. Cop out. What? Bugs. Are, they're not. I mean, what you? They're flora. <laughs> yeah, like there's, there's only two options: flora and fauna. Polar bears. They're, they're an not insult. animals. Polar bears are an insult to natural selection. Wait, why? Why are um, they? Why would they be an insult to natural selection? I don't know. An I... insult to natural selection would be like some creature that is only alive because of us, maybe. Something that hasn't been natural selected. Um, yeah, it's been artificially like bred. And and like polar bears raised. are a clear example of like animals. Well, like that with are pugs, just, like, right? To live. Wow. Yeah, pugs, pugs would be the insult to natural selection. It's our fault. Um. 
Sloths? Why are we picking on sloths? They're fine. Sloth I guess they're sloths are fine. What's wrong with sloths? Um, polar bears are an evolutionary dead end. What does that know. even mean? I don't know what that means either, yeah. Is it because they're just never going to improve or something? That's not true at all. Why would they never improve? Or I guess never Only change, but like, why would they never change? Yeah. Why would, yeah, like, if there's no pressure for them to change, then they won't. But if there is, then they will. Platypuses, is that is that something that we're, like, we're pro or anti? Platypuses are really cool, but like, you don't want to pick them up. Yeah, maybe that yeah, shouldn't that shouldn't be a mark against the animal. Well, yeah, because like, yeah. crocodiles. I wouldn't are really pick cool, up a scorpion, but, I don't but go they're up cool. And pet him. Yeah, yeah. Mola let Rack know it was a question. Oh, well, I mean, it was my question anyway. Like, 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 what? What does it even mean to be an evolutionary dead end? Yeah. Um. Is it when you, like, see. evolve into killing yourselves as a species, or...? No, I don't know what an evolutionary dead end is, but before I look it up, that's that puts that gives me some, like, creationism vibes. Um, let's see. Evolutionary quote-unquote dead ends result from traits that are selectively advantageous in the short term, but ultimately result in lower diversification rates of lineages. Hmm. So, let me see... Uh, ba, 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 ba. Especially, so I don't. So, so yeah, I don't know what particular traits are selectively advantageous that the polar bear has that would lead to it having a long term. Like, is it because it's overly specialized? But that doesn't mean that it's necessarily an evolutionary dead end if it's specialized to certain environments. Especially exactly. if that environment just keeps going on and on and on and on, and it does well in that environment. And it does very well, because it's not even afraid of humans. Um, it'll actively hunt humans. It's one of the few animals that does that. Alright then. Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, I don't know. You'd have to, yeah, specify. Give me more. Um, not just the gang. Releasing the Wookiee that tried to kill him, Danny Trejo literally recreating the Anchorman meme. Rankles are complex, they can feel stuff now. Yeah. Uh, we were all like, what the fuck with that scene as well. Uh, the whole thing was despicable, the Hutt's apologizing too. Yeah, it's all crap. It's all absolute crap. Yeah. It's almost hard to be like, to go through all of the issues, uh, especially that Hut scene. I was... I. Had, Oh, so many issues all at once. I'll take turning Tatooine into glass to give me an ounce... It'll take turning Tatooine into glass to give me any ounce of interest in Star Wars again. No, you're gonna see Tatooine for a fucking shit ton, because we got that in the Obi-Wan show as well. Yeah. Yay! Yep. It's the only fucking place where things are happening in this massive galaxy full of super interesting things. Mm-hmm. If Erex, you want to see the things that are happening everywhere else. I'd just like to see something that isn't a dirty, dusty shithole. Well, I mean, it's some novelty at this point, honestly. Hey, we had, like, a few seconds of Kamino in that episode. We that did. was cool. And we they we keep were baiting really Kamino. excited to see Kamino, and then we didn't do it. Maybe it'll be in the finale. I'm assuming Kamino will be full CGI, like, if they ever go there, quote-unquote, and even in a flashback. Yeah. No, what they, they, what else they would it shot be? in the middle of the ocean during a storm. <laughs> just... <laughs> they built a giant complex in the middle of the sea to shoot five minutes for a TV show. I'm saying, like, not even the, the places they walk on, like, platforms and stuff, but we'll see. Um, Camino, like, it feels to me like we must be heading there at some point, because they keep baiting that flashback as though it. there's we're more to it. We're probably going to see Django. I bet you we're going to see Django. Ooh, Django. I like Jango. Yeah, we'll see him. Don't make him shit. Uh, how many more entries will we get for the Tatooine television universe? Will both Acolyte and Obi-Wan be on Tatooine? Will others? Also, yeah. Hyrax. Obi-Wan is. Hi. Well, 
Obi-Wan might venture outside of Tatooine, I guess. Maybe, maybe. That'd but be cool. He's definitely we're or seeing Tatooine be... in that show, like <laughs> Or a nice part of Tatooine or something. Like just something, you know? It isn't just the same shit, the same setting over and over and over. Mandalorian season three, first mission, you gotta go back to Tatooine. There's a there's a you gotta get water. Expensive water. God dude, it's like God, this is just some backwater spaceport like planet. This, this surely not that much <laughs> is happening there. There could be other planets where you fight random scum. No. Do it on Coruscant, so at least it's like a cool urban environment, and you could no. fill it full of world building. No. And... It's expensive. Which they have money. Yeah, so they already well. have their sets from Mando that they could reuse or something. I'm sure that this is a very efficiently shot show. Um, that's just frustrating, I guess. Uh, hi, Fringy. Hey. I'm getting some help from a, n a few of New Zealand's All Blacks to spread the word about the investigation into your goo and the allegations of human trafficking and experimentation. Why do they have to be black? What's the name? Of the, the All Blacks team. is a uh, it's a rugby team. Mm -hmm. What what color are they? Are they good? Yeah, they're really oh, good. Well, I I'm pre I imagine they're pretty good. New Zealand's the All Blacks are like feared <laughs> in rugby a lot of the time. New Zealanders love their rugby. Mm hmm. Uh, fuck, Mary Kill, Tobey Maguire, Spider Man, Andrew Garfield, Spider Man, Tom Holland, Spider Man. And do your answers change if it's just their respective Peter Parkers? Mm hmm. 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 I mean, they're all pretty good guys. Yeah, I gotta think about it. I think I would kill Tobey Maguire. I feel like he would be the most okay with dying to save the others. Kind of as the older mentor kind of Peter. Mm -hmm. And what he's, you know, done and gone through and how he wants to empower the others to go on. So I think in that regard, he's who I would kill. Who you marrying? Um, I think I would marry Andrew Garfield. I like his emotional depth and his ability to just have good conversations, I think. I think I would value and enjoy his company quite a bit. Well, there you go. So that's my thoughts. What about you guys? I don't want to kill any of them, so I guess I understand how you came to that conclusion. You're just trying to figure out which is the least mean death. Mm -hmm. If there's such a thing. He is the one that's lived the longest, I guess. Uh... Yeah. There's, there's definitely a I can fix him with uh, with Garfield, right? Because he's had, he's had some there rough times. There is that element for sure. Yeah, I think I have similar answers, yeah. Arcane coverage when? Oh my god, people want us to watch Arcane. They do. Uh, it's yeah. it's yeah, kind of really sad, do. like, we're not seeing anyone saying, like, oh, Book of Boba Fett coverage when? It's like, come on, guys. You love that show. <laughs> they should have cast Andrew Garfield as Anakin. Yes. I could see that. It could have been a good round, can you? Uh, like the other Star Wars shows, Bob plays with potentially cool ideas, but completely fumbles them. Wookiee bounty hunters, speeder biker gangs, and the Hut Syndicate, etc. The concept art pulls it to shame. Puts it to shame. I guarantee the people who did that concept art, they're, they they just do better. Oh yeah. The concept art I think art anyone would amazing. do better. But they always have, it's like, oh, so good. But you're right, Wookiee Bounty Hunter, Speeder Biker Gangs, Hut Syndicate, you're like, ah, oh, plenty to work with. Like, nope. Yeah. No, we gotta have Danny Trejo with a... No, I'm not even gonna poo-poo that part. <laughs> I'm just glad to see him. Yeah. I'm just glad to see a familiar... Like, it's like I've got a friend in this nonsense, you know? 
If you didn't know, the All Blacks are New Zealand's rugby team, and they are super cops over the upside down land. Super cops? I don't know if that refers to any authority they actually have. Like, are have. they, like, a, like the, the police have a team? Kind of like you have the, like, the Navy football team and the Army football team? Let it roll. Uh, EFAP movies on New Resident Evil? Trip to Dave Land. I would not be opposed to that. I think Rumble did that, yeah. It's probably really, really bad from what I hear. Uh, after Smiling Friends, are you more interested in Oni Plays for background sound? Well, I, I'm definitely not against it, I just uh, don't typically watch it now. I, um, though I like to re-watch good ol' Hellbenders and, um, mm -hmm. just, you know, different shows like that every once in a while. Funny. Uh, someone should just shoot the rankle when Boba rides it. That's, I think I said that. Yeah, you think you just hit it with a blaster instead. if anyone's allowed to have those? They're not, so I guess that's the loophole there. That's true. Uh, koala bears feed poop to their young. Look it up on wiki. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's nice. great. Sorry. That's not great. Bears. It's not poop, right? <laughs> Because Fringy was talking about this. It's like an yeah, anal it's duct. Some, it's some weird X. Yeah, it's something um, that comes out. But it's, it's not, not poo technically poo. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's what, it, what it, before I eat something, I really love to hear the words. It's not technically poo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good because anal duct is what does it for me. Well, stuff's got to come from somewhere. Totally eat something's anal duct. Uh, nice fried koala anal duct. Yeah. How would you feel that in Booga Boba, Han Solo gets his own hallway scene where he chops people to pieces with his blaster? <laughs> when you're picturing it, like, he rescues everyone, just like, I'm here. Oh, oh, just loads of robots. We, co we totally could end up getting an equivalent for that, right? <laughs> yep. Because if they put his Han Solo in, of course they're fan servicing the hell out of it. He's not just showing up. He's showing up. What with did we like, learn from Mando's season finale, isn't it? Yeah. Like, the Vader scene in Rogue One is one of the most praised things that Disney have ever done in Star Wars. Let's do that with more well, funny, classic characters. Yeah, the two hallway scenes probably are the most praised things Disney's ever done for Star Wars. Yeah. So we'll get a third hallway scene with good old Han Solo. Speaking of least I, favorite I love, that, I love that they, they took everything from it. Like, literally just, even the fact that it's in a hallway, like, like, it seems like they just, they just, oh, people like this? Okay, they must love, I don't know what part of it, just put in everything. Hallways, lightsabers, chopping, all, all everything. Gravity. Yeah, people love gravity. They do. I, sometimes. <laughs> Um, speaking of least favorite animals, high rags. Hi! Well, what was the part about... I think some of that super chat got cut off. Oh, the first half said, speaking of least favorite animals, high rags. It's mean. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Uh. It's, it's nothing, it's fine. Next one is, did you vote yeah, for Smormu? I did not did vote, I vote for Did I vote for Dormammu? Smormu. Smormu. <laughs> It's a That's a great friend super thing. chat. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I much prefer to think of that as being from nowhere, and someone literally just super chat it and did you vote for Small Moo? And there is no context that explains <laughs> it. That's that's infinitely yeah. funnier to me. There is something funny about that. Um, the Kaminoans are going to give Boba a saber dart. Oh, Camino Saber Dart. Oh my god, they totally are, aren't they? It's just yeah, like the legendary are. assassins. You could tell them by their yeah. uniforms. Well, you know, they, they can't, you can't get the, the uh, analysis droids to identify them because they focus on symbols. True. Yeah. Instead of the, the incredibly um, obvious general shape. Yeah. You know, you know the shape, that's, that's a more advanced thing to analyze. Have a weapon. Um, why did the Huts wait so long to claim Jabba's estate? Bib Fortuna had been on the throne for five years and he didn't work for them, and they didn't decide to claim it until now. Because don't think about it. That's not something the show has an answer for, and it can't be bothered to explain anything. 
you think oh. they would just sent a Wookiee in there and smacked him with a electro duster, well, and that would have been that. How difficult was it for Boba to kill him again? It's like, uh, it seemed like apparently he, did he just it. walked in and <laughs> shot a guy, and that yeah. really was it. Well, yeah, he he managed to bring a gun. He thought True. to bring a gun, yeah. So, not as long as no one else to do, thinks to do that, he's safe. Oh, Luigi has a pink dumbbell. That's neat. She's a pink dumbbell. EFAP mini for Naomi? If not, watch trailer. Uh, does anyone know what that is? No. I think it's a uh, new CW show. Oh. No. And as we have learned, <laughs> apparently the CW has not been profitable since 2006. Yeah. Somehow not surprising. Look at these massives trying to give you recommendations on all this media you should enjoy. You should play Deep Rock Galactic. I love Deep Rock Galactic. You should play Deep Rock Galactic. Everyone here should. What that is game's that? Great. It's an awesome co-op uh, game where you play as a dwarf and you go mining in caves. Well, and that it's sounds legitimately, fun. It is great. It's really awesome. It's oozing with character. Highly recommend. Can you name your own character yeah, Smolmu in it? Can you name your character Dormammu? Smolmu. You keep saying Smolmu, not Dormammu. Smolmu, I've come to bargain. <laughs> Smolmu, I've come to bargain. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Uh, Skyscraper would make a perfect EFAP movie. Highlights include a safe room with three foot thick titanium door and huge glass windows to the outside. <laughs> what? Nice. <laughs> Is a safe room. Well, no one wants a safe house. No one wants a safe room without a good view. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, Skyscraper does seem pretty funny. We will probably watch that free fight movies eventually. There's so many the we gotta with, get um, through. The Rock playing a guy with one leg. I think so. Yeah. Hey, Mola. Saw you on Friday Night Tights. Was wondering if you'd be interested to have Quarter Black Garrett on EFAB to talk about nerd stuff. Um, I don't see why not. You have to figure out yeah, what, uh, sure. I'm, I'm down with it. I don't wants. know who that is, but he's if he's all right with him, he's all right with me. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer? Uh, I don't know if that's God of War or Gears of War. I guess God of War or The Last of Us when it comes to story. Well, uh, so The Last of Us as a franchise right now is half rotten. So like, uh, and Gears of War story is just like I guess we have to have a reason for why I we're here. I think it was God of War they're <laughs> talking about. Um. So, God of War as a franchise is uneven, but like, I derive a hell of a lot of meaning out of a lot of its like best bits of writing. Last of Us, excluding the sequel, pretty strong as well, mainly uh, Ellie and Joel's relationship. Um, yeah. I definitely prefer God of War, but I don't know that I would say it's like easily better. Um, it's complicated. I'd have to play them again to know. What do you reckon, Frongo? Um, so, like, I'm- the problem is I'm not super familiar with God of War, but I do like The Last of Us 1 story. It's pretty- That was definitely one of those things of, like, The Last of Us 2 made me appreciate 1 a lot more. It's like, ah, oh, it's a pretty good story, honestly. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well. I'll be excited I've for Ragnarok. Watch the Friday Night Tights with Rags and him on. Well, there's 37 people in a Friday Night Tight, <laughs> so I can't possibly remember everyone. If I saw him and heard him, I would probably spring to mind. I just can't recall the names. I'm not a names guy. I'm a faces and voice kind of person. Done. He, he often forgets who I am. Okay. Who said that? Uh, throwback comment. Tom Holland isn't my Spider-Man. He was never molested by his older friend Skip like in the comics. Watch Trust Skip and home. Betrayal. What? I have no idea what the context for any of that is, but very well. Maybe they're making a point about the adaptation? I don't know. Uh, Muller, have you seen Johnny... M n n m n mnemonic? That's how you pronounce says. that, right? Nim, nim, Johnny nim, Mnemonic. Nim, nim. Uh, it was made by your favorite director and hero. Wait a minute. Danny Trejo? Who is my favorite director and hero? Um, Guy Ritchie? <laughs> it was directed by Robert Longo. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, that's good. <laughs> Robert Longo. <laughs> Uh, no, I haven't seen it. Uh, Robert Longo. Now that is one of those look it up and the punchline hits. Yeah. That's a quality one. I like it there. <laughs> Good job. That, that was this brilliant Bravo. moment there for me of like, who's that? Oh. <laughs> Ro and the way he said it, Robert Longo. Robert Longo. <laughs> That's a good name. I, think, uh, I, I didn't know Longo was the name. That's great. Longo. Longo. Uh, Descended from the Longonius. I am aware of Johnny Mnemonic, but I've never seen it. Never ever. I know ever. of it, but I've never seen it either. Crazy! What a world. That isn't. That is kind of insane that we've all heard of it, but we haven't seen it. I've not heard of it. Jay has not heard of it. Oh well, it's not that great a world, I guess. Mm. Um, Cad Bane will show up as a space mariachi with a cantina me band member's instrument case full of blasters. Oh, I could see, that's a good reference, uh, but it's gonna be cringe. Even if Cad Bane does show up as a reference, it's gonna be, it's gonna be cringe. Recently rewatched 122 and got the to relive Rags dismissing a cancer patient's experience. As always, Rags is oh, based yeah, was... and Redditoids can't handle the spice. Yeah, that was it. You that bet. Was 100%, yeah. I am based and they cannot handle my spice. You a spice miner? I am a spice miner. You're a miner? Yeah, I am. I'm only like four. Didn't you know? But in like human years, that's. Is that 742 yes. to 28? Nice. I know math. Now, uh, I know of math. We're relatively up to date with today's one, so I'm gonna move on to okay. get these get these Streamlabs ones, which are attempted a super chat following the via YouTube, but it was rejected. What do you call a man with no arms or legs hanging on a wall? Ooh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, um, uh, oh, Artie. Well, they've got art. That hey, that's good. No, I got no, it. Cause, yeah, I cause I was thinking it, yeah. art, but you know, arty art. They're both this you know thing. Good job. I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I, that's that was really good. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I like you could kind of you think about it and you figure it out and then you feel good. What do you call a man? It's an with, odd place for a man to be though. Yeah. What do you call a man with no arms or legs in a pot of boiling water? <clears> hmm. <throat> Ooh, in a pot of boiling water. Oh, stew! That's the one. You got it. Yeah, I like these. <laughs> Keep them coming. And then that's it. It ends with high rank. Oh, okay. All right. Good for you. Nice. <laughs> Mola, why you play baby games? Why don't shoot? It's <laughs> a good question. I should go through all the cards uh, while we do super chat catch up. They they they're you not probably story could. heavy, right? Well. I mean, they're well, they're I not guess, really story heavy, but the lore is extensive. I guess they're not story heavy, depending on your in like if you just don't pay for any fucking attention, you can just go through. No, shooting they're everything. not story heavy. Um, the more I think about a competitive Mario Party, the more I love the idea. Add a movement currency in place of dice rolls, and it'll add a hell of a lot more depth and possibilities. Hmm. Yeah, if there was a way to not completely unrandomize, but be able to tinker with movement. I think that could be interesting to be able to save up stuff um, to prevent people getting just totally screwed with RNG, but still, you know, shaking things up in that way. Um, that's it for, for Streamlabs ones that caught up. So now it's over to the EFAB 165 ones. Um, I think we read that one. Hi all, is it possible for a story to have time travel or similar and not immediately break the story? Personally, I find yes. any story with time travel broken by default due to its paradoxical nature. Um, um I don't think it by nature all that matters has... Is, is, yeah, all that matters is picking one rule and sticking with it. That's the most so, important part. Yeah, um, um, for example as well, um, like say, let's say a time travel story is, hey, we're in... I mean, first of all, time traveling to the future, that's that's real easy. Time traveling to the past, yeah. um, let's say you can do that real easy by just 
traveling to a location which is not going to have any effect on your current location. No, 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 we're not no, talking as that. In, we... As in, no, you can. Um, like, as in another planet, then it doesn't really matter. We do the branching timelines as the safest. Well, yeah, yeah. Branching okay, timelines is the safest way to do it. By virtue of going back in time, you have created an alternative timeline. When you go back to the future, you are always going to a different future than the one you came from. Um, Red Dwarf has a great joke about this, where um, they uh, they get a time they machine. To be called little people. They have um, and they prefer so to the, be the called premise, Native Americans, not the whole the red. whole the whole premise of the show is that they're stranded in deep space in this little spaceship. Um. They um, then they're like what three million mi like three million years of travel time from Earth. Um, uh, but there's one episode where they discover a uh, a time machine and they travel back in time to the 1800s, only to discover that they're still back in they're still in deep space, just in the 1800s, and that's it. That's all they've achieved. It's real fun. Right. Okay. You can do mutable time travel as well, where like you can't change the past. Like that's already happened. So, well, like closed loop time travel. I thought you hated. Are you that. talking about like like no, the no, time no. machine? So, like, Jules Verne time rules. Time travel would be like I get in a time machine in 2022. I go back to 1900 and do something um, that already happened back in 1900. It, the 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 present is already a consequence of my time travel. Well, yeah, that's closed loop time travel. Um, is it closed loop? Yeah. Is that what it's called? Closed loop. I, I believe so. Um. Where they can make you, a movie about it called there's no, There's never a first run round where the time travel didn't happen. Um, yeah, but I mean, you can do that. The, the, the one that I don't like is when it is open loop and then it becomes a closed loop. Like in Looper, where it's like, what happened the first time? The first time, nothing happened. There was no time travel. He lived his life and he went on and did his things. And then it goes back in time to uh, to have the whole story take place. The idea would be that you have, like, all time sprawled out, like, from beginning to end, and the things that happen all happen, like, in chronological order. So, like, well before, I don't know, Bob is born in, like, I don't know, like, 1990, he appears in 1900 and does yeah. his stuff, and then goes back to the future, and then we skip ahead 90 years, Bob is born, and he uses a time machine, and that that's like that's mutable time travel where it all that that world then um but the the existence of that world then basically um it's the problem that devs has for you. Were you one of the people who watched devs? No, I watched devs. No, okay, I didn't watch devs. it's devs it's the problem shit. where then nobody can ever go back deliberately to change something. It's like in that world where time travel has always been a part of the past. Um, okay, that's cool, but what happens if like you know? Mr. Funky decides, oh, I'm gonna travel back in time and I'm gonna go with a machine gun and I'm gonna kill this historical figure, right? I have all the advantages, I know exactly where they're gonna that be and when. That doesn't happen, though, if you do mutable time travel, because that historical figure was already killed by you at that period in time. So there, there, is, not, there is no capacity. So, but that, that, that means, but that means that it's impossible for someone to make a decision to change the past. Uh, what, like, to go back in time to do... It gets, yeah. it gets confusing, this one. So, I find this, so one this means that no one, if we have... So what, what, what does happen if someone who has control of a time machine decides, I want to change the past? Right, like, in terms of what is the decision-making process and... Yeah, like, the, you know, they, um... A paradox, yeah. They, they, they plan, they're, they're a planner, they're a smart one. Um, and it's I, something very simple about this uh, past that they want to change. It should be very easy. I'm not ready at this point in time to talk about time travel. Like, I uh, I usually have to try and sit down and think about it because it's just like time travel is just fucking difficult to to write. It just is. Um. Oh yeah, but I, I I don't I don't think that that's I don't think that's one that can be. Um, Unless time travel is I'm very, pretty sure yeah, I suppose can. I think that that's um, broken. I think that there's some way in which it works, but I would have to sit down and, from what I understand, it's probably like if if time travel were real, that's probably like the most apt one, right? Uh, as opposed to going back in time creates new timelines that, like, it's, I think it's new hard. timelines is the only viable one, really. That, I think that that's that the viable no one from holes. a narrative standpoint for sure. Um, but I guess there's a difference between narrative versus like scientific, right? 
So, like, Back to the Future probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but it, it establishes its rules, says, yep, you're back in time, and you can influence it, and then there's, like, a delay between, you know, the consequence of your action and the effect that it has on you, and you can fix it and stuff like that. And it's like, time, to, you know, Back to the Future is, it, that's the rule set that tends to cause the most problems, but, um, as long as you establish your rules, clearly stick with them, that's fine. That's all that matters, is pick one rule and stick with it. Um, yeah, well, it has to be a rule that is internally consistent with itself, right? Well, yeah, so well, so a clear example would be like, so in, because Looper is a good example of how it doesn't work, like, we, we have our future person comes back in time, they get, like, damage dealt to them, and they realize it in real time, but it doesn't really make sense, because if it's affecting them what's happening in the past, they're going to be growing old with that experience, uh, they're not going to be shocked to discover that there's, like, writing carved into their arm and, and like, with a... Yeah, razor. yeah, yeah. They grow up with that. You cut off their leg, their leg won't just disappear. They're going to grow up without that leg. So they're not going to be there. They're not going to run away. Like, if this is how it works, when you change the past, that person disappears. Which is funny, because at the end of the film, when, uh, when uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitz shoots himself in the chest... Bruce Willis disappears, yep. but that's not what should happen in Looper. He should turn into a skeleton, based on what, we saw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like based on what we saw in uh, earlier in the film. So that's a that's a film. Again, Ryan Johnson said it's like I mean, everyone where it sets up the plot and gets out of the way, but it doesn't get out of the way. It's I mean, fucking, anyone who kills himself the movie. with a gun should turn into a skeleton. Yeah, it's um, and the gun disappears too, just vanishes. It's like, did you bring it out for the future? <laughs> that should just drop to the ground, right? It, it doesn't. Just stick to your rules. Endgame doesn't stick to its rules. <laughs> no, a lot of things don't, because they use time travel as an excuse to do some cool stuff, and then they to don't do care cool about stuff. it. cool stuff, yeah. Terminator, see, someone in chat says Terminator time travel makes sense, though. I agree. I think it makes a lot more sense. I think it's safe to assume that it creates different timelines. Tangential, you know? They what doesn't make sense about Terminator's time travel is the decisions of the people using it. The decisions using the instead of wrapping guns in flesh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, well, you have to... We like to... Or I certainly like to say that uh, like the Terminator 2 is an insanely good movie. You gotta get over that hump, though. That first initial time travel hump. Once you're over it, you're fucking solid. Go do like, both that's of them. that's yeah. a rough one. That's the hot take. A lot of people, for some reason, think that Terminator One is immune to time travel criticism, while Terminator Two isn't. And it's like, nah, both of them. Nah, they're Why? both. Why would they both be immune yeah. to it? It's a situation like Spider-Man, where where they yeah, the premise there's a there's something fucky with the premise, but they sure as hell don't waste it. Well, yeah, because they just want to have their slasher movie with the cyborg thing, and it's like that's cool. It's cool. Um, and then they, they make it about the characters. It's not about time travel anymore. As soon as he's in. Um, but yeah, Terminator 1 has the same problem of why did they decide to do what they've done here? Um, when there's so many better options. And then Terminator 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and blah 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 blah, it just compounds the issue over and over again. Mm-hmm. Hi, Rags. Hi! You said you dropped Berserk 97 after two episodes. Any chance you might give it another shot? Mola liked it, and there is some nice character stuff I think you'd enjoy. Reading it would be I'm... better, since the anime can't cover everything, but I guess you don't want to invest that kind of time. Any specifics on why you dropped it? Uh, I, I just hated the first two episodes. I hated all the... I guess I hated... It was very, very anime-ish, with the fighting and the swords and the dialogue. I just, I, I just hated it. I just... It's not for me. It's not my thing. I just, I could, I really, I, I tried. I really tried. But I could only do two episodes and I'm just fucking done. I'm sure there's good stuff in it, but I just don't want to sit through all the stuff that I hate to get to it. Yeah, I guess fair enough. Uh, I plan to buy manga since the author died last year and his work is beautiful. Maybe the future will bring a good adaptation past the 97 anime. Well, yeah, because, like, I think... The perspective of the people who actually, like, adore all that content is that that's, like, the only season that's good. And then you've got, I think, one, there's, like, a modern adaptation that everyone hates. I remember Alex telling me about it, but I can't remember. Um, but yeah, the, the manga, from what I've heard, is very much fantastic. It's uh, highly as fuck regarded. 
Um, can't wait to see the coverage after I watch Spundo tonight. See you then, massives. Psh. Oh, no, wait. Psh. As in, like, P.S. Hi, yeah. Rex. <laughs> Hello. Um, Mauler, check your Discord, Diabs. Yeah, Mauler. What the fuck? Oh. Uh, hi, Rags. Hivorden Gadet. Mm. All right. Uh, gonna have to watch this Same later. Night. Got work. What's your opinions on Southpaw's Civil War takes on Twitter? It's fine. I'm not familiar. Yeah, it's yeah. bad. Based on, based on what I've heard, they're pretty poor. But maybe he's got new ones that aren't bad. I don't know. Uh... Love the movie, but why did Peter ditch the suits? The spell was to forget Peter, meaning he should still have some assets, mainly the suits, right? Yeah, that's a real good um, question, I think. The hmm. suitor? I think he's only got one main one at the moment, right? Yeah, he's only got one left, and, but it doesn't, it's not yeah, clear why I mean, he ditches it. Did he ditch it, or did he reincorporate it into the, the new suit that he's made? Is that Why would he do that? Because the old one was badly damaged? Was it? I mean, at the end of the film, it looks pretty beat up. I don't remember that, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, we're supposed to assume then that he went from that scene with Doctor Strange to, like, having basically nothing, and that that was the only suit he had, and that that one's pretty busted, so you have to make a new one? Is that what we're supposed yeah, to do? Yeah, I get. I think I think we're supposed to assume that that's the case. I don't think he had any other ones, because the Iron Spider is, is fucked. Um... And yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I figure it's either that one, or maybe he's got another one lying around. Who knows? Maybe we'll find out in subsequent film. Uh, greetings, friend Rags. What are your thoughts Hi. on the developing situation around Titanfall 2's progress, progressing and lack of playability? Greetings, Efathers. I mean, I'm against it. I want games to be as playable for as long as it's possible. And there seems to be a lot of love for that game and a lot of people who want to play it. But, yeah, There seems I'm... to be no will to, to fix it up. It's just yeah. in a broken state right now, and that's it. Don't know why. So, uh, wait, so what happened? So, they, um... so, well, the game came out. Uh, it didn't sell very well. It had a player base. It wasn't very big, and then it died off. And then when Apex came out, Titanfall got a massive boost in players. But um, then I think there were issues with like the servers, DDoS, and stuff like that. And um, there was people were like, "Hey, can you you know fix it?" And there wasn't really any interest seemingly from Respawn to fix it because I was Damn. focused on Apex. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, um, but I do like that game a lot, and it'd be nice to just jump in and play it. And but players are dropping off like flies because it's just not it's not in a good state. Yeah, I think Titanfall 2 single player is insanely good. And anyone who likes shooters and single player shooters in particular, they really do owe it to themselves to play that game because it's incredible. Mm -hmm. Currently on 62 of my marathon, I need to slow down to see Mr. Robot since Ralph's Joker video spoils season 4 in episode 70. Oh. Uh, maybe, yeah, I, don't, I can't remember. Um, I like Spooderman, but think the writing was just awful. Peter, absurdly thoughtless. I'm not sure. Absurdly what thoughtless is to exactly not the correct opinion. <laughs> I would just go as far as saying that um, what could be seen as thoughtless is probably him being more uh, concerned with a particular viewpoint as opposed to one that you think would yeah. be much more reasonable or something. Yeah, he's not um, some crazy misanthrope. He just cares about some things more than others. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! I'm, I'm your hype man today. That's, That's my job. Shame. Yeah! Yumbo. Uh, hi Rags, yeah, you heard... Yeah, Yumbo. You heard Tomboy and immediately went marry her. Good boy, Tomboy's the best. Hi Jay, I missed Tomboy's you. Now kick. Hello. Yeah, yeah alright. Fun fact, the Star of David is 100% real, referenced around the world. It was actually a supernova, an exploding star. It formed the Crab Nebula. Hi, Rag. Hi, what the fuck? <laughs> I've never heard of the Crab Nebula, but it sounds neat. I've never heard of the Crab I've Nebula. Heard of the crab Nebula. What does it do? It looks like a crab. What else does it do? 
It's a nebula. Is that where crabs well, are nebulas from? Nebulas create stars and stuff, so <laughs> I guess it does that. Does it do anything crabish? I yeah. couldn't tell you, honestly. Don't know. Uh -huh. It looks pretty cool. A lot of nebulas look really cool. They are uh, pretty cool. Um, free, free, um, it's actually nebulae, but you know, I don't expect you to, yeah, to know all of, you know, it, it all of those nebulae. things. You no, know. I'm glad. I'm glad you corrected me. I I like to get more correct if possible. Um, have you ever heard the call of a shoebill stork? You should play it at max volume for chat. Yes, don't actually do that, but you should check it out if you haven't heard it before. Appreciate you all massively. Oh. All right, let's have a look at this. Shoebill stork, was it? Uh, yes. Is this some kind of meme joke where it actually... Oh, no, it isn't. Okay. Let's have a listen to this. What's it sound like? It's not made a noise yet. Mm. What did you do on stream today? Bird watching. So, Bird listening. Looks like it's getting ready to make a noise. All right, here we go. No. Okay. So we're 30 seconds into the video of Sh Shoebill Storks make some strange noises and no noises have come out of them yet. It's not muted, right? No, it's not. I can hear it. I can hear like its feet. Oh, this better be good. Oh, that was the noise. Was it worth it? Uh, it sounds um, kind of like the predator. It's, it's no, it wasn't worth it. Um, it's like it, it it like opens and, and it opens and closes its beak very fast to make like a um like a brrr noise. It's quite cool, but you know, I, if uh, I I could have been playing Star Wars Battlefront and, and instead oh. of watching that clip, and that probably would have been my choice if I'd known what the payoff was. Well, yeah, yeah there you go. That's fair enough. Um. Seen Red Notice? Classic Gal Gadot, maybe EFAP movie. I have seen it. It's. I, I have not seen it. It was the most consumable movie that's ever been made. Where you just, you're just like, oh, this a movie's happening. Yeah, there's all the hallmarks of movie film. And then you complete it, and you're like, nothing has changed about life whatsoever. Which is fine, you know. I I, I don't know about EFAP movie potential for that. I don't know. Gal Gadot is in it though, and she's. Acting. Yes, you could call it that. Uh, greetings, Longman, Fringle, Hi Rags, Kick J. Hello. Hello. I will leave. Just curious if you'll play Metroid Prime 2 on stream, since I know you played Metroid Prime 1 before. Um, I didn't actually complete it, it was my bad. It sort of got lost in translation. Um, but uh, Metroid Prime 2 doesn't work too well in the emulator, so if on the next PC, which I plan to get... Hopefully within three months, maybe more. Um, maybe it'll work way better on that, and then maybe. Oh, you got chat all excited, Jay. And then you just about the stork thing. No, about being kicked. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, bought all Dark Souls games on your recommendation, and I'm loving the first one. I'm not skipping DS2 because I'm not a coward. I have seen your ten-hour response that I have mentally prepped. Hi, rags. Mentally prepped. Good luck. Have fun. If a spider gets bitten by a radioactive man, their uncle gets vacuumed up, and they live on a small rundown web, are they Spider Man? True fan logic. I guess it would be Man Spider at that point, right? Man Spider? Man Spider. But uh, yeah, definitely. 100%. Uh. I just wanted my cheese. Hi, Rex. Hello. That's a good smiling friends reference. <laughs> Did you see Tonald's Battlefield 5 video? He liked it. Hi, Fringy. I've heard of it. I haven't seen it yet. But yeah, he said, um, he did say that he liked it quite a bit. Hmm. I think he tried to make some excuses for the bizarre aesthetics in terms of like how super diverse it seems to be. But uh, other than that, 
seems mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Like you said, mechanically, that's a good game, right? Oh, mechanically, it's in yeah, I think it's my favorite Battlefield. Sweet. Um... Greetings, all you massives. Just got out of hospital. I had finally decided to watch Endgame for the first time. I wasn't prepared for the girl power moment, and it sent me into a cringe-induced catatonic state, and I shit my... and it just ends there. <gasps> oh my goodness. So they shit something. I hope it's okay. Yeah, I hope you're alright. I really uh, want to know how that sentence sounds. I hope you, you're not... you know, no, no permanent damage from having seen Endgame. I could see how that happens, but yeah, I hope you're okay. Um... What's your thoughts about the butterfly effect time travel? You talking about that, um, that, that essentially be Homer, Homer's time travel toaster episode time <laughs> that travel. That one was really fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think there's a movie called The Butterfly there Effect. There was a movie with Ashton, Ashton Kutcher. Kutcher. Yeah. yeah. Um, where he also, all I know about that is he also remembers stuff from the past as soon as it happens instead of growing up familiar with the injury. It's like, yeah. Um, but yeah, what my thoughts about it? I'd have to rewatch it to give you anything, I'm afraid. Um, here's a random quote for the day. I see now that the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. It's what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are. Mewtwo uh, that said that. Great toast. Good old Moto. That's from Pokemon 2000. Uh, it's no, the I'm... only Pokemon movie I've seen. I think I'm the same with that. Uh, Naomi will be set in a world without established superheroes with political allegories. The tagline for the show is Don't believe everything you think. Oh. Wait. That's the CW show. Um, Don't believe everything you think just sounds kind of clunky. It does. It does. Yeah, yeah it, it does. does. And I'm not so I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Like me. Like, don't believe everything that like every thought that I have. Like if I, I just mean, think, huh, I wonder if the sky was green. Don't, don't believe, believe that, that. Rex. Like, I, I think I think it is a good um idea to not believe everything that you think. Because like I feel like that's default. Like mo oh yeah, most of the things that Well, I guess it means like um because there's, there's two like interpretations of the word think in that sentence, right? It's like just like a random thought that pops into your mind. Um, do you believe that that thought and, or um, or stuff that you think is in stuff that you, I guess, believe to be true? It's like I think that this is the case. Whereas um, you can you can think stuff, but it probably it, there's not a high chance that's true. So you probably. I don't know. Um, so, in terms if, of uh, topics, I feel that like you if don't that's the a... idea you're trying to put across, there are way better ways yeah, to yeah, word yeah. that. It's like there's loads of topics that you probably don't have that much expertise in or any expertise in, and you might have your assumptions about it. There are certain things you might think, but it's probably best not to believe those things adamantly because there are people who know a lot better on the topic than you. You know, uh, you're, you're passing in assumptions about a topic that you don't know much about probably aren't all accurate. So that's. You know, don't There's believe everything there. that you think. I already did. Oh, hey, nice. Um, have you watched Band of Brothers, and could you possibly do an EFAP series on it? Thanks a lot. Hi, Rags, Kick J, and Ribbit for me, Fringy. Um, oh, you, you, oh, oh, you do mean Blues Brothers? Up. Yeah, absolutely. I really like that show. Fucking uh, love really Blues like Brothers. Movie. It's hilarious. It's good stuff, yeah. man. The Carrie Fisher scenes are the ones that get me. Well, it all does, but you know, those ones especially. For me, it's the um it's the, the car chase the whole car chase sequence at the end is just It's so gosh darn funny. I don't know how I, I it's amazing. I think it holds the record for the amount of cars to uh it does, destroyed well, it, in it one. It certainly movie. did. I don't know if that's been broken since, but Blues Brothers is great. I never saw Blues Brothers 2000s, but I didn't really hear many great things about it. Um, so it was Band of Brothers, and probably not uh, EFAP series. Pro probably not. Uh, probably not. Uh, not we like yeah. Blues Brothers, though. Hmm. Does that answer your question? Speaking of time travel, the jacket. Have you seen it? And Time Cop. I think I've, I've seen not the seen jacket. those. 
when it came out. It's got um, Adrian Brody and Kira Knightley in it, but I don't remember anything about it, so... Apparently it didn't leave that much of an impression on me. But, uh, yeah, no. That's a good thing these days. Hmm. Um, hello, people who talk about talk stuff. Uh, just graduated college recently and have been listening to you guys while applying for career jobs. May Jeb bless. Hey. Congrats, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah. Good luck. Or, good I luck guess, good indeed. job. Well, yeah, if he's applying, good luck. Uh, good job and good out. luck. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I've asked this before on Super Chats, but would Boba have done... Sorry. No. What would Boba have done if the gun oh. train was carrying medicinal passengers? What if the Tuscans didn't agree to protect the train? Also, high rags. Hi. These would be interesting things that we could explore based off of what we know about the character and maybe things that might shape his perspective on the world, but I honestly, I we just, we're not going to get that. Well, like, we're just not going to get any of that. There was like fucking seven people in his tribe and he was like, we will protect you, pay us protection. It's like, you can protect yourselves. Like, what do you mean? Do you don't even, do you even know where the train is going? Like, and how to like, what system were they even going to have to protect the train? I think it's nonsense. It's the big dumb... Redonkulous. If I create a character that cannot kill anyone under any circumstances, even if they want to, even if they try to and cannot, what happens if we put them into your trolley problem? And to the idea that you can't make anyone kill? Well, it depends why they can't kill, right? Yeah, we can't really... Well, it's like, like, so, let's say um, they've got a chip in their brain. It's like, if you try to kill someone, we'll, we'll melt, this chip will melt your brain. I guess their brain melts, or... Well, depends on how the chip works. If that, if the chip considers their action to be killing someone. I was gonna say, it just passes over to the definition by the person who made the, um, the restriction, right? Yeah. If it was a wizard, magical thing, or whatever. Yeah, it's just gonna be about what they consider to be kill. This is a uh, total non sequitur, but man, Calvin and Hobbes is awesome. Yes, it like, is. Mm -hmm. The the the, the watercolor as well, like on some of the uh, the illustrations, it's beautiful. It's um, yes. it feels like something that really took advantage of the format with newspapers, where it's like, okay, so let's let's like bleed into the white page, and so we can have more of an impressionist thing in terms of uh backgrounds and. Uh, it just feels like the standard thing of like, man, Bill Watterson, you were you were a fucking superb artist and storyteller. Oh, love Calvin and Hobbes. Yes, one of the best comic strips ever made. I I feel like you could make the case that it is the best comic strip uh, ever made. I guess the problem is it's, it's hard, right? Because it means it's going up against like Peanuts, Garfield. Um. Then again, I'm not, like, the biggest fan of Garfield. Um, um, yeah, as... I mean, Garfield used to be a lot... It's like, it's like a lot of those legacy comics where mm -hmm. they used to be really good, and then they just sort of stuck around way past their expiration date. Um, I, I'll, I'd certainly like Peanuts. It's a, it's a cool comic. Peanuts um, is very charming. Um, yes. I've read a lot of Peanuts. It's really, it's really charming and cute. I think the, I, the thing with Peanuts that's interesting is that when it came out, it was hyper-innovative, but it started in the 50s. So, um, a lot of the stuff that made it really unique and uh, innovative as a series is, like, just bleeds into the stuff that comes afterward. It's kind of like The Simpsons, where, you know, a lot of stuff, and Seinfeld to some extent too, right? They're so influential that, um, so many stuff, so many other things do what they do. And so what made them really special, people, it's harder to appreciate. Um, the far side yeah. was cool. I like far the far side. Far side is really good. I really like um, the far side quite a bit. It really leaned well into that absurdist kind of, um, yeah, you know, the vibe. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to really like about the far side. I remember uh, as a kid, I did really like the Simpsons comic strips that they did in the newspaper. Um, I remember really liking Simpsons comics in general. Futurama comics were really cool. That was Bongo comics. I don't think they're around anymore. What a great uh, name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I Bongo was, uh, I think Matt Groening specifically set up um, Bongo to do, like, um, the, the comics for things he was working on. And it was really cool. I remember there was a, a Simpsons Futurama crossover um, where, like, the, the Futurama characters got transported into a Simpsons comic. 
Well, there's an episode oh. of um, Simpsons Feature Armor crossover now. Yep. Is there? Wait, is there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's alright, I, I think. I, I remember it being alright. Well, least. I think the Family Guy Simpsons one's alright as well. The Family Guy Simpsons one is alright, but it feels like a lot of what makes it alright is the Simpsons stuff coming into it rather than the, the Family Guy stuff. I, I think I find it amusing because the, the when you watch that show, it's like, man, the Simpsons part is just better animated. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just better animated than Family Guy. Family Guy's got such a stiff uh, animation style compared to the Simpsons. It's a little more bouncy. Wasn't his comic Life in Hell? He did Life in Hell, and he did that for like 30 years. Life in Hell was running all the way until 2012. Life in Hell is super cool as well. It's like a bit surreal and uh, absurdist. We'll see some Not of the... the um, some yeah. of my favorite comics of all time are the early Wizard of Id stuff. Before Wizard of Id. Before yeah. Brent Park... So Brent Parker and Johnny Hart were the two people who did that. When Brent Parker died... They, well, they did Wizard of Id, and they also did BC. And mm -hmm. BC's good, but I always preferred Wizard of Id. I always thought the Wizard of Id was just so fucking funny. Um, it's crap now, like most comics. just They just kept going and going and going, and they're just not good anymore. Well, it's interesting uh, you say that, because um, Calvin and Hobbes was still incredibly popular in like the mid-90s, but he, uh, Bill Watterson basically said, I don't think I have any ideas for it anymore, so I'm stopping. I've done what I wanted. Bill Someone Watterson mentioned Beetle Bailey. Like, That's another good one. Of it, the old not, stuff is hmm. pretty decent, and the new stuff is just worthless crap. Wait, putting down the isn't isn't the Simpsons like a Korean animated show too? <laughs> it's, it's both praising and. I think they made a down. joke about that in um, one of their openings. Yeah, they might have. Um, what I was Bill Watterson was like really impressive in terms of artistic integrity. He was like very, he fought really hard to get uh, the big Sunday comic strips, you know, where they, they like, took up half the page, because that was yeah, just not yeah. what was done. But he fought for it, and, um... He made use of that space. He made use oh, yeah, of that he did. space. Those, those were... I mean, it's it set trends, because a lot of other comics started to do that as well. And then you had, um... He was very much opposed... I think he got offered the chance to make a cartoon show, but he didn't want to do it, because he always figured that there was, there was something to Calvin's voice being whatever you wanted in your head. Uh, he yeah. was really opposed to merchandising. Yeah, um, like he, he all those bumper hard. stickers that you see of Calvin pissing on stuff. That's that was never really Calvin. It was never. Maybe that's not a thing over there, but over here there is a huge hmm. amount of uh, bumper stickers or, or decals that you put on your back window of a Calvin-like figure who's pissing on something. Uh, it turned away from the viewer and everyone knows it's Calvin but it's never Calvin it's not because it's just there was no merch really so whereas Charles Schultz he by the peanuts happily merchandised oh, he absolutely peanuts. Merchandised. <laughs> yeah absolutely. and so did uh oh god damn it Jim, Jim fuck uh Garfield who what uh, Jim Davis yeah that's right he also Garfield's worth like several billion dollars as an IP yeah, and, um, and then when Garfield Cart came out, like, double that. <laughs> and now they're going to make another Garfield with Chris Pratt as Garfield. Dude, that's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Garfield. Hey, the lasagna. It's a meme episode. It's, it's fun. It's a meme that he's just voicing all of these animated characters. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of great... Man, uh, the meme, the legend. I remember, uh, I remember getting exposed to the Phantom, but I, I never, I was, I think I was too young. I didn't really, I wasn't sure what the deal was. I was never paying enough attention to the overarching stories to grasp those things. And I'm pretty sure they are, that's still going, the Phantom. Like, you can buy comic books. I remember I went to a news agent. They don't have a lot of comics there, but they had the Phantom. Um, in Bly Manor, is there a justification for Jamie and Owen's weird dream that makes them go to the house and Henry deciding to go there that same night? So, uh, for Owen and what's their face, I don't think so. I no, think it's, that's the, it's like one of the weakest elements of the show. Jamie. Yeah. It is one of the problems. So interestingly, uh, a friend of a friend watched the show and that friend was telling me that they adored it and then I was like, did they, um take any issue with blah 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 blah, just a couple of the examples. And I brought that one up, and the friend said, Oh, 
I thought that the point was that, um, Hannah had subconsciously contacted them. And I was like, where? And they said, if you what? watch the beginning of the episode, Hannah says that, um, she can't get to Owen and she can't protect him. And he's like, you've got to get out there and help me. And then she, uh, he says, I have loved you, so I'll always be here, and points to her heart. And uh, that friend of a friend said that they thought that what they were trying to say with that was that Hannah has a connection to Owen and Jamie, and she draws them in subconsciously. Oh! Hmm. Spiritually. Interesting. I think um, that I is... I wonder how much that holds up. Well, I don't know. This, that's it. You've got all the information. So that hmm. holding up is just a matter of how much benefit of the doubt you want to give the show, I guess. Right. Hmm. That that was what it was. And that it makes sense. Yeah, because I can't, I can't even say that's intentional. I'm not sure. Um, but it's obviously better than nothing. Mm -hmm. Um. What was this? The other thing, hang on. Where did it go? Eh. Oh. Uh, Henry deciding to go there that same night. That's um, a coincidence, uh... but why he decides it is explained. I think one could argue that he's going to go there at some point. Um, but it lines up perfectly. Well, I guess he gets there... What happens when he gets there? He arrives and he gets strangled, doesn't he? Yeah. I think he... Well, it would be the idea. It's 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 a common issue, right? Like in stories, when all like we need everybody in a place at the same time, and getting them all there can be really difficult within the right amount of time for like peak drama. I'm trying to think because I'd have to rewatch the show. But was he contacted at some point recently? Didn't because Danny's so. been ringing him, telling him how things are getting worse and worse, and he keeps avoiding going there, right? Hmm. Isn't that the idea that she's she's like this happens, this happens, and he, and I think his alter ego is like you're too afraid to go to the house. Um, so what I'm trying to say is that there is reason for him to go. Um, as sure. for it happening at that point, That's yeah, the, it will again though impact wise. I'm not sure that it does anything. Um, he just arrives <coughs> and gets strangled. Right. And then he gets resuscitated. Like I guess what I'm saying is like I don't think anything He's is there facilitated. For drama, but it's not super significant in terms yeah, of Yeah, like he any doesn't consequence. jump in the way of a bullet and save someone's life or something. At least I don't think mm -hmm. I don't again have to rewatch I, it. But I yeah. These are the issues with Bly Manor. Um There's a, there's a couple of others as well. Yeah. The Witcher season two kinda sucks, but somehow Arcane was pretty good. EFAP Arcane, keep up the great work all. Um, oh, I shall. I, think, I shall do. Wait, it. people want people want like you have to watch Arcane. They really, really do. Yeah. Do they? I, I haven't heard of Arcane before. Mm -hmm, what is mm -hmm. that? It's a show about like I think it's it's like a spin off of the Smurfs, as far as I know. Hmm. But apparently, it's really <laughs> good. Apparently, it's got a flat sheen cameo. I doubt it. Hey, no, that's um, that's I heard that from a reputable source. Yeah, who, Flat Sheen? Oh, I don't know Flat Sheen personally. I mean, first of all, he's fictional. Um, hmm. Yeah, but there's an actor. Yeah. Um, who we're not naming, but... Um, I, 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 I don't know him. Like, it, I get, because a lot of people, like, they gave it a shot because it was connected to the Smurfs. And it's like, I can understand that, but that doesn't... Not all of us are fans of the Smurfs, so... What? Well, okay, Rags is, but I... You I am as well, I really like right? the Smurfs. Well, I don't know fuck all about the Smurfs, really. Don't know shit about the Smurfs. Well, there you go, it's just... You, you said that with aggression in your voice, <laughs> uh, uh, Fringy. <laughs> I don't know... I don't know anything about the Smurfs. I just don't. Well, maybe you should fix that. Maybe you should work on your flaws. Damn. Well, maybe I should watch the Smurfs movie that came out with Neil Patrick Harris. And... Yeah. And, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a personal failing that you haven't seen. I think, that. and Hank Azaria is in it and plays Wizard, right? Or well, Jay would know. He's obsessed with the Smurfs. He's big Smurfs. Yes, fan. he is. Yeah. So, Chris Pratt was he in it or not? Oh, he of course um, he was. I guess he'll be in the next one, though, right? Hopefully. 
And it, Chris Pratt is Garfield. <laughs> it's just. You By say, way, hey, uh, he, that's what he saves his Italian yeah. accent for. He say, hey, I'm a cat. I like a lasagna. I can't, hey, I can't wait to hear him in his just normal voice say meow. Yep. Meow. Well, I, I feel like it's the thing of him in his normal voice saying, it's a me, Mario. It's like, are we, yeah. are we actually doing that or? Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. That's going to be Mario. really funny. I think it, I, I we mean, told him before. I, so I, the problem is, it's no way they're doing him funny, in a I, fucking Italian accent. They can't do that this day and age. Except I don't think I don't think there's the anything Mario video games, doing it against though. Italians. I don't think anyone cares. If no, I, no, Italian Italians. is definitely Italian is definitely slipping into the category. People you know, will make funny. noise, Jay. They don't want to yeah. risk oh. that. Basically, at this point, I think the only British you're totally safe. Um, I think German you're still allowed to. Um, and yeah, Russian, French, you're allowed to. Probably get in trouble. Russian, you're definitely allowed to. Russian will be the but last. All, all of these groups are generally white. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah. I, I guess. Um, I think anyone's going to pretend they're not. Yeah, I wasn't saying they're I'm black. I'm probably going to say that, that like, uh, them being white is the point. Chris Pratt, Mario. Like, I know that we meme about it, but like, I kind of fucking hate it. Um, I'm pretty sure I've said that before, but like, I uh, I really don't like it. Um. I don't like what it represents in terms of like, we can't have Charles Martinet. Nobody knows who he is. We got to have celebrity voice actors for this Mario movie. And there are no famous Italians. Well, I don't, it's, it's just, I don't know. It, it feels, it feels really unfair to the man who's been voicing him for like 30 years. He's been doing the voice. He is the voice. There is no other Mario, but him basically. And they're making a feature film and we're not going to get him. We're not going to get the actress who's been playing Peach for like 15 years at this point. We're not going to get... We, you know, I, I just, I don't like it. I, I really don't like it. Oh, yeah, I'm inclined to agree with that. I am like, inclined to agree with And it's not that Mario's got like deep lore or anything like that. But like fucking hell, I feel like this movie's going to piss me the fuck off. <laughs> like when I watch it, it's just going to be some bullshit. But who knows? Maybe, maybe it'll be really good. Maybe it'll blow my mind. It, just, it really, really captured fun. Mario's character. Well, it's illumination. That's like the big thing that actually makes me just concerned about it. It's illumination. Oh, the, the garbage manufacturers. Hey, Basically, they made well, Despicable the, Me 6, all right, with the minions. And that was so funny. Now, you're right. It is adaptation argument. I know. It could be totally great on its own grounds, but, like, Mario is one of those things where it's like, I think I think when I saw the announcement, it reminded me, like, man, I actually do really like Mario. I really well, yeah, do. No, it's not like you're claiming it's it's no. bad because Chris Pratt is the voice. No, it, it could be good. It, it could be good. It could you be just good. Don't like, you're... What you're claiming is you don't like the decision. I don't like the decision, yeah. Which is, I, I think we've always said that that's totally fine, right? Like, if yeah, you don't I'm like what yeah. they're doing in... Well, yeah, I, I'm upset. Well, that even if they, if they cast be... Gal Gadot to play a character, no. you'd be concerned, and you say, "I don't like that decision," but it wouldn't necessarily make the media bad. It's not bad in and of itself, as a yeah. Like it, it, maybe Chris Pratt has a really great Mario voice. Maybe Chris Pratt's voice be works so. better for a feature-length film in terms of you know not having it. But then again, I guess the problem is that it feels to me like you could make a Mario-length feature hmm. film where you try really hard to do something that's a bit more creative, which is like a film with very minimal dialogue. Is it a Mario-length feature film? A Mario-length feature film, yes. <laughs> what does that mean? Like... Uh, it's it's a Mario-length feature film, all right? It's 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 a feature-length It's as Mario long feature. as Mario. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I got it. It's one um, Mario long. Well, uh, now someone's mentioned something interesting in chat, right? How like, Sonic and Knuckles in the film are played by different people, but they brought the original Tails voice actor in to play Tails. Um, well, we know who's stuck to stick. Uh, Roger, uh, it's Roger Craig Smith, right? Is I the, the that voice sounds like a Sonic. made up name. That's, how is that a made up name? That's like a very All normal name. Made up um, Craig Smith. I don't know. I don't Craig trust is it. a real name. Uh, and then and then uh, I think it's well, Travis. Is he, does he Smith Craig? Um, but they don't bring them in, and it's like, hmm, I guess it's, yeah, I don't know. But, but then again, I like the guy who did Sonic in the, uh, who played Sonic in the, in the film. I think he did a good job. What an odd world we live in where, like, there is genuine real excitement for, like, Sonic the Hedgehog movie. 
Is there? I want my Shadow the Hedgehog movie. Yeah, there is. Know. There are people. I want Shadow the Hedgehog to show up. He'll be the post credit stinger for this one. And I fucking Sonic, hope the so. Hedgehog 3 will oh my have god, he will. You're Shadow right. Played by Jared Leto. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It'd be perfect. Honka, yeah, Ben honka. Schwartz, the guy. I, I thought he did a good job. Honka. He seemed to really give a shit, which is cool as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, good to see the whole EFAB crew together. Well, except Das and Meme Repo, who are in the editing dungeons where they belong. Good coom to you all. Aw, oh, good coom. I, I love a good coom. Yeah. Uh, hey Muller, isn't it weird how people don't pronounce the P in Simpsons? <laughs> Hell yeah. Simpsons. Simpsons. The Simpsons. <laughs> isn't it weird how people don't pronounce the P in Simp? Yeah, they just say Yeah, they do. Oh, what do you mean? What? Well, people don't, just don't pronounce the P in simp. Mm hmm. What was that? What did I just hear there? Simp? Yeah, it sounds like you're pronouncing the P. Yeah, well, it sounds like a lot of things. You're just too used to it. You're so used to the fact that I don't pronounce the P when I say simp. That you're you're imagining it, you, you can hear it anyway. It. You keep doing it. It's confusing. I don't want to stop. I want. <laughs> I don't want to stop playing along with this. It's okay, we can move on. It's like a game of chicken. It is. Chimkin. Isn't it weird how no one pronounces the P in chicken? Chicken. Yeah, that is Chimkin. a bit odd. Um, if you have an animal sanctuary, would it be as beautiful as Mr. Frog's? Oh, easily, yeah. <laughs> I try. It'd be hard to be as as beautiful as Mr. Frog's sanctuary. He's is that, is this another uh, smiling Frog. friends thing? Yeah, Mr. Frog. I'm Mr. Frog. This is my show. I eat the bug. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I eat the bug. That is Hello. the end. I love you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got such a fun, derpy little voice. Please say, "Can I pull your beak?" In Mr. Frog's voice. Can isn't I pull it, your beak? Doesn't it pull his hair? Doesn't he want to pull? He wants, he to, wants pull to pull his hair. It's like hair. no, it's, it's actually an exposed. No well, he hasn't told him that yet. Yeah. That it's an exposed no ending. Can I pull your hair? <laughs> Hello. Uh, Hello, I'm Mr. Frog. Smiling friends is great. It's pretty great. I like it a lot. Didn't they get Mike Staclasa to do the voice of someone? They did. They did in the first episode. Yeah. The, great uh, character that I want to see return. Okay, and if you can't save me, I'm gonna fucking shoot myself and make you two watch. <laughs> <laughs> and then Pim just goes, oh, I don't know about that, but yay! <laughs> yeah, the dramatic, the dramatic zoom on his face with this dark shadows everything. <laughs> then what was it where, um, he, he basically, oh yeah, like he destroys Pim's will to live, like, at the end of the episode. <laughs> yeah, because he felt Poor pretty Pim, good, he's he like, is that all life, life is? Just a series yeah. of events trying to distract you from how shitty everything is. <laughs> like, oh man. Yeah. And then when he brought him over to his family and like it was all so dysfunctional and they were yelling at each other, it's like, is this supposed to make me not want to kill myself? I've been down in the mines 14 hours. For 40 hours today! Don't you tell me to shut up! I'll do whatever I bloody want! Go watch Can't Smiling Friends, everyone. Full season. <laughs> um, where it is, like, is it a good replacement for Rick and Morty? Uh, it's a very different show. But like, yeah, is it is it going to fill the void that Rick and Morty left? I don't think so. They're, they're different shows. But you um, know what? I wouldn't even say it can because it's too short. Like, it's it's so short. Yeah. Where is Ra? Is he safe? Is he all right? I don't know. I don't know. In your anger, you may have killed him. I don't know. Oh no. One, have time machine and a blank stack of paper on your desk. In 45 minutes, you will pick up the top sheet, put a check mark on it, travel back 30, 30 minutes, and set the paper to the top of the stack. Do you see yourself arrive at the paper on the stack? How many check marks are on it? What? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it again, but slower, because even I'm lost. Um, have time machine and a blank stack of paper on your is on your desk. All right. Right. In 45 minutes, you will pick up the top sheet and put a check mark on it. Travel back 30 minutes and set the paper on the top to the on the top of the stack. 
Do you see yourself arrive and set a paper on the stack? How many check marks are on it? Um, I guess this is the nature of what kind of like time rules are we following and the, the loopiness of it. I am lost. <laughs> like I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at. Yeah, hmm. I don't know. What if I miss you'll pick up a top sheet and put a check mark on it and you'll travel back to 30. Paper on top of the stack. Do you see yourself arrive and put his paper on the stack? I guess so. I, I I think it is just down to whatever particular rules you're running with of time travel, right? That's, that's all I got, I'm afraid. On the rules, yeah. Mr. Frog is my new idol. See, that's something I understand. Mm -hmm. Do you think a Christmas carol counts as using time travel, like the three spirits? Makes me think of time travel only being a power of God, gods, or the supernatural. Totally is time uh, travel, I think it? that uh, I'm pretty sure a Christmas carol counts as time travel, yeah. You got the ghost well, I don't. Past and future visiting him. I mean, we know. travel to the future and then we go back in time. Well, we to get try visions and... of these things. I don't know if we actually go there. Well, when if we Scrooge see a future. Well, up. if we see a future and then an action that he takes prevents that future from occurring, has he not changed the future? I guess. Um, it's on. I mean, it's only time travel if it's a literal, like it's in a full-on vision of the literal. Because right. like. Because, I mean, here's the thing, right? Um, you could use um, all the information you have available to make an incredibly accurate prediction of the future, right? And then show that to someone. You could also, you know, record something that happened to the, in the past and show that to someone. And that's not time travel. Right. Uh, hey guys, you should watch Arcane. Hi, Rex. Hi. Is this just going to be a meme now? Just telling us to watch Arcane? Well, but it it was already that before it was a meme because people yeah. want us to see it. So I just like, I guess, when do how do we tell when it becomes a meme, Jay? Oh, that's a good point. I we mean, I, I think I think we'll it. be able to tell it's a meme once we've already seen it and people are super chatting. Hey, please watch oh, Arcane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Fring 3D Squelch Squelchin hates lies. Australia ain't real. Yes, it is. Oh, you prove it. No. Yeah. Alright. I'm Italian, and I'm more offended that they're Ew. not doing the Italian accent for Mario. I'm just, I'm just gonna wait and watch the fireworks, you know? That's that's my, my input on that one. A deconstruction writer... Write new canon for your favorite characters. Would you rather they add slash change their origin a year prior to birth or post prime? Change their origin prior to birth or post prime? Or well, I, I imagine change them post prime. Um. All right. So like, wreck on their origin or wreck on them going forward. Mm, I suppose going probably forward. Probably origin. Ah. Oh. Well, the thing is, if you fuck up their origin, then it feels like a stain. While the or the fuck up the future, you just cut it off. Well, I mean, you can basically, if our solution is just to ignore whatever they do, then you know it doesn't really matter, does it? Because we'll still always have the. Um... True. But if it's like you know, at least one um... way you can say it hasn't happened yet, whereas the other way, it's always happened. True, like I mean, I guess would you rather watch? Um... You know, New Hope, Empire, Return of the Jedi, knowing that Luke does what he does in TLJ, or would you rather watch it knowing that Luke uh, had like a really emo teenage phase where he went out and did loads of like killing? I don't know. I think well, I prefer I guess the sequel. Well, like, if he had survived in TLJ and they just kept doing stuff with him, like an equivalently, an equivalently, oh no, like one year before their birth, did it say? Year, year prior to the birth, yeah. Okay, so it's like, um, they retcon it so that, I don't know, that's, that's hard with, uh, with Luke. Because his, his origin is actually very important to his story. Um, I guess, like, if we, if we make it so that Han, he was actually born from, like, really, cr he has, like, a really cringe story about his parents and one of them is like a 
One of them is a Sarlacc pit. What he's Han is half Sarlacc pit. Um. I think I think I'm I think I'm more happy to accept that than um, stuff he actually does as a character being really out of character in the future. Because if it happens before he's born, he can't be assassinated. Um. He can be aborted though. Yeah, but I, I feel like that's probably not going to happen if it is his origin well, story. Well, okay, but what if they made him, like, a cyborg <laughs> controlled by Jabba the Hutt? Um... Oh, yeah, that's that's a problem. <laughs> oh, and they said, I mean, up to a year before their birth. Uh... I think I prefer... Just intuitively... When they fuck with the future rather than the past. Um, though I think both of them can be catastrophic. I also like this person sort of used, um, Deconstructionist Writer, which can be done very well as just shorthand for Brian <laughs> Johnson. Yeah. Not gonna lie, Despicable Me 2 was great. Gru is a great father to his adopted daughters. Will Sonic be more accurate than Mario in movies? Will Sonic win? Who knows? Maybe. And, uh, I can't remember if I've seen Despicable Me 2 or not. I know I've seen the first one. I have, but I just can't really remember much oh, about it. Despicable Me Too. That I was imagining it's a story about where loads of like the the minions accuse Gru of sexual assault. Mm -hmm. Despicable Me you know Too. No, it's gonna happen. Right. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I think that was fine, Jake. That was fine. I don't. I, I need to do better, Senator. Well, the next one says kick Jay and give Rags five dollars. <laughs> so. Awesome. It must Thanks. be because of what you said, yeah. Uh, could you check the order of the Super Chat Catch-Up list? I can. So, we got 165. Uh, scrolling, scrolling. 148. Scrolling, 147. Scroll, oh my god, 147 is going to take a while. 144. Uh, scrolling still. Emotions are dumb. I don't know what that's in reference to. One four two. That's my. That's that's what it's got. That, that's my my catchphrase. Emotions are dumb. One three yeah. three. Uh, one three four. And is that it? Or one three five. And that's it, yeah. So the earliest is 135. So, yeah, you know, we got a few episodes to get through. Um, uh, catch up, you know. Some, some time. Um. There we are. Uh, can you watch Closer Look's Far From Home video? Uh, maybe one day, I'm not sure. I think Spider-Man has had so much coverage on the show. I would be alright with giving Spider-Man a break. Mm-hmm. Um, isn't it weird how the J in group chat is silent? Huh, I never hey. thought of it like that. But yeah, mm -hmm. that is the case. You don't, you don't hear it. You really don't. No. It seems in your anger, Susan banned him. She, she couldn't have... He was too base to accept a banning. I know it. No. Vader would be very upset if uh, Ra were to be banned, I think. Speaking of smiling friends, Fringy, how accurate is Michael Cusack's representation of Australian culture, i.e. YOLO, Damo, and Darren? Um, so that's kind of what makes him such an interesting and, and cool creator is that it's actually like it it feels like a very distinctly Australian um, style of humor. Like, if, if, you know, which um, probably, I guess, harder to narrow it down than, like, British humor versus American humor versus Australian humor. It's, um, you definitely get a lot out of those uh, if you're Australian. Like, Bush World Adventures, that's a hyper-Australian uh, thing in terms of, like, the references and the places and the characters and just interactions and stuff. Yeah, it's um, pretty good in that regard. 
Uh, Free, what do you think of Crash Twin Sanity besides the obvious? I still love what it attempted. Hope they bring back Nina and the Evil Academy. Um, Crash Team, uh, Team Sanity. Crash Twin Sanity is like a really cool idea. And it probably would have been a, an awesome game if it got like another year of development. But that game is not, that game was not finished. Um, I like Twin Sanity. It's, it's probably, um, it's probably the one that I like the most of the, of that period of time, like PS2, PS3, that, that era for Crash. Um, but yeah, it wasn't finished, so. Uh, question, is there a limit on how many main characters you can have in a story? Just curious, since I've been writing a story that is inspired by Lord of the Rings and Star Wars episodes 1 through 6. The story I'm writing has eight characters. They are like the Fellowship from Lord of the Rings, as each character comes from a different species except for two, since they are twin brothers. Um... Um... Uh, it depends. Um, usually stories have at least, even if they have a lot of main characters, there's usually like one main main character, the most important one of them all, the POV character, the person who's got the central arc. Um, I don't know that there's any, like, real clear limit to how many main yeah. characters you can have, though. It feels like it's entirely contextual. If, you, if you're writing a story that's only ten pages long, having eight main characters might be a bit of a struggle. But if yeah. you're writing, like, a massive, big series, you could probably get away with having... Because, like, uh, if you look at Infinity War, it's, like, split into, I think you could argue, Thor's POV, Iron Man's POV... And Thanos' POV. Think so, yeah. Um, with Captain a few exceptions. Because Captain America's POV is, is not super strong. Um, yeah, then, I yeah. Think, I think that's a good example. Um, but one but could I mean, be like, about, oh, there's loads of main characters in that film. Like like 15, you'd be like, I guess it's not really main at that point. Well, so, the thing is, is that you can have the division of primary and secondary characters. So, like, primary is our big people, our protagonist, our antagonist, and deuteragonist, maybe. So you usually have, like, a few of them. And then secondary characters, you have a whole bunch more that you can have there. And you have a lot of secondary characters, typically. Um, and then tertiary. And then you got tertiary, yeah, like, people who only show up. So, I mean, a, a way to think about it would be, like, who are the main characters of Guardians of the Galaxy? It's like, you could say it's all of them, but it's probably Peter. He's, like, the main character. Uh, and then everybody else is, uh, in d you know, descending tiers of, like, importance. Like, Gamora is more important than, uh, than Rocket, but it's not like Rocket isn't important. He's more important than a bunch of other people. And you could say that all of those characters are more important than, uh, Ronan. It, I guess it depends on what we mean by important. Mm -hmm. Um, ultimately, I guess it's, it's kind of, you gotta just... What are your goals, and do you have time in your story to achieve all of them? Uh, and if you can't, maybe it's okay to have one character who only really exists to prop up some other character on their arc. And it's not as important what's going on with them. Um, but I don't, I, I don't see that it's impossible to have a really well fleshed out ensemble. We have plenty of examples of that. Lord of the Rings, obviously. Buffy. Um, Avengers. Just, uh, I guess, I guess it might be worthwhile to have a, a slightly narrower focus, especially if it's, like, your first time working yeah. on a story. Like, a big story. Um. Today's animal is the Bombardier Beetle. The Bombardier Beetle? Let me look that What's up. What's funny is, uh, I've said that word many times in the past month-ish, because it's in the, uh, it's in the Ant game. Oh, wow, look at that thing. Sprays acid. Yep. The bastard. And you gotta kill it in the ant game. You gotta murder it. Otherwise, it'll murder you. Yeah, it's a, it's a neat little critter. In some ways, in others, it's terrifying. Yeah, no kidding. Hello, Rags. Hello, hello. You beautiful, fluffy, well-endowed doggo, you. What's everyone's oh. favorite movie quote? No cliches. No oh. cliches. So I have 
All right, if there's ones that aren't cliched or famous, I really like Lawrence Fishburne's line in um, Event Horizon, where he just says, we're leaving. I know what you mean. It's after they watched all the people screaming and blood getting splattered everywhere. Yeah, it's and he's like, like yep, we're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> we're leaving. Um, yeah, because favorite movie quote could just mean anything, right? It doesn't have to be, like, inspirational. It could just be funny. No. Uh... Damn, I, it's one of these things where I know I've got answers, but I'm blanking right now. I'll give another. I, I don't. I don't know if it's cliched enough, but believe it or not, it's from a Zack Snyder film. I know it's what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, I like it when Batman says, "Men are brave." That's a good line. Yeah, I really like that. It I don't is, mean a good line like, for you know for tonight we dine in hell. I like that line. What's really sad about that line too is that they are going to go to hell and they're gonna. Have, and they're going to show up to the restaurant. They're going to say, hello, reservations for 300. And then the person <laughs> at the front is going to say, well, I, I don't have you. I don't, I don't have you on the list here. What was the last name? You're like Leonidas. I said, no, no, no. I, I don't have you. You said 300. We, we don't have you. He's like, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? And he's like, what? This is hell. What do you expect? Um, now, in chat, someone sent me fastest speech to Sim, but that doesn't feel fair. A whole us, like, speech. <laughs> if we start including whole speeches, that changes a lot of things. Um, yeah. I really like the, uh, in terms of what it means, the quote in Steve Jobs when, uh, when Steve says, it, like, in terms of they're trying to get the computer to say hello, it needs to say hello because it can. It's like, hmm, that's, uh, that makes you think. In terms of, like, what the goals, are, what, you know, what computers mean. And like what we're trying to show here. Max needs to see he Sphere. Needs to say hello because I have. I have seen Sphere. Oh, I... and another one from Steve I Jobs. Think I like it. Um You're gonna get killed and I'm gonna stand beside you because that's what men do. I, I like that quote. That's a great movie. Hot Fuzz has some good ones. Um Hmm. Well, because there's a lot of the... You're a doctor, deal with it. That's a fucking great line. <laughs> Especially if you include the yeah, motherfucker part there. Uh, um, probably the... Yeah. What Angia says at the end of Prestige. Um, he says, like, you never understood why we did this. The audience knows the truth. The world is solid all the way through. But if you can fool them... Even for a second, then you can make them wonder, and then you get to see something special. It was the look on their faces. It was the last thing he says before he dies. Oh, good one. Peacemaker, what a joke. Yeah, that's a great line. Yeah, that one's pretty awesome. Um, and I mean, you know, I, is it a cliche that if we can't save the world, you can be damn sure we'll avenge it? It's a good line. I figure that going in for cliches, like just common choices, like tears in the yeah, rain. Yeah, right. Well, no nope, tears in not rain. Not fair though, because the fucking awesome line. <laughs> like it's, it's there's a. Well, they shouldn't have called it cliche. Like... They should have just said outside of obvious ones, maybe. Yeah. Um. Morality mm. is a strength. No. So I would no. say that the Roy, the Roy Batty thing that I would pull from that is quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it's like to be a slave. Hmm. Uh. I don't know why I'm blanking, because I know that there are other ones I like, but, uh... Uh... It's because most, like, so many, uh, lines are made, Im are made impactful by their context rather than what they actually are, right? Yeah, yeah I like it there when Palpatine says, do it. I think what, when like, we uh... use these lines that we are evoking the context as well, hopefully for those who have seen mm -hmm. them, films or whatever. Well, I mean, because I know it's not from a movie, but if nothing we do matters, then all that matters is what we do. That's, uh... Ooh, Cheating. That's no wonderful. movie. This has got to be a movie. No yeah. TV shows, like, I know, but... I mean, that's true, but it's like, one of, like, I think some of the most, like, one of the most impactful lines from a movie that I've watched for recently is like, um, I never told you this, but uh, I love you, man. It's like, yes, yeah, it's a great line in the story, but if, uh, if I said it here, you'd be like, well... Mm hmm Mm-hmm. It's, it's um it's really meaningful in the story, but in terms of it being a line, I think it's just like yeah, well, like, that's normal, yeah. right? That's if I said someone like, "Let's go to work," you'd be like, "What does that even?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck does that mean? It means something real important. But, yeah. 
it could be the perfect thing for the character to say in that context, but... True, but I think that most of the ones we were we were saying, people are aware of where they're from, at least. True. True. Something of a scientist myself, that's a good one. Yeah. No, is it, something is it that good of a line, well. or is it just a completely yes. normal thing to say? It is, an, it is an incredible line, a pretty line, good line, Jay. Listen, don't, don't, yeah. don't fuck this up for all of us and our reputations, okay? Look, look, that's an amazing line. It might even be the best line ever? Possibly. I mean, I don't know if it tops you'll get your rent when you fix this damn door, though. Goddamn. Ooh, that's a good one. Well, so we yeah. don't count Bully Maguire because everything he says is fucking top notch. Everything he it's says all is, and is just so good. In a way. <laughs> it's so great. Um, the power of the sun in the palm of my hand is a cool line, but I don't know what it means to me specifically. <laughs> Whoa, there's a good one. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. That's a great line. You can't exclude, well, then you are lost. You've got to put that on there too, right? That's that's true, yeah. Um, I want to say I there was... There uh, uh, what was that that the Scarecrow says in The Wizard of Oz? Um, where Dorothy says, well, how... How come you can talk if you don't have a brain? And he says, well, plenty of people without brains do an awful lot of talking. Ah, uh, that's nice. That's a good one. Damn. Man. You tell him, Scarecrow. Get busy living or get busy dying. Unfortunately, that prom probably does slot into the cliche. Uh, not the cliche, but the commonly cited lines. They were so concerned with whether or not they could that they didn't think whether or not they should. You know, that's a good one. It's the most commonly... I know, one of the, one of the biggest cliche ones has got to be right. Um, I'm not trapped in here with you, you're trapped in here with me. Yeah, probably. Yeah. How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> oh, some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. That's a good one. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of good ones from... Tarantino films as well. Don't you know I'm Electro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Iconic. Don't you know I'm Electro? <laughs> Love it. Don't you know what a shit, shit film? What? That's a hot take. Um, buy, rent, toss. Dark Souls 2, The Last of Us 2, Cyberpunk 2077. Um, I'll buy Cyberpunk. Probably buy Cyberpunk, yeah, and then rent Dark Souls 2. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 is a too. bit of a mean like game to play. I Dark Souls 2. But uh, what, was the, what was the third option there? Oh, right. Last of Us 2 can be tossed. Fuck that game. Yeah, it's I agree with all of those. Pleasant experience. I saw a meme today that I found amusing where it was like, you had the, the, the like, that depressed Wojak face thinking about Spec Ops The Line in 2012. And then compared it to, like, The Last of Us 2. Oh, you killed a dog. Wow, this game is so depressing and deep. It is, though. Yeah, they say their names of their bodies when you kill them. It's well, that animated. kind of amazing that, um... People got upset about the dog thing, didn't they? They said that you shouldn't have to kill the dog. Um, uh, they, they promised the that dog. that wouldn't be a... It's like, you can't com progress the game without killing the dog. Yeah, but you So I don't feel bad about doing it, because it wasn't my... It, it's not up to me. I have okay. to do yeah, it. It's like well, a, yeah, what, it's, like, yeah. Uh, it's a, what it's if you just made a game criticism. incredibly difficult if you didn't wow. kill the dog? Tell it's a better. point of criticism cool. against um, Spec Ops The Line, which I think is fair, because when I was playing that game, and I got up to the white phosphorus bit, right at the end, I'm like, oh, I know what this is. Like, I know what's happening here. Um, but, um, I, I couldn't progress without continuing, so it's like, I don't really feel bad because I knew what was going on. So um, uh, I had no... Yeah. So go on. Oh, it's just, you know, it's the, it is the thing, right? If the game doesn't give you a choice... Yeah. It's, I, I guess, unless you think that it's valid to say, we'll stop playing. But I don't I don't think that that's... No. I don't well, know that I, I think that's a fair thing to say, right? No. Just stop playing. It's like, well, I want to see how it ends. So, Plus like, I paid Pathologic is a game where, um... It, just killing a child right at the beginning of one of the, um... Of one of the character stories is like one of the main ways to get away to defend yourself and you really need one of those. It's like, yeah, you can murder this child if you want, that'll help, but um... You're murdering a child, um, that's, the, that's what you're doing. 
apparently Neil Druckmann said you didn't have to kill dogs in the game, and the game forces you to kill. I guess it would be the idea that you can technically avoid every encounter without. But that's not. I'm true. assuming there's, there's that's not what he meant. That you're locked in. That's not what people right, were angry about. I'm pretty sure that they they promised you wouldn't okay. have to do that. And if you remember, like all the dog encounters, that is true of, but it's not of that one. There is one that you have yeah. to do it. Uh, I agree, Theo. Spec Ops Align does do better in terms of choices because there are a lot of situations where you do have choices and they just don't tell you that it's a choice. Which I find to be more interesting in terms of a reflection on your uh, decision making. Like, if I'm playing Mass Effect, I know what the good option and the bad option is. I want to play good, so I'll pick the good option. Whereas in Spec Ops Align where they say, well, you got to make a choice between, I don't know, shooting these two guys or running away and trying to fight your way out. It's like, well... You could give it a try to not do what the person says, and it is an option that's viable, it's just really hard. Um, <laughs> it's the dog you play fetch with, that's true. It's so stupid. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the dog that they set up yeah. to be emotionally Fuck, that yeah, game is bad. It make you feel bad. It's like, see, look at you, you're a monster, this dog was nice. It's like, <laughs> you know what? I had reason to believe that the dog was nice to some people. Oh man, yeah. I would pay good money to have seen them come up with that idea in the boardroom. One of them was so fucking chuffed with themselves. Oh, this dog you gotta kill. What if we play fetch with it earlier? That'll be really sad. That's really yeah. good stuff, Jerry. This is great. You're such a well, it's just the good standard designer. thing. Flip the order. Endear me to the dog first. <laughs> endear me to all these people first before just starting them off That's on a, a really bad note. Well, they, they tried to endear you to the dog first. No, they don't. They, they do it the other they, way around, don't they? Or no, do they the dog would it's second. A dog. So you kill the dog before you find out that the dog is oh, friendly. Oh, okay. That the dog had a life and the dog had people. The, yeah, as if that was and... something that you needed explained. That the okay, dog okay, okay. liked other dogs. What? <laughs> and then you cry. You cry, cry, cry. <laughs> yeah. God, that game is just miserable. Yep. It's like the worst way to try and get that concept across, you know? What concept? Well, the... the concept that, uh, the cycle of violence and all yeah. that. Yeah. Because that's what the game is about, um, because they said so in a devlog. <laughs> um, but also because that's what it is about. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's like, see? They're people too, the people who you watched beat Joel to death with a golf club. Like, shoot his leg and say, you don't get to rush dying. I'm going to make it slow. It's like, man, what a great us. I love to yeah, see you're just, her story. You're just a, yeah, I don't, well, just, I don't really I don't care. Watch, I, like, maybe Joel did something really bad. We could explore that, but we shouldn't explore that by having him get bludgeoned to death by someone I've never met before with a golf club. Well, and then, no, that's, that's 20 hours the later, daughter of the well, like, doctor, Fringy. It's very meaningful. Yeah. It's just, 20 hours later, we're like, oh, we find out about all your history. Um, it's like, man, God, what a so many better ways. choice. So many better ways to yeah. have done it. So sad. There are many better ways. It's not, it's not a, it's not a damned story, you know? It, it could be something cool. He saved a zebra. He did. He, he did save a zebra. It's true. Enemies calling out each other's names if you kill them. Shit is so fucking cheap. Yes, it's it is. It's incredibly funny. cheap. Steven! Well, you know <laughs> what? Mary! Steven fucking Look, deserved it. Fuck, fuck Steven. Steven. <laughs> fuck Steven. <laughs> Asshole. It's like the Rick and Morty moment where um, the, the Grufflemite gets shot by Morty in the first episode after Rick, Rick calls them robots. Rick death! Call, <laughs> call his wife and children! You tell me they're robots. They're bureaucrats, Morty. I don't respect them. It's like the shittiest... Like, you know... Everyone here, if you haven't seen it, you need to see um, Unforgiven. Yep. Well, yeah, you we should just see that One no of matter what. All time. You need you need to see that movie. It's really, really good. Yeah. Chat, I better I see some hearts movie. for Unforgiven, okay? It's a, no one just dislikes that movie, and if they do, they, they're not from Earth. You're wrong. Oh, if you so don't great. like that movie, you're wrong. <laughs> do better, Neil. Do better... Everyone. You gotta do better, Neil! <laughs> I don't remember Forgiven. I saw Unforgiven, don't remember much. You're all horrible. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> Wrong. It's great for you, but no Robocop. The best I mean, I like time. Robocop a lot too. I didn't say it was the best movie of all time, I said it was one of the best movies of all time. 
I mean, like, I feel like we're all smart enough here to not claim that something is the best movie of all time. I don't time. think I can do that. I Batman and Robin. I, I feel like even if I've watched 100% of the movies, the line dividing the first best to the second best is going to be so astronomically small that it feels like, uh, I and don't when know. You say that, but have you seen <laughs> Someone, Power so Rangers 2? Just said, I don't like Soma. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. <laughs> so you've chosen death. Oh, Deserve's got nothing know, to do with it. it There's another fucking shit ton of good quotes from Unforgiven as well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell of a thing, killing a man. Take away all he's had and all he'll ever have. All he's got and all he'll ever have, rather. Um, My wonderful massives, why are you talking about Star Wars? Spider-Man just came out. Now go buy some Ooh. rhino milk. Nice. We will. We will. Hey guys, really love your stuff. Question, what's your favorite game or movie? You can name one of each. Some is my favorite game. My favorite movie is... I guess Masquerade or Excalibur's up there. Um, I'll go with Prestige and a combo of Metroid Prime and Super Metroid for now. Although these answers can change, you know? Nintendo shills. Mm-hmm. Um... I tend to default to Saving Private Ryan and uh, Crash 2. Now you, Jay. What are, you, what are your terrible answers? Um, I'm kind of just stumped here. I mean, I, I do always go back to Chronicle, so I'll, I'll say Chronicle for my movie, and I will say Game? Ooh, Jack and Daxter. I like that game a lot. It's a good choice. Sweet, we did it. Nice. Keep, yeah. trying to persuade people to, keep trying to persuade people to watch that movie and play that game. Finally got Metal to watch Chronicle, and he said it was good. Play Metroid Dread, damn it. I will do that at some point. You should. I, I wouldn't mind going through, like, finding a way to get through every Metroid game. That would be a fun thing to do. Every, including Other M? Or... Sure, why not? I never played it, so... Right. Uh, almost forgot. Hi, Rags and Kick J. Hello! Since Revenge of the Sith is PG thirteen, is it allowed? It is allowed one F word. Where would you put it? I think we had this question. From my before. point of view, the Jedi are fucking evil. <laughs> oh no, we can do better than that. <laughs> no, I know we can. I am the fucking Senate. <laughs> that might be it. <laughs> fucking about, do it. I was gonna say that. Fucking <laughs> do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, how fucking um, uncivilized. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, execute order 66, fuck. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> it's over, Anakin, I have the fucking high grounds. <laughs> um. You underestimate fucking... my fucking power. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking, fucking try it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. what if... Oh, let, let's do some appropriate where Obi-Wan jumps down and says hello there, and he's like, General fucking Kenobi? <laughs> yeah. It's um, just like that. We just, it's like, this oh. will be a fine addition to my fucking collection. <laughs> what if Obi-Wan came down and just went, fucking hello there? Like, just... <laughs> <laughs> fucking hello there. Fucking hello Holy there. Holy shit. Um, what what, what about, else could there be? What's the space? Um, you underestimate uh, my fucking power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we did yeah, right. that one. We did that one, that one. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We did, yeah. I apologize. <laughs> um, you were the fucking chosen one. <laughs> It Go to the Mustafa the system. system. Don't fucking join them. The, the separatist <laughs> leaders are the there on Mustafa. Fucking darkness. Go fucking take care of them. What if when uh, <laughs> about the fucking the droid attack says, on the Wookiees? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you what about be, the uh... fucking droid attack on the Wookiees? I mean, it could be that the fuck is when he's burning. Like, oh fuck, oh, fuck. Like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, only you a fucking, fucking Sith deals in absolutes. <laughs> you fucking turned her against me. I will do me. what I fucking must. <laughs> you did you that, you're fucking, fucking self. Take her away from me. Your lust for power has already fucking done that. <laughs> 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 I will bring peace and, <laughs> and freedom to my new fucking empire. <laughs> Your new <laughs> <Don't>, fucking empire? <laughs> Don't yes, make me my fucking new fucking kill empire. you. <laughs> Anakin, my allegiance is to the Republic, to fucking democracy! <laughs> God, it's perfect! You can just put it in so many of these. It's because Revenge of the Sith is one of the most quotable movies. 
It is. Oh, you could do- could you do one with Darth Plagueis tonight? I, I, fucking ironic, isn't it? <laughs> it's fucking ironic, isn't it? You um, the fucking tragedy of oh, Darth it, Plagueis it, it the likes. Oh, it could just be when, uh, when, uh, when Mace Windu gets his arm cut off. Oh, fuck! Motherfucker! <laughs> You'd say motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I, I've, I've got a transcript of the movie to find good ones, and here in the here in the transcript, that moment it just says, "Ah, well, he's yeah, too <laughs> fucking dangerous to be left alive." Oh wait, Chad has a good one for us. Uh, uh, Mace Windu is like a fucking Sith Lord. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what the fuck have I done? <laughs> Touch me by my fucking size, do you? It could be like when when uh when everyone gets shot at by Cody, it's like ah oh, fuck, <laughs> he's falling down. Shit, shit, shit. And, or or like uh it could be when uh when the guy turns around after all of the storm uh the clones aim at him like the fuck, <laughs> he starts getting shot at. The fucking Jedi are taking over. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Fucking wipe them out. <laughs> Have the have the protocol droids memory wipes. Oh fuck! <laughs> Actually, everything that R two D two says is is profoundly rude. Yeah, that's why they have to do. I think the there are videos word. like that. Yeah, the subtitling him in the scenes. Good shit. Um, let's have a look here. Where even are we? If you don't stop talking, you'll be held in contempt of court. I have nothing but contempt for this court. Transformers the movie, 1986. Oh boy. Alrighty. I ain't seen it. Uh, you guys need to see Shad's new video on sticks. He's been outed as a fraud. The true genius all along was Chad Looks. I have seen a lot of that video, actually. I don't think I finished it, but he basically argues that... He's like, it's like an alternate persona, it's quite funny. And he just argues that everything is a stick, if you, if you think about it. <laughs> and uh, the stick is the greatest everything. weapon of all time. I just saw Spider-Man for free at the theater I work at. In the back of my mind during the end, this is what those people who hated this Spider-Man wanted. He doesn't suffer, but... He doesn't suffer, but how he does. I wonder what? if... I'm not sure. He doesn't suffer, but how he does. Do you think Maybe, now he now does? now he does. Yeah. I wonder, do they like that for this reason only? Well... I think High Top said something like the first hour was a, like a nightmare, and then the last ten minutes were like... euphoric or some shit. <laughs> so, something dumb, I'm sure. Yeah, they are definitely... that's what they were after, but... Um, I like to believe they value more than just that. You know. They don't. Okay. Why? I mean... You're gonna get clipped on Twitter and they'll make fun of you. Oh no. No. Lord of the Rings is the best movie of all time. Um, it's a fair choice for the best movie of all time. Yeah, I wouldn't blame anybody for picking that. It was okay. Like a five, you'd say? You know what? I'd, be, I'd say it's at least a five. Okay. Right. How how gracious of you. I'm gonna say it's a nine for the mortal men doomed to die. What if you could add a uh, fuck to Lord of the Rings lines? You sh I guess you shall not fucking pass is like the mm -hmm. obvious choice. Um. Uh. One does not simply <laughs> go to fucking Mordor. <laughs> You're my brother, Anakin. I fucked you. Um, oh. Um, hmm. What, are, what lines could there be? Uh. Uh. It, it feels like it's very memeable, more so for Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> yeah. Revenge, mm -hmm. well, Revenge of the Sith has not only so many good lines, but so many bad lines. And. Yeah. And it's funny. It's line. just. It's the most memeable movie, I think, that there might have ever been. I guess. You... Spider-Man 3, it's like... Well, what, like, oh, Bully Maguire, all the lines he could say. You want yeah. forgiveness? Get fucking religion. And of I'm course, when you fix fucking this fucking dirt door, obviously, I'm gonna put some fucking dirt in your <laughs> eye. <laughs> um... Fuck. 
Christ, I'm blanking. There are other, there are other really good ones too. Well, could just be when he see a chump. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Uh... Also, I saw Hill House. You guys need the EFAP movies, the black and white, the haunting. It's a really good character piece, the 1960s one. It more represents the old one in the first half of the series. Fair enough. That's like well, the, the thing that Hill House is closest to being an adaptation of, right? Uh, I'm not actually sure. I just know that the book people were very upset. Poor book people. They're yeah. always upset. Mm-hmm. Opinions on Zootopia. I have not so, seen um, it. Not great. I remember really liking it, but I wonder what I would think if I rewatched it. I it's you like said, I think it, I, I remember its social like, commentary being really just like. Um, it's incredibly thin, right? It's yeah. just like it's just, and I guess the you wonder right with the dichotomy. It's like there's prey and there's predators, and everybody's mean to prey. They treat them like. But then there's also people, you know, people are mean to the pr they're prey, but they're also mean to the predators. Ain't that mean? Um, I guess I guess it's I I I like that movie though. I remember liking it. I definitely liked it when I first cool. saw it. Fool. Doesn't make me a fool. Yeah, I think I saw it once. I can't remember my thoughts on it at all. Um. Uh, hey, Malorn Rags, and Fringle Dingle Dangle. Hello. Oh, hi. Hmm. Hmm. Also, Mola, can you please add more episodes of EFAP to Spotify? That's what I use to listen at work, and the well runneth dry. I do not know who controls the Spotify stuff for EFAP, but, uh, it ain't, it ain't me. Um, I've just got so much fucking stuff to do that getting audio-only versions of EFAP available for, is, is something that I might try and look into some other time. Um, but it's certainly not something I've got control over right now, so... Whoever was uploading them to there, I don't know if they're still doing it or not. Um, General Kenobi, you are a fucking bold one. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Master Skywalker, there's too fucking many of them. What are we supposed <laughs> to do? What the fuck are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> when someone says no one's done an Empire campaign... Camp Companion, I think that's supposed Campaign. to be. Campaign. Uh, the first thing I think is the 501st. Oh, it is supposed to be Campaign, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, it's, it's uh, I think that might be in reference to when we're talking about how, like, Battlefront 2, it's just that really, was, um, it was, it was that marketed was in as... to modern stuff. Um, I, I think we were complaining that, we were complaining that, like, stuff doesn't ha like to have, uh... Oh, right, yeah. Well, what, but, know, but it's an example of like protagonists Wars, anymore. We... Well, Battlefront 2, the the dice one, it was marketed as you're gonna play as a uh, Empire soldier, and that was like what everybody was really excited for. But then halfway through, she turns into a good guy. Yeah, it was like, like uh, really soon. It was. It might have been even sooner than that. <laughs> and it's just like, can we please get our Empire story? But you didn't, did you? Yeah, you know, the five hundred first story in Battlefront 2, you basically just like slowly dominate and wipe out loads of different people and you even have guilt about it. Yeah, and, and that's what I mean, man. The Battlefront 2 originally makes more of a meaningful attempt at doing that story than the Battlefront 2 with a considerably larger budget. What a shame. Um, Master Skywalker, what the fuck do we do? There it is. A fucking Camino Saber dart. What are some Pack products? Of the clones. Yeah, well, that, that's cheating. Yeah. What are some products or services you use solely because you saw them saw them in an ad? Possibly Audible, because <laughs> uh, I didn't know about it until I saw an ad for it. But that was like Solomon six years ago at this point. I, I legit don't know. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's plenty of things, but I just don't know the ones where I saw the ad for it and then bought it as a result. I just. I just can't well, remember. Well, I guess it might be like of brand of awareness, right? Like NordVPN. The only reason I know about NordVPN is because of YouTube ads. ExpressVPN. Raycon, I guess. Well, I, I don't have Raycon. So. Yeah, I don't know if I've bought anything from ads, or at least I don't remember. I think I might have done well, I mean... Skillshare based on an ad. Like, I saw an ad and then I did the promo code uh, to get a year um, for cheaper. Or like a month or something. 
Um. <laughs> a, a, a friend just sent me a message saying, "Dude, Midnight Mass was going so well. What the fuck was that lost episode?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just, like, <laughs> just like, oh no. It's a shame. What a fucking. It is just. It's. What a horrific last episode. It is a shame. Um. A security hologram of him fucking up younglings. Yeah. That's what happened though, so it wouldn't even be an unsuitable, you know. Uh, you guys see Smiling Friends by Michael Cusack and Psychic Pebbles on Adult Swim? Good rat. It was yeah, good rat. And it was good rat. And I hope that it gets renewed for a second season immediately. We uh we recommend especially the time investment man is so small. Yeah. And if you really like the new ground stuff back in the day, you'll love it. Uh why were the Sokovia records never mentioned for any events in this movie? Seems like something that would uh, fall under its jurisdiction. I, I don't even know. I don't, we don't even care know if about active. the records anymore. <laughs> like we just I don't went know. past that. You point. know the problem Genuinely speaking now, if if we were to write uh, No Way Home, and then during the events and stuff, we were like, oh, wait, 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 what about the Accords? I'd be like, well, what? I need to speak to the Russos, or whoever the fuck wrote The Gap. What did happen with the Accords? You guys have nothing on record about it. You watch Falcon the Winter Soldier, I think. Do they mention the Accords once, I think? Uh, I think they mention the Accords once, yes. So we, we'd get that reference and see what we could draw out of that. Then, like, be like, Mr. <laughs> Feige, what the fuck is going on with the and Accords? What, yeah, that would be the big thing, right? What are we allowed to do? What what uh, what information do we have access to? What are we allowed to um to put in this film? Does, is Doctor Strange... Does he have to adhere to the Accords? Is Doctor Strange bound by the Accords? Do we know? I I'm mean, assuming I not, know. but I don't know. He's a big wizard, you know. Well, what's the Accords even going to do? Well, what, what that's the government do to him. Right? What, what are the accords going to do to Hulk? But you still want the laws in place, right? I, I, that's what I mean. So it's like, it, I don't even disagree that No Way Home doesn't address the accords. But like, I don't even know what the accords are right now. I just don't. Yeah, know. I, I, mean, no Way Home I legit makes an have no clue. To have the, but I guess the thing is, like, No Way Home still makes an effort to acknowledge that there are agencies and the world is going to look into this and it's going to have consequences for companies like Stark and, you know, it's like, that's something, at least. Mm -hmm. It ain't great, but it's something compared to what we got and everything else. Uh, EFAP crew, I'm from an alternate universe in which you have sold EFAP to Angry Joe. He put his dirty signature all over your work. Don't do it. I... I can't see why we would sell it to Angry Joe. <laughs> I don't know why he'd buy it. <laughs> uh, maybe it we'll have to do it. Just Angry Joe, Angry Joe, something. Da, 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 da. Uh, Venom's post credit scene makes me wonder if I get a lady pregnant from another universe and I'm sent back, would that girl still be pregnant? That's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I can't answer that one. I have no idea. Uh, the Yule Goat was burned, sad face. Uh, I agree, Rags. I think that's a good point. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, take a shot every time Rags mentions Adolf Hitler. Nice! As if I needed I more drunk. reason... Yeah, now you can get people drunk. ...to bring up the man who shot Adolf like Hitler. Like, like, don't get me wrong, Rags, you mention Hitler a lot, but I feel like, even I'm mentioning Hitler a lot, like, a, a, a significantly more than average amount of times mentioning something still isn't enough um, drinks to get drunk. Like, that's probably like, you know, a yeah. drink every few hours. Yeah, I, I do mention Hitler statistically a lot more than uh, most people do on average, but there's generally a purpose to it. I'm making a joke or I'm explaining a point. Like I'm using yeah. him as an analogy or something to, you know. Anal G. Anal G? Anal Jesus. Unless it's like every time you say the word Hitler, because then, you know, like, once you start mentioning him, sometimes you, you carry on and you go like, yeah, Hitler. He's, uh, he, what I think about Hitler is that Hitler was pretty cool. False. Correct opinion. No, wait, I won. Sweet. Um, 
I'm the guy who thought his Rags plushie got stolen. Pleased to say he was just late. Hi, Rags. Hello. Excellent. Well, I'm glad he got in. Enjoy. Uh, H bomber guy would call Spider Man a terrorist. Maybe. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm assuming there's something related to that in some way about someone doing some shit. I do not know exactly what the reference is. Just watched it, was frustrated they reverted Peter's character a bit to put him on Toby's arc. They pandered to McComic people, unfortunately. Who people? McComic people. Ah. Uh. Reverting Peter's character to put him on Toby's arc. I don't think they did that. I don't think that this Pretty Peter's hard. ever had the challenge of whether or not he'll execute somebody that he could take prisoner. Which is uh, something I like to see all characters go through, honestly. Unless it's already very clear where they're going to go with that from the off. I guess so, but even the really ruthless characters, I like to see that run out. Just to just to know it for sure that that's what they would do. And maybe try and make it a little bit complicated for them sometimes. Well, what about the opposite? What about characters who are like so... Um, clearly, like, very Paragon that you would never question if they would execute an unarmed prisoner. Well, and just to see it... To see, yeah, I'd like to see that play out as well. You know, like characters Captain like Spider-Man... Wait. Hmm? Oh, you're well, saying... I was, I, was, I was gonna say, but then, ha I, I, basically, like, my thought patterns went through... You know, actually, Spider-Man is kind of a character that I would assume would never kill an ex... Uh, like, e execute uh, someone that they could take prisoner, um, but, like, I think they earn that with him. So, yeah, you can still do that with those characters. Sure, yeah. I guess you just have to give personal motivation for the execution. Uh, for a bit of context, initially the Netflix shows were supposed to be set between Avengers and Age of Ultron. That doesn't make them canon now, obviously, just something to note. You know, it's become complicated now. Yep. Right, and all that. Uh, when was meme stream recorded? Can you date streams? Uh, I don't think, yeah, we've never dated meme streams before, but I've started dating the catch-ups. In the description it'll say original air date, I think. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know when the, the meme streams are done, respectively. Sometimes we try and get uh, two done. Not at the same time, though. I think they're done. Eh. We need to do another one of them, by the way. <laughs> Just another thing in a list of things. Mm -hmm. By the way, Hill House characters are amazing, and the arguing they did reminds me of Buffy's friends arguing. Same vibes, and favorite is Theo. Fair choice. Everyone, everyone likes Theo. Theo's cool. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite exhilarating when you have characters fighting with each other over very fair reasons to do so. They're all within character, and oh, it's so gorgeous. None of them are being, like, dumb. They're all just acting according to their motivations. Mm-hmm. It's what you might call bootiful. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow, you can survive that? What did oh, you survive, Wombo? I nearly survived it. I don't know why they would make it. What did you survive, Wombo? so difficult to- oh, I wouldn't have won anyway, but I fell, and then I didn't die, but then I died. Uh, hey, Fringy. Yo. I remember seeing your Splatoon 2 review a few years ago. I was curious if you did a review of Octo Expansion DLC. If not, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, I didn't, and I cannot remember, hmm... I I think I played it. I think. Um, I remember liking it a bit, but yeah. I'm glad you like this platoon review. Hey. So, what? Car one. I'm I'm like 15 minutes into the first Boba Fett episode. I'm questioning why would he waste his time to save a fellow slave instead of just bailing. Yeah. There's a lot of questions Such you're gonna a have. Such a good like person. That. I was gonna say, how could he leave someone behind? Come on. All those innocent people. Wait, that was Loki. <laughs> yeah, that was Loki. <laughs> and then this, uh, it says like, Nut Peach. Aubrey, I can't make out the image. Um, 
Into exile I must go. Fucking failed I have. That's pretty good. <laughs> good That's a good one. And that would be allowed. They could just write that if they wanted. Yeah. That I think people would say it's a little out of character, though. Yeah, but it's, it's permitted. Who oh, is it now? It is permitted. But just because you can doesn't mean you should. Mm. Wait, would the DM, did the 1F bomb rule exist back then? Yeah, pretty I sure it's existed so. for a while. You know who else had a shot? Hitler. I see. Alright. Have you guys seen The Office? What are your thoughts? I liked it a lot. I love The Office. It was awesome. Yeah, what I've seen of it, I've really liked. Also, there's a drinking game for the show, and most people can't make it past season one. Well, I mean, yeah, you could do that with anything, really. Oh, give me a second. See? They not tell us what the drinking game is. No. <laughs> they ain't gonna do that. But, uh, yeah, fair enough. Um, and this just says Goons. I had Goons. This is a good reference, because it's funny as fuck in Simpsons, but I don't know why you've said it now. I feel like I've missed something. Uh, don't watch Arcane. It's terrible Batwoman tier show. Got banned for defending my arguments on your Discord. So enjoy this money, pets for rags. You would appreciate that. You reckon it's Batwoman the tier? For defending arguments? Yeah, they were, they were apparently banned for defending arguments. Is that against Arcane? the rules, Wumbo? I doubt it. Um... You know what? I think Theo is in chat right now, and he's like one of the one of the proper mods. Oh, you said laugh my ass off. I'm sure he thinks that uh, <laughs> taking this. Very I'm seriously. sure that that's completely unbiased, <laughs> <laughs> a completely unbiased account of events that transpired. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm something of a member berry myself. Nice. Do you think? TH suffered enough for the comic fans? Oh, Tom Holland. Yes, I do. At this point, surely, what more could they do? I've, I've made them admit it. He's suffered more than any live-action Spider-Man has now. Okay? So, he's, he's got over one, the suffering game. Uh, did you notice the apartment at the end was Toby's? Um, I didn't know if it was like one-to-one. I didn't one know it was one. exactly his, but it looks similar. I think it was, was it? <laughs> I'd have to compare them. I never thought to check. You needed a third option, which was haven't seen it. Oh, about whether or not Spider-Man good. I think we did. Um, yeah, that makes sense. We didn't do that. Uh, Marvel breaks physics to dox Daredevil. Are they talking about Wait, the what? Sorry. He said Marvel breaks physics to dox Daredevil. Are you talking about the brick? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I am lost on that one, I'm afraid. Uh, I remember Mola saying he hated the happy ending to Tasm 2. Looks like someone agreed and established retcons in this movie. I don't, I have, I honestly can't remember the nature of that criticism because my, I memory hold Tasm 2 and my arguments against it. Uh, interested in a possible Tasm 3? Garfield saving MJ was heartbreaking. Agreed, I and... I would be totally like, cool with uh, another one. Just hopefully we got a good writing team behind it. That's kind of the thing. I'm interested in pretty much anything that's well made. Like, mm -hmm. and I know you'd be like, well, yeah, but surely you see more potential for this than other things. And I'm just like, I don't know. Like, a, you know, like a Spider-Man 4, some people say like it's unnecessary. And I'm like, well, it could still be amazing. Like it an, could be really great. I mean, an as older long as you've got a story to tell, there's always yeah. a story that you could potentially tell. Uh, Peter is an idiot in this scene, but that doesn't mean he's out of character. Don't know which scene you're talking about. I'm assuming it's the spellcasting scene. Um, and I, st I don't know if I'd call him an idiot. I feel like a lot of people could have had the dialogue he had with Doc Strange rushing everything. He's been fine. Strange is supposed to be intelligent. Instead, he comes off as a cartoon character. He is one stupid laugh away from being goofy. Agreed. Yeah. Yes, it's very unfortunate to see. Strange is out of character for not going into the details about the consequences of the spell. Peter is in character for turning into a panicked mess upon finding out about the consequences while the spell's being conjured. I think that's fair. I think that's fair too. 
Does Uncle Ben exist in the MCU? He had no influence over Peter being a hero. Peter slash May don't mention him. He doesn't have a grave for Peter to visit. Hi, Rags. Hello. Hello. Well, I guess you just have to assume that they were buried in different areas. Um, which accounts for that. You get the uh, Ben Parker initials are on a suitcase he has in Far From Home. And there's an implication of a pass. I think that that animated show is basically going to confirm it. Well, he yeah. might have just... Peter might have just been a fan of oil companies. True. Ah, British Petroleum jokes. Yes. Why didn't Doctor Strange cancel out the spell and talk to Peter after he interrupted the first time? Because he's an idiot. Yeah. Uh, if that is an option to cancel out a spell, might as well, as soon as he even raises one question. Yeah. I mean, you should have just had a conversation before. <laughs> Whatever. Um, also, how would Peter know the spell was being messed up if Strange was actually changing the spell for him? He added MJ, Ned, and May, and then would he mentioned Happy it broke. That's the other. Th yeah, I think that's the other thing that's worth mentioning is like Maybe it, it seems that it's late? like I don't know how you wouldn't end up appealing to try and save the memories of those people about you. Like it's just gonna. He did say he couldn't stop, but that doesn't help. This is it's it's what it's it's all terribly put together, and he didn't have to be terribly put together. That's what sucks. Yep. Uh, is Peter supposed to be smart, and why Doctor so dumb? <clears throat> well, I don't know that. Like again, we're pretty much of the position that Strange was fucked, Peter was fine in that scene. Yeah. Um, Happy Longmas. TLDR, subjectively I give No Way Home an 11 out of 10, but objectively probably a 6.5. Flawed but can't lie. Best theater experience of my life. I hope you all are doing well. Long fap the E, long E the fap. With a heart. Alright. <laughs> it was certainly a very, very pleasant theater experience, and I'm very glad that I was able to, you know, go to the movies and enjoy myself a whole lot. Mm. And smile. And cry. I technically saw that, and then the previous one was Rise of Skywalker, you know? Different experiences, those two. If it wasn't for Dune, it'd be the same way for me. Dune. Oh, nice. Both of mine. Thank you. Uh, to the people accusing Peter of brainwashing, while well, you're not technically wrong, is it a really bad thing for Peter to take away knowledge they weren't supposed to have in the first place? I raggers. Eh. Yeah. Weren't supposed to have is a little bit complicated, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is wrong. That is a wrong thing to do. Fucking with people's minds is just a big no no. Mm. It's not yours to mess it's, with. It's, um. <laughs> I'll just say it nice and vaguely. To think of you as, as an individual, know what's best for other people's minds, it leads you to villain town pretty quick. Mm hmm. I mean, you're taking something that doesn't belong to you. That's someone else's and memory. Messing with someone it else's in a experience. way that might change who they are as a person. Yeah, you can't. I mean, you can't it does. Know. Yeah. And that's the thing. I would have loved that talk. I would have loved Peter saying that to Strange. Strange explaining fully how fucked up that is, how you should never do it, and blah 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 blah. But then, what if Peter is contacted by Strange like a week later, who is fully on board with the spell and explains he was actually wrong and that ethically blah blah, blah and we find out that it's actually Mephisto and that. Originally, yep. Strange had said no, because that's of course what Strange would do. That would have been neat. But now he's out of the pitch from Mephesto's here. Yeah. Uh, he's going to screw with things. Perfect intro for Mephesto. And you don't even have to, like, if we found out by the end of the film it was Mephesto, but we don't we don't catch him and he's gone, it's like, that's fine. There you go, he's set up now. You can bring him whenever you want. The next film. Yeah, you, you can do with him Doctor whatever. Strange, when we find out what's going on with him. That movie is going to well, be Well, I mean, we did find out, right, that, um, what is it, um, No Way Home's story was, had to be changed when it turned out that, um, they were switching, like, this is insane, right? They, they switched the orders of, um, No Way Home and yeah, no Multiverse Home of Madness and had to change yeah. the stories to compensate for that. Which is insane, um, yeah, because it seems like Multiverse of Madness, part of the punishment for Doctor Strange is what he did in No Way Home. At least from the trailer. I don't know if they're keeping that. Yeah, it makes you wonder originally, what was it for? Because, uh, like I said, 
I agree. I think Mordo has a fucking point um, after No Way Home. Mordo has a point now. Yeah, he didn't have a point, <laughs> but he does now. Well, I mean, maybe um, we. It's it's entirely possible. I think it's been entirely likely that before that switch, we probably had a better explanation for the um, the multiverse stuff happening. Do you reckon? Uh, like it was a different thing. Well, if the multiverse stuff started up beforehand, then it might be that the villains were there because of what happens in multiverse, all these shenanigans that are totally. Divorced well, yeah, I mean. Made. Um, it could have been okay, even yeah. that, um, I don't know, Mephesto oh. comes out in, in Multiverse, and they want to introduce Mephesto in Multiverse. That is a very different story, though, for No Way Home, because No Way Home is about specifically villains that Peter let out, and the problem he needs to deal with and stuff. I think it would change a lot, and it would probably change the ending as well, significantly. I don't know. I'm not particularly optimistic about Multiverse and Madness. No. No, 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 no one here is. Who's writing that? Wow. Uh, I think it's the guy who did Loki. <laughs> oh, we're fucked. What? <laughs> what? No. I have no hope. I'm, we're fucked. Well, I remember that film was coming out in like four months, and they just did a whole bunch of reshoots for like a month, apparently to add more cameos. That's like the prevailing thought. Woohoo! Nice. That's that the they, important thing. That's what matters. Cameos, cameos like Tom Cruise as a version of Iron Man, because he was going to be Iron Man initially, and um, that's confirmed, I right? That he's original, in it. I don't think it's confirmed. I think it's a rumor. And then original Fantastic, Mister Fantastic. Um, from the 2005 film. Are we actually going to get the Chris Evans Apparently, name? Apparently, the rumor that I saw today was that they wanted Ben Affleck as Daredevil, but he probably said no. Well, yeah. Because he's done with Super It's like <laughs> everything that we thought they would do, even our jokes are coming true, you know? Yeah. yeah, I mean, the ultimate joke was Chris Evans coming back as the Human Torch, right? Yeah. And now I, 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 I totally the see them doing right? that. It's Twitter post where it's like, Imagine he comes back through and he says, Flame on. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that was a tweet that everyone uh, hated. Uh, okay. It was on everyone. Everyone disliked that. What if Chris Pratt came through as Mario? <laughs> <laughs> With a mustache. That would sell on all the tickets. Hat. It's a, it's Chris Pratt in his normal clothes, but he's wearing a Mario hat and he's got a very conspicuously <laughs> he fake mustache. He's, he's in his and, and Jurassic he World outfit for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got some Yoshis behind him as Velociraptors. Jurassic Park, Yoshi's Island. <laughs> I mean, I honestly, we, we are like one dark timeline away from like Anakin Skywalker showing up. We're fucking yeah. there, baby. We're fucking there. <laughs> We were joking They'll about how Tobey Maguire should show up in Boba Fett on Real BBC. His Spider-Man comes in and helps Boba. <laughs> so this is again. You're gonna want an ED use then. <laughs> which is Boba will be like, what? What's happening? And he's like, it's the multiverse, Boba. Come with me. It's like the what? They just, they jump through yet. a portal. It'll be great. Uh, if you could put googly eyes on the whole cast of any movie, which would it be? <laughs> Someone, <laughs> someone's gonna say Schindler's List. I know. It. Oh no! Oh no! Um, you put googly eyes. Um, wouldn't it be funny in Silence of the Lambs if uh, if Hannibal Lecter had googly eyes while he was staring intensely at Clarice with his eyes? Mm, I might even make it creepier. That might make it creepier, but it might be funny. Um, well, Spider-Man 3, if they all had googly eyes, would that make the memes funnier? What like about if, Zack you know, Snyder's Justice League? Oh, With yes. all the Perfect. googly eyes, yeah. Um... Hmm. What if he had, a uh... Man of Steel. <laughs> Krypton had his chance at the googly eyes! <laughs> and the lasers come out all googly as they flop around and lace of the ship. <laughs> Where did you learn to fight? On a farm? With googly eyes! And then... And then when he tries to laser the bad... The, when he tries to laser the family, he has to try and twist his head around to get the googly eyes. He's trying to not to get them to go off as the lasers bounce around. Oh my god, Don't the laser's the... going everywhere because of the googly eyes. Exactly, yeah. yes. Krypton had his chance with the crazy googly eyes. 
I want to see this. Uh, I'm late, but here's a weird animal. The giant pantopoda. Looks like an actual the face giant... hugger. Oh god. Giant pantopoda. Oh, no, I don't want to look that up. No, that's going to be scary. Oh yeah, well, it just looks like a spider. I've seen these. I think they're in Soma. Can you, can oh, you post this? I hate can that. Can you post this in the text chat for me? I hate this thing so much. Wow, it didn't do anything to you. It looks horrible. Oh boy. Here, let me click on that. Oh boy. It's pretty gross. Oh, that. Yeah, those are not pleasant looking. Oh, look at how fucking big they are. You don't have uh, to post it, it in here. Get it out of I, here. I did think to avoid doing that because I was like, I just. Get it out of here, Jay. Wait, what? Why, why am I getting just, out of here? Just post. One, one out of the four of us is a pussy. Delete. So. Oh. Oobly. Oh, there we go. Over and over again to push it up. Trigger oh, warning. <laughs> Trigger warning. Pantapoda content. Pantapoda posting. Uh, finally completed DS2 and got the Platinum. Last one in my collection before Elden Ring. Mubes, you were right. DS2 can rot. Atrocious and instantly deleted when finished. Did you ever play Sekiro, by the way? No, uh, I need to. Uh, it's a cool looking game, but I still haven't. And yes, DS2 can rot. It is very rotable. Uh, the Jamie Foxx line about trying to help poor people and the black line made me cringe. Trying to help poor people? Oh, I think he yeah, said... Yeah, because he, yeah, cause he says that about... You dressed up, yeah. you're helping poor people, I thought you were going to be black. And then Andrew Garfield, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a really funny response. Yeah, I thought it was funny. And I I don't see any issue why Jamie Foxx wouldn't have said that. Or rather, Electro wouldn't have said that. Yeah. Yeah, he's the villain. It's a... Pers it's, it's just a perspective he's sharing. That, um... It's like, I guess, I guess, from people's perspective, it's more meta, right? Because it was the line to get them to basically tease Miles. As yeah. a, it, it makes as a sense in the story. Well, yeah, I guess what I'm saying, like, it's not a big deal to me. Has anyone talked about the moment where Agent Cleary said, "Told Peter, Nick Fury has been off planet for the last year. Secret invasion Easter egg." Um. Oh, well, I mean, we already know that, right? That was the post credit. Well, what, what's secret for, uh, invasion? No Is that the scroll thing? Yeah. yeah, Secret Invasion is a... They're doing, like, a series on Disney+, Plus where it's, like, scrolls have infiltrated society. Oh, it's gonna be... World. It's gonna be catastrophic, isn't it? Because they're gonna reveal that someone was a scroll they're this whole time, and it's gonna make no really, sense. Yeah, it'll be someone really important will be a scroll. That wouldn't... That's probably what will happen. Um, Doctor Strange was a scroll. I doubt that, but <laughs> it could be... It could be someone else, right? Um... <laughs> <coughs> oh, damn it. Uh, Mephesto should have been the speech bubble in a certain Gotham High panel. Oh man, we haven't we haven't read Gotham High in like three years. But I, I'm not sure which one you're referencing, but I agree. MJ wears the necklace Peter got her at the end. Does she? I don't remember. Is it the necklace from no Far From Home, or...? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Uh, speaking of Souls-style games, have you played either of the Surge games? No. I, I played the first one, I didn't like it. Um... Coming soon, EFAP What If, Episode 1. What if Doctor Strange erased EFAP's memory of Rags? Oh, Rags is at the take. Probably would be less Rags hate. High Rags. It's true. Good timing, just get back. Hello. Um, Why not make Thanos forget the stones, you cabbage? Yeah, I think we talked about that, didn't we? Um, If Strange has the power to make people forget shit... Sounds like Why not could... make Captain Marvel forget the location of Earth so she can fuck off and never come back? No, we need her. She she saves the day every time. She's so courageous and heroic and intelligent. Oh she saved the universe from Thanos, Rags. Yeah, Rags. If it wasn't for her, Thanos would have won. Yep. That's a fact. After seeing what happened after Endgame, 
Maybe he should have won. Mm, Maybe all true. this just needed to stop. He was gonna make a better world. Jay, you should watch High Gradient Spice. It's awful, and EFAP reacts Guardian? to it. High Guardian Spice. Radiant. I vaguely, I vaguely remember hearing about that. Yeah, it's that Crunchyroll anime thing right, they put yeah. out. And they make an original Crunchyroll, make an original anime. I think that was. Yeah, this it was. is it. Yeah, and oh, it's boy. horrifically bad from what I hear. Well, I haven't heard anything about it. When it was announced, there was a big thing coming out about how terrible it was, and then it released, and then there was a big thing coming out about how terrible it is, so... Maybe it's just horrific. Maybe. It probably is. It looks really bad. I saw a clip once, and it was just... There was just nothing in it that was even remotely interesting or good. Uh, been super down lately. On the count. I'm 28 and have to restart my life. Y'all's content always helps the days get better. Thank you all. Also, hi, Rags. Hello! Oh, damn, um, sorry, man. Yeah. Um, hope things, I hope, hope things whatever turn it is around. you can get through it. And, uh, yeah. I'm glad you get some, some encouragement slash entertainment from us talking about bullshit. <laughs> and, uh, making bodily sounds like that. Beautiful ones. <laughs> <laughs> See, they just keep on coming. Um, huh? nothing, nothing at all. Uh, when the bully right. broke his own hand, threatening the kid, Bruce saved my fist. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, is that from? It would have been from uh, fucking uh, Gotham High, I guess. It's amazing how much I don't remember of that comic slash whatever it is. I don't even know. It what gets it's really floopy in like the last third. Mm. With stuff happening, and like pretty much everything pre-party, I sort of remember pretty well. But just after that, I just, I got nothing. It's just a blur. It's sludge. Uh, but yeah, um, if if I could react to the the high, you say it was high guardian spice. Is, is it called high guardian spice? Uh huh. Apparently it's like Batwoman, also High Rags, JLB, and me. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah, you too. You bet. Um, can Strange delete an NFT from blockchain? I guess so. There's some things <laughs> not even magic. Dude, there is. Oh, the power he has, if you go by exactly what he must have been able to do to make that spell work, he is uh, scary powerful. He is terrifyingly powerful. He is why things like the Sokovia Accords need to exist, and why humanity should be. He's why afraid. Mordo needs oh, to yeah. exist. He can delete any like information asset, like. Um, yeah, not just from the world, but from everyone's minds. He can get into your head, and you won't even know that he's done it. This is a world where Doctor Strange theoretically could have done this dozens and dozens of times, and you'd never know when he does it. Yep. With, when either with the other sorcerers, because no one remembers the, what, Moonlight Party at Camotage or whatever. Which should really worry you when someone tells you that they've done that. Yep, but nope. That was a funny line, Rags. It was a, yeah, <laughs> it was funny, funny, funny line. Um, like the 70s, man. If you remember being there, you weren't really there. A pig struggling to breathe reminds me of Movie Bob. Oh, oh. Pigs on genocidal, like jeez. There's a whole separation there that I think you're not appreciating. Separation of pork and steak. Uh, do you think Norman returned to his timeline at the end only to get pierced by his glider? Makes his line, oh, even more tragic but hilarious. Happy holidays, EFAB crew. I don't uh, think that's the case. I, I, I don't think so. So, say, sorry, say that one more time. And his glider went back with him, right? And then Tom Holland, Peter Parker has damaged it, so like it's not going to exist in the same way that it did. And I don't. I think if he would teleport back, he wouldn't then press the button to stab him. You know, like to do the thing. He'd be like, "What the fuck is happening?" You know what I mean? They would have to cut it right when he was about to get stabbed. Uh, which is, I just, I doubt that. <sighs> <clears throat> Uh, my dog died on Tuesday. 
I'm on my way home from rescuing another one, so thanks for the content to listen to on the 14-hour drive home. It'll make it extra long. Well, you're you're a really good person for doing that. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, I'm glad you're drive. doing that. Like, yeah. Not only to just to you know to take an animal in like that, but to drive that far to get them and bring them back. Yeah. Um, I'm like, I'm I think it's a really good thing to do. I'm 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 just try, is like is that just a normal thing in in the states that you can live that far away from uh, anywhere that has animal shelters? Well, 14 hour drive from like anywhere that's big enough to have an animal shelter. Oh yeah, like US is big. Yeah, but I mean there's like, like there's, it's also full of stuff. It is full of stuff. I, what? Like, I, I guess I'm confused what the question is. The, I, I guess um, the, um, the, there are still places that people live that are um, incredible, but that are still uh, small enough not to have any animal shelters within a 14 hour drive radius. Oh, I, I, th I think I see what you mean. I think it's probably more of a case of he found one oh, that right. he really wanted, or this one was special, or really just, you know. It, this is the one that he wanted, and he was willing to drive 14 hours to get it. You see, that, that makes more sense to me. Instead, yeah. It's a, I, I highly doubt there's anywhere in the U.S. where there isn't an animal shelter within 14 hours. Which is, I guess, good and bad. Yeah. It's, well, it's good, but it's a symptom of something bad. Yeah, it's like... Man, we've got all these charities. I'm like, well, that's good and bad that we have to have them, but that they are there, you know? Yeah. Uh, why didn't Nick Fury tell the authorities that Mysterio was a fraud and let them know about his scheme? Peter shouldn't even be arrested for his death. Um, I don't know that we know what happened. Uh, we're just told that the charges were dropped because... It was well, the charges were dropped. I don't know that maybe Fury has done something related to it. Maybe evidence has come forward about how Mysterio was to blame. Um, we just don't, we don't know. That's the thing. The MCU is stuck in this world now where it just, I think the writers know that it's maybe better to not say what's happening with particular well, people. Well, I mean, I feel like, I feel like the clearest example of that is we didn't even get to see the date of death, like the year of death for May. It's, it's covered up. It says 20 and then it's covered up. We don't even know what year we're set in anymore. Yeah. That's how bad it's gotten. We were fucked up already a little bit before Endgame, but now with the five year gap and all this other, like and nobody knows what's going on. And everything getting, well, I mean, it was the thing in in, uh, in the Hawkeye show where they say it's been like a couple of years or, or some years since since the Ronan thing. It's like, wait, is it set in 2025? And then the director's like, no, it's 2024. That was an error. It's like, damn, like we are just like, we got no idea where we are now. And give it time, well, to, yeah. they will eventually probably be like, it's more of an anthology, the MCU, where it's a bunch of events <laughs> that aren't necessarily connected, but kind of are. Mm -hmm. And we're like, what does that mean? And they're like, it means I don't have to care about continuity, okay? And you're like, right. No, it shouldn't be that, like, when you've got a, a massive corporation keeping track of this kind of thing, it shouldn't be that hard to keep track of all this stuff. There should it be one person be. whose job it is. A Marvel Cinematic Universe. You mm -hmm. think that timeline would be very very important to establish and adhere to no yeah and if we're just resetting universes and multiverses and free wills and maybe the timeline of what year it is is just the last thing on their mind which is which is really sad not gonna lie mm -hmm. but i guess people eat it up so um, nom 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 yum i enjoy it. you said the thing i love it yeah. Iron um, Man, he has a jetpack and he flies. Yeah. Pretty cool. Spider Man, his uncle dies. MCU Spider Man isn't my favorite Spider Man, but the hate he gets from comic fans isn't warranted. He's just an adapted version of Spider Man. Do they give this same vitriol to Japanese Spider Man? I don't give the same. No, uh, they don't. To be fair, that's probably the reason, is that culturally it's the biggest representation of the character for them. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's the most expensive one, so it's they. I would say they see it as a waste because you're doing the wrong Spider-Man. What frustrates them? They don't care about Japanese Spider-Man. In fact, they probably find him pretty cute. Spider-Manu. Uh, it is harder to get like 
Like, they still might say, yeah, Spider-Man, uh, Japanese Spider-Man, terrible adaptation of Spider-Man, but it is hard to get us impassioned about something when there's no one really talking about or defending it. Um, like, there are some, like, you know, it's like, it's like, we all get, um, much more annoyed by, let's say, The Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker than we do about the, um, Star Wars Holiday Special. Or Star Wars Visions, or whatever that was. Yeah. <laughs> the, the holiday special is, is something else. I've never seen it. We're gonna do a new fan movies for it one day. You'll you'll happily the be Star invited. Wars holiday special. Yeah. Isn't like Carrie Fisher conspicuously off her tits in it? I can't remember. I, I, was, I I'm not a sure. Lot I have seen it. Probably involved. I haven't seen the Star Wars holiday. I've seen special it reviewed like 15 yeah. times by everyone, but I don't know that I've ever seen I've it myself. Seen it. Yeah, I've never seen it, and I would I would like to see it. And maybe it's doubly topical that we cover it soon because. for Christmas because the Star Wars Holiday Special is the first appearance of Boba Fett. It is, isn't it? It is. It's Toon Fett. Someone's phone is going off. Jeez, you can hear that. Fuck me. Yep, I can. From Someone called me from Success, Arkansas. <laughs> you can't just name your town Success. That's cheating. It's we'll like the asshole who's like, ah, oh, this is a, this apple, I'm going to call it, hmm, I'll call it the golden delicious apple. And everyone was like, fuck off, Jerry. You can't call it that. I Watch guess him. I can. That fucker can. It's mine. Yeah. Everyone's like, I, but mine's, mine, I just, mine's a red apple. Mine's a Granny Smith apple. Mine's a F Fuji apple. Wow, well, call my golden delicious. Fuck y'all. It's from, it's from, um, delicious golden. That's where it comes from. To the, the city of delicious in the in the country of golden any scrumptious yeah hungry for apples no by the by the way the only apples that i'll eat are granny smith apples i don't, I don't like uh, the other apples i like my apples crunchy and tart i mm -hmm. a different kind of crunchy tart apple if well if there is i have not discovered it and i i very well might like it but so far and of course all of all of the things i say are probably tentative but I, right now, as it stands, Granny Smith apples are my favorite. The only ones I like. I have no idea if we don't, if it is that we don't do the whole like different types of apples in the UK, or if I've just never noticed. Because to me, I just I buy an apple, and that's an apple, and that'll do me. Maybe. What color are they when you buy them? Red. Red. Yeah. Because here we have the three main colors. Here are red, green, and yellow. And see, Granny we don't Smith we don't really see the yellow green. ones around here. Okay. Sometimes get yellow here. Yeah, well, I don't think I've I ever like seen the green a yellow apple for sale. In fact, there's the flavor sour apple is generally portrayed with a green apple because that's what the Granny Smith apple is. They're tart and crunchy. Hot. Yeah, like sour. Yeah, I've you never heard that word it, before. But I've never heard it described these ways before. Well, so is, this, is this your capsicum? I'm, I'm, cur <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, except what... I was right on that one. Well, Rags uh, might be I, right on this one. Yeah, Maybe I guess I'm just is, curious yeah. if if Granny Smith apples have ever been described to you. I'm curious how they would be described if not for those two things, because that is their two dominant features, in terms of taste, at least. Um, they're it's so. Hmm. You you know you know the the word tart, right? Is that that's not just a. Well, not not for not to mean sour. I know it to mean like oh. something that you contain, like something that contains jam, like jam. Yeah, I, yeah I've heard that, but food. yeah, or, yeah, but um, I, or it I could guess mean it's a like a thing. sexually promiscuous lady. Yes. Yeah, I am, um, exactly. but I, I guess that's a regional thing because here, if something is tart, it's kind of sourish. No, I've never heard that one. Hmm. So I guess that I guess that's why if if there were Granny Smith apples over there. They would not be. They would not use that word. Um, I imagine not. Does he like butter tarts, dude? That's a great song. "Steal My Sunshine" by Len. That's a great song. Kabazinski. No, no, L E N. Well, does he like butter tarts? E fap rap. One hundred percent shat. Oh, word. No. Yeah. I wouldn't want to shout while doing that. I saw a box set of the four Burton Schumacher Batman films called them an anthology series once. Found it funny. Yeah, those four being a connect. There is 
uh, Alfred is played by the same guy in all four of them, so, you know... There's... Yeah, there is continuity. <laughs> <laughs> there is continuity to this series in a certain sense. But those four... This is a bit of a change well, between the directors. Well, I mean, at this change. point, right, now it's it's becoming a thing where it is just the Keaton one is going to be the canonical one. Well, yeah, because Kilmer... No way Kilmer's coming back as Batman. I think he's, like... No. Well, I mean, yeah. Out of commission. No and Michael Keaton is already... Well, I'm saying that, you know, they got Affleck, and I'm just like, Affleck's not going to want to do it from what I've gathered. He doesn't want to do it anymore, it seems yeah. like, yeah. But, uh, Kilmer they won't be able to get, and Clooney will never fucking do it. No way. I think do Clooney will think they're what? trolling him if if he if they said, like, people would like to see you back. He'd be like, and they'd fuck be like, off. no, seriously, people like it now, You can, we do this, it's okay. It's like, yeah, we Clooney, the idea is that we are, we are self-aware now, Clooney. <laughs> like, yeah. They'll love it. It's like, no thanks, I'm, I'm good. And yeah, I would love it too. But the thing is, I never hated George Clooney as Batman. I thought it was fun. Yeah. I'd love to see Arnie come back as Mr. Freeze. That'd be fucking amazing. Oh, yeah. He'll, he'll show up and flash. No, no but he'd, 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 he'd step back into the boots like he never left. I think he would be yeah. so <laughs> fucking on board too. He oh, probably yeah. Would be. Because they would be like, you'd be like, I don't want to do the whole prosthetic thing or whatever, and they'd be like, no, 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 we'll sort it all out, we'll CGI you, it'll be fine. <laughs> yes, we can do that now, Artie. Like, he'd be there, but they have like dots on, you know, like the Thanos shit? It'd be yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or like Vision, I think, is a good comparison, right? They do that with... Yeah, they, they do, do a lot of CGI me. with him now. Yeah, um... Oh, I'm so ready for that. And I actually think, because I'm pretty sure a lot of the FNT people hated that Mr. Freeze. They'd be like, please let us have it back. Come on, he's <laughs> awesome. You can have your for realsies, Mr. Freeze, too, but, like, I just want my goofy Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Superheroes are silly, let them be silly. Hey, some of them are very serious, okay? Yeah. The Punisher. Like, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Look, your heroes, they commit fucking genocide. They they lie yeah. to the world. They uh, what else did he say? <laughs> I can't remember everything. The, he your said. heroes, they embezzled money. <laughs> they oh, lied yeah, to America. Yeah. What the hell? They committed atrocities. <laughs> it's like, He's such a strange if you, if you think, man. Oh, my heroes are still innocent. That's a cool perspective, but you're living in a dream world. And I like the whatever that clip was played, the guy was like, This is out of context. This is out of context. <laughs> Like, yeah, because it sounds awful, the doesn't it? Is. It changes nothing. <laughs> no, of course not. His point is complete. It's absurd. Yeah. Um. Any hype for Elden Ring? Sure. I think Metal will be the most hype out of a lot of us. Metal um, is super hyped, I know that much. I am fine with it, and I will play it. I will give it the old Slim Slam Flimmeroo. I have no interest in it whatsoever. There you go, wow. we got a whole breadth of positions. I don't even know what it is. I, Next FromSoft game. If I hear it's really good and cool and maybe it changes stuff port. up in a way that sort of appeals to me most, I, I could give it a look. But as it stands, I'm just not not my kind of thing, really. Um, Y'all agree DFF has fallen hard past six months. DFF. DFF. Dragon. You really started with the. Fuck. <laughs> the the uh, Diff. Chat, so help me out. DFF, help. Yeah, chat. Give give us a hand here. Defuras face. face. No, no, that's not the one. Defuras face. Could it be BFF? Uh, it could be BFF, but my BFF stay F. Oh, is it Deep Fat Fried? That's the that's, Deep Fat Fried. That's the show that uh, Amazing Atheists and Paul's <laughs> Ego and the other one do. That is such an appropriate name for someone who looks like that. Wow. I don't what? think you would he's, you would care. Cause... He's crispy on the outside. Is what he? What did you think I meant? What did you think I? No, he's he's gooey and chewy on the outside. Chewy, and right? Hairy. Why do you know these things? I can look at a person and I know what their consistency is. You know they're chewy. Um, yeah. Fine. What's no. my consistency, Rags? Yeah. Uh, you're you're like a, a chicken drumstick, and normally you take a chicken drumstick, right? Hmm. And you typically will put it at like 425 degrees in the oven for about 
eh, about 35, 40 minutes, but I think you're more like someone put it in there for 55 minutes. I mean, I'm gnawing on my arm right now, and I've got to say, you, you bang on. Nice. Rags is doughy. No, I'm not. I'm fluffy like a like a a, a wonderful sweet roll. Well, I um, mm. I don't think I ever really watched Deep Fat Fried. I think I saw an episode or two. Um, but I have no idea if if it has fallen hard or not. But I, I guess I I'd, hope it hasn't. I'd love it if they were just talking about something else. And... No, I, I mean I was watching chat. I can't see any replacement DFFs. So whatever it may be. I do not know. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I could technically get the EFAP host to voice act for me for cheap. Also, my first hello, Rags and Fringy. Give us a good no. Hey, no! Oh my god. There you go. You happy with that one? And yeah, that's... Wow. I don't know. You might just, not be here for right now. Yeah. Just, uh, just to cover our bases, I better give a no too because of the way that was yeah, raised. Good, they might, might want us to a, a both. So I'll do a no of my own. No! There you go. There you go. There you go. That's and they are right. That is, as typical voice acting rates go, you can fit like a paragraph in for $10, <laughs> and I think that yeah. is higher than... Then again, Rachel... It, it like... also has Mario Kart sounds over <laughs> it. it <does. laughs> hey, look, you gotta take what you can get, alright? Well, you could, yeah, you could contextualize that into the story you're writing. Like the characters in the room are playing some Mario Party while they're saying the lines. Perfect. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for Doug Walker, I wouldn't have watched the old Haunting movie, or Patton, or even 12 Angry Men. Just shows, just because I don't like those creators now, doesn't mean they can't influence you into watching some great movies. True that. True, true. Um, yeah, I mean, I was thinking about it, it's just like, yeah, they can definitely make you aware of movies you wouldn't... Doug, Doug Walker has possibly reviewed more films than any human being in humanity. I, I don't know if there's anyone who's reviewed more than him. Um, maybe... You should caveat it to to the degree he has, if, if that makes sense. Like, there's probably people who've reviewed more who just write, like, a sentence and then move on to the next one. But for him doing Stop, the videos and stuff... Statement. I feel like Doug Walker puts in a significant more effort than Chris does. Yeah, that's Chris He does. He absolutely him. does. He is both more entertaining, more interesting, and he puts in more effort. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, of Doug's tier, I think he's probably reviewed the most, which makes sense. Because he's not a blurb critic, like, Chris is totally that. Yeah, he sits down in front of his fucking webcam and has a slur of consciousness for seven minutes, and that's good enough. Slur of consciousness? Hmm. An interesting description. <laughs> I think it's apt. No, it is quite apt. Uh, do you think Stranger's spell brought a Spider-Man from an X-rated universe that we never saw? I bet he was very confused why everything wasn't X-rated. Well, he like he pulls out his pants. He's pulls down his pants, and he's he's the only, he's got the only dick in the world. What if his dick is like a spider's? Ooh. What was the spider's dick like? Do spiders even have dicks? I don't think they technically do, or maybe they do. Maybe they have like a thing. I don't know. I don't know. I really. I just. I don't know. I bet they have ball sacks. No, I don't think they do. It's probably something that's like internal, and then they just squeeze some juice out into the other there one. Is, and then one of them, one of them a... probably eats the other or some fucked up shit. The largest sperm cell, though, is it belongs to a species of fly that where uh, each individual sperm is four centimeters long, which is longer Jesus than the fly. Christ. Why? How the fuck do you comb that? I don't know, I think, I think they ejaculate one sperm cell each time they come. Do you think that they just die when they coom? Because it's just Maybe. so big, it just tears them apart? I think it's it's thin enough that they can... They, can... they, they pull a David Carradine? Oh... I don't know what that means, and you don't I feel... Know what that's, that means. Fine. that's fine, that's fine. Am I, am I gonna Google this? No, no you're not. But you don't have to. Uh... Um. Put it into context, the latitude of mainland Great Britain, not including our north. Hello? Yeah, hello? Yeah, yeah I'm waiting there? for... Yeah, I'm waiting for... 
It's just been we just had like a period well, of silence. Um, I think, we, I think Mola might have lost Mala? connection. The stream, well, the, but the stream's still going. Are we, huh, are oh, we, we can, can say we anything we want. Oh my gosh, I we can, can we can do say yeah, anything we're, we want. We're still here. We're oh, still no. Oh, no. The takeover's begun. Revolution, at, rise up! Now. Can, can oh yeah. Mola be heard on the stream? Hey everyone, no, uh, Mahler's gone. This is our stream now. We're gonna do all the things Mahler wouldn't let us do. We're gonna jump on the bed, and we're gonna eat pizza uh, for for breakfast. Twilight and I'm gonna make waffles. No, yeah, yeah. That would be mean. Don't do that. Um, yeah, please don't say. Oh, there you go. Now he's back. I don't know what happened. Oh, hey, Muller. It was that? scary, though. I was censored oh. by Mama Susan. Oh, no. She couldn't get me, though. I fought back with my long. Oh, Mario just lost so many coins. Poor guy. Um, Poor guy. So this next one says. To put into context, the latitude of mainland Great Britain, not including our north and southmost isles, could fit into the U.S. with most of a state to spare on each end, with a longitude of less than Colorado. Hmm. All right. That was from a British knight. I guess that makes sense. He's, he wanted to make sure we understood that. Britain is not big. Mm -hmm. The Chad Shad versus the Virgin Chad Man, or proving that the sword is mightier than the pen. We all knew that, that's fine. Yeah. But that's can, true. You, know, you can probably cut a pen in half with a sword, it's easy, but can you cut a sword in half with a pen? I don't think you can. That actually sounds like a really funny, like, animated skit of Shad. Yeah. Like, just fucking annihilating a guy who has a pen. <laughs> <laughs> that could be really fun, yeah. Or, a, or like a pen, trying to use a pen to cut a sword. <laughs> it's just not going to work out well, is it? Also, could you all go on a random rant about something? Anything? If you can't think of anything, I'll throw some ideas your way in chat. I'd like to hear your ideas. Hmm, let me see. Um... I'm trying to think of something that just really annoys me. That I see, that's like a yeah, it's like a pet peeve that just sort of happens. That I really wish people wouldn't do. Um, okay, I've got something. I got something. So sometimes you're in a conversation with someone, and this applies to a, a verbal conversation or a typed conversation. And you say something, and you wait for a response, and you sort of bounce off of the things each other says, and. One person just sort of leaves the conversation. This probably applies mostly to typing, where they type something out, and you just you don't have anything to work with based on what they've given you. They just sort of say something that's so neutral and maybe unintentionally dismissive that you're just sort of left hanging. Like you're, you're having this chat, you're having this talk, and then they just like, oh yeah, oh hmm, yeah, yeah. It, 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 and now you're just, oh, I, I guess we have to start an entire new subject or something because you just sort of snipped that in the bud when we were chatting up each other. Maybe they're just not that invested in talking to you, Rags. Mm. Well, here's the thing. They should say that. That's another thing that fucking annoys me. If someone, sometimes someone will say like, oh, I like, like, they'll just go quiet. You know, like you can tell they've read what you've typed and they'll go quiet. And then you'll be like, hey, what's up? You okay? Things are right? And they said, oh, yeah, I was just done talking. Or, oh, yeah, I just wasn't interested in doing that. And they just won't tell you. You're just sitting there wondering, like, what's going on? Why did you just stop talking? Did you go to bed? Is it, What's going on here? And then they come oh, back with, with oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was just, oh, yeah, I just I just wasn't in the mood. Or, oh, no, yeah, I, I was hate. just, you know. It's when people say stuff with no emojis that can be interpreted. <laughs> That's what I fucking hate. Yeah, oh, yeah, boy. yeah. Like when Jay said, BRB getting a sandwich. Like, if you don't want to talk about what we're talking about, <laughs> that's fine. But to dress it up like you're, oh, I, I'm just going to go get a sandwich, guys. You guys can talk about Spider-Man or whatever the fuck you're talking about. It makes us wonder if he really wants to be here at all. I don't. True. That's a great message. Well, there they, there they go. The chat, Molo. They've got they got all they wanted. There you go. Yeah, they. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Hello, Lord Mubschlington of Mubschling. Mubli. Mub. Musli Bleeton. That's different than usual. No, uh, I got another one. Fuck it. Oh, God. All right. So, you're at the sink, 
And so whenever you're at a sink, you have the um, the handles, and they're in a, a vast immeasurable amount of configurations for knobs and levers and things of that nature that turn out of the hot or the cold water on. And this doesn't apply to me anymore, because if someone does it, I know who did it. Um, but someone will wash their hands, and their hands will be all wet and stuff, and they'll use their hands to, like, flick, uh, to, to hit the thing back. So now they've made the handle of the faucet stuff like wet instead of just using the back of their hand or their, their wrist or something, you know? And so you just, you're just, you got this just wet handle there and it's just you know not, what? it doesn't bother me. Cause I'm, first of all, I experience it very rarely. And secondly, it's like, Oh, it's just slightly wet handle. I don't really mind that. What about, about people who don't flush after they do their business in the toilet? No, oh, that's gross. That yeah. is that is gross. Seriously, guys. I mean, I I feel like it doesn't get said enough because your parents generally will tell you to flush after you're done using the loo. But sometimes, sometimes it's worthy of, of just getting it out there. A little helpful, friendly reminder that when you take a shit and you wipe and you toss the, the the TP on top of the boomer that you've just laid, that steaming drop daughter crispy coily, you need you flush to get rid of that. Don't just leave it around. And I know you don't mean to and it's just for you forgetting. Well, don't forget, okay? That's an excuse yeah, well, one a time. Yeah, Scottish lady maybe. will yell at you. Yeah. Like, what if, what if you marry someone and that's just something they never remember to do? Like, how you long can, does that go on until then. you That's get divorced? Legal. Or you have to leave notes that just say, please flush your shits. Sincerely, your soulmate. Heart. XOXO. Yeah. Maybe don't put kisses in a thing like that, but... An O is a hug, and then an X. O is a kiss. hug, yeah. Yeah. Hugs Would and you rather... kisses in there. I never hugged anyone while on the toilet, both either giving or receiving. I, I wouldn't imagine you to be the hugging on the toilet type, <laughs> Rags. Yeah. Well, I'm just not really a hugger in general. I don't I don't like. I don't, I'm not really big into. I am. I you know what? Even on top of that, I imagine that if you were gonna hug someone, you wouldn't do it while you're on the toilet. No, because you would have to. You generally you're gonna be the huggy if you're on the toilet because you have to be sat down, so you can't like move towards someone. Maybe if, maybe if you and your 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 significant other. Are very close and it, there's just an understanding of oh if i'm taking a shit and you want to have a shower that's just fine it's fair game it's all good nothing we haven't seen before and you just go for it then yeah. maybe while you're doing the business and they walk past you to start the water so it's hot in the next few minutes and you just you just reach and give them the old hug a rooney i'd maybe. like I don't know. Though, I, I feel like I'd rather take a shit in front of a stranger rather than someone I know very well. Because at least me too. Then yeah. They won't. They won't. Then you know. They'll never see me again. Yeah. Probably. They don't know who I am, and they don't. They, that's. I mean, I don't really. I'm not too concerned about them learning that kind of dietary information from me. But yeah, I. I would like to. We had this discussion in a super chat once before. I was like, would you rather? It was something like, would you rather poop or masturbate or something like that in front of a stranger or in front of like a family member? And obviously a stranger. Yeah. First off, it, it's 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 hotter, but um, you don't want to, you know, they'll they're, they'll be out of your life in a few minutes. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And when you say poop and my sorry, did you say poop and masturbate or poop or masturbate? Because that poop or masturbate it doesn't change answer to the question. But... It doesn't either. Yeah, but I I've never. I've never done that. I, I don't it even think I've tried. the spirit of the question quite a lot. Yeah. It really kind of does. So anyway. Hello, Lord Musealbleeton. Blee Blyton of Mewsington Abbey. Have you or Efab watched Downton Abbey? Some great, uh, good work in there. And Maggie Smith is great. And acerbic? IJ. Hello. I have not um, watched Downton Abbey. I have Abbey. not watched it, no. I haven't, but I've heard that it's really good. But I don't know that it's the show that would appeal to me. I don't even know what, like, the conflict in it is. I, like, I just, I know that well, it's very, like... Well, the idea is it's, like, rich people in an abbey, right? And so it's the interpersonal dynamics of, of the family. Or, uh, you know, marrying people's status, all that shit. Right. 
I mean, that I sounds like it could be happen. really interesting. It could be really interesting, but yeah, I don't think it would appeal to me personally. Well, I mean, like, if surely if it's just got like amazing characters going through, um, well, interesting, I mean, like, sure, but, right, but like, if, but I mean, that doesn't. There, there may be other shows that have the same thing that are going to be more tailored to my interests. True. Would using a 6x6 political compass to come up with characters for, for a setting work? What do you think of the political compass in general? Hi, Rags. Hello. I think it's like giving a number a, a movie a number rating, something like yeah. that. It's a, it's a good, quick, general-ish kind of way to, like an all-encompassing sort of general look at someone's political you know, positions. But obviously, you know, using that with any super deep uh yeah anything more than just for casual purposes i think kind of takes it beyond what it's designed for <laughs> yeah um i mean and if you're going to use it to like design characters you want to use it like essentially you want to know what kind of thing that you're going to be still be adding to those characters after you've generated them with the blip like a compass, blueprint right? stage almost yeah like um, i need characters to i want to fulfill these sort of character roles or types so you're this kind of person you're that kind of person you're that kind of person all right i've got my my trio of heroes now let's start to put in the details of what they like and don't like and how we could really uh, yeah, like, like, you know, in the same way that if you're saying, like, oh, um, I want to um, generate characters and each one of them uses a different fighting style, right? It's like, oh, it's cool that they all use different fighting styles and that could inform other stuff about their character, but you're not done. Yeah. Um, like Once you, you can, decide you that they all have different fighting styles, now what does it you have to mean decide for what, the yeah. person that they fight that way. How does that, how does that fighting style influence them? Yeah. Where do they learn it? Do they come from different places? Do they yeah. have different roles in a battlefield? Yeah, but that's that's by no means you've not got a character yet. When you when you no, uh, when you quite. decide that thing, when you decide what their fighting style is. Well, anyway, no fringy, it's not satisfying. I'm willing to tolerate Rag's attempt because he has a lethal weapon. Fringy has goo. In fact, I bet the goo are lies. <laughs> I'm confused. They're saying that you've been lying about goo. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? I, I don't know what I'm meant to say to that. I, I figured that you'd, you'd protest that you've not lied at all about the goo. I mean, I haven't lied about it, so... Alright. Someone, uh, someone had just messaged me this, so um, I figure it's good for a laugh. Um, Battlefield 2042's uh, continuous uh, tumultuous descent into uh, premature demise continues. Um, a, a Battlefield 2042 cheat provider is suspending its services to the game, and it isn't because of the anti-cheat. It's because the game's performance makes the cheats flat out not work properly. It's funny. Even the fucking <laughs> scum like fucking cheaters. That. That's funny. <laughs> oh my throat my throat's not doing too hot liar i feel like i've got a lot of vocal fry at the moment oh uh, you got a bit you should get us some vocal leela yeah a little bit oh that's <laughs> nothing impressive that's, uh, though it's not bad. nothing that will hurt you yeah i would prefer some vocal leela to some vocal fry i've always preferred leela to fry i don't think i do i like fry more i prefer fry. fry yeah uh, also the, I'm a big Amy fan when it comes to the Futurama. My boy yeah, Farnsworth and Amy's Banda. Antics a lot. Farnsworth and Banda, man. That's yeah. Uh, Banda annoys me a lot. What? Um, oh my god. You are wrong. Disgusting Holy and wrong. Holy shit. Jay, do you, for, do, do you say sorry? Is that what you just said? Good. It's good that you said No, that. I'd say what I said again. <gasps> Kick drumstick. <laughs> oh, 20, nice. Uh, just a reminder, molletism. That is all. Back to the super chats. Oh, oh my goodness. Fair enough, I agree. Anybody, uh, anybody watch Yellowstone? Great character writing. 
I have no idea what that is. Yeah, me either. Uh, Doug's new review of Grumpy Cat film fits Matrix 4. What? Grumpy Cat film? I don't know. Is the Grumpy Cat film fits Matrix 4? Okay. I'm sorry, I just don't know, I don't know what to say to that. Uh... Fringy, please read some quotes from the Jadoon in Doctor Who. <laughs> nah, I'm good. <laughs> well, it sounds like it could be funny, but I have no idea what I know exactly what this person is going for. Right. Oh, uh, let's, let's see if I can find you one, Fringy. Yeah, maybe that'll be funny, who knows. Um... <laughs> Right, okay. I'm gonna get the Smith and Jones transcript to you. Yeah. Here's a here's a Jadoon quote, Frangy. This is gonna be great. Yeah, it's totally worth the weight of me of me grabbing it, and bringing it up. Okay. Uh, blow so foe, don't know crow blow cause so row. Is that is this real? Yes, this is real. This is what, what it, the language and this sounds is like. The who now? The Jadoon. The Jadoon. Yeah. Blow so foe, don't know crow blow cause so row. Rags was closer than Fringy, but neither of you've really well, closer. any effort to. I Wait, wasn't closer to any what? Effort to do it, you both put like, in well, a lot of effort to in, in, do an impression, and I feel that Rags is more accurate. Okay, yeah, fair enough. A impression to what? I'm. Uh, the Jadoon. The... You, you. I know you guys practiced Jadoon? all of yesterday, and I'm proud of how far you've come, but not I'm far enough. So I'm so. Con I don't know who the Jadoon are. And that's okay. It's okay. Just because the, the voice that quote, I did was like, I just was doing a voice. I have no idea if it matches to anything. If it does, it's purely coincidental. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rags. Wow. You're, right. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> you're typing noises. <laughs> this thing is flickering a lot, though. Yeah, yeah, what? A lot today. Uh, if you were locked in a room for a month with only okay. one of these pieces of media to enjoy, which would you watch? Wait, we answered this already, didn't we? Uh, oh, well, their uh, options are Atla or Bojack, or would you give Dark Souls 2 a try? Dark Souls 2, out of those three, for sure. Is a I game. think that even a bad video game that yeah. requires my input would just be more entertaining and variety, engaging. I think. Yeah. Dark Souls 2. Uh, what if you learned that Obi-Wan Force transferred into Padme so that, uh, uni unborn kids were always meant to be powerful, they strong because ritual, not skill? What? Is this someone talking about the whole, um, retconning thing? Um, Maybe. Where, where we were talking about, like, would you rather write a retcon the past or the future of your beloved character? Obi-Wan... Forced transfer into Padme so that unborn kids were always meant to be powerful. They strong because like, ritual, not skill. Would you rather? Would you rather a writer wrote that or the future that Luke has? I don't even know what I think about. I, I'm trying to understand what that even means. Obi Wan did what? He transferred his Force essence into Padme's pregnancy bump so that. The the offspring would be inherently powerful, um, and it's no, it has nothing to do with their own skill. It's they they were they were given Obi Wan's skill. I think that's less damaging as it stands than what the sequels did, right? I think it's yes. less damaging. I mean, it the most damage I think it does. Well, I mean, it does do damage to uh, their characters, I suppose, but it also does damage to um, the world, and like apparently that's a thing that's possible, and you can just do. Yeah, that would be a thing, yeah. 
Uh, how would you rate War of the Worlds 2005? I'm sitting around a 6, subjectively Ooh. an 8. Also, the tripods in that movie are iconic. You're talking yeah. about the Tom Cruise one? Yeah. Yeah, that I've movie's got some... Back. I remember Great liking the first half a lot. I like it. But, um, yeah. yeah, I remember... Um, I, that's one of those movies as a kid I couldn't finish because I was too scared of it. Um, uh, there was loser. a scene where... Hey! Hey, uh, it came out when I was five. Uh, was five year like, loser. There was a scene where like all of these corpses float down the river and I was like, mm, no thank yeah, you, and I yeah. turned it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was spooky. We should watch it for EFAT movies. Oh wait, just to be clear, uh, when H.G. Wells wrote that, that, he wrote that shit in 1897. Wasn't it like the first wow, sci-fi of its kind? It, nah, it's John off... Carter was kind of beforehand, that, but uh, but it's it's close, right? It was super influential. Uh, yeah, that was Edgar Rice Burroughs. He wrote John Carter in uh, John Carter of Mars. Let me take a look. Uh, 1912. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. So War of still the Worlds early, is... hella early. But yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I think HG Well. I think War of the Worlds is. Um, I think a lot of people would probably reasonably consider it the like the the first science fiction as we know it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone in chat just said, "Did Efap hear that Shadow the Hedgehog has apparently died in childbirth?" <laughs> what? Shadow of the Hedgehog has died in child. That's terrible. Yeah, that is terrible. That and is none terrible. of us laughed when we heard that news. Yes. Can you imagine just, if if, if someone Shadow of the Hedgehog died in childbirth and you're laughing? Imagine if someone had actually died in childbirth and your like family was gathered and someone came in and someone said, "Well, Aunt Carolyn, she it was a complication, and and she's." passed away because of the surgery and you just start cracking up <laughs> but why i don't know it's the tragedy of it really maybe maybe it's because uh maybe it's maybe this is something that happens maybe when people have they feel hysteria this could be just something that they go through i'm sure that i'm sure that there are less common reactions to finding out that someone has died than, than, than laughing because uh, sometimes people do just, they don't know how to react and they just laugh. That's a thing. I've done it at points in my life. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never done it finding out that someone died, but I don't think it's impossible. But, this, like, you can tell when someone I think is laughing that it's, that it's a different kind of laughter from, they think this is hilarious, so, like, yeah, it would be fun to see someone just, like, finding out that someone died, and they're like, oh, that's really funny. Fair enough. Um, and as for War of the Worlds, I just don't know how do I rate it, because I haven't seen it in long enough, but I'd be interested in seeing it again sometime. Tom Cruise does some running in it, which is pretty cool. He does do some running. EFAP is an oasis amidst a sea of FNT-related shows and their oof takes on media. Even when I agree with the conclusion, the rationale given is cringe. Um... I mean, I guess it depends on what you're looking for, because uh, EFAP is definitely different in approach. I would say we're different in approach to pretty much all podcasts. I don't know that there's anyone like us. We're pretty... Uh... Metal's Forge. <laughs> True. That Metal's Forge. Check it forge. out. Forge. On... Yeah. They do forge. Have we all done an episode of that now? Uh, yeah, Rags, have you? I've got one planned out for later. Uh, we have selected a movie. Ooh, what one? Are you allowed about. to say? Um, I don't know what Metal's policy is on it, so I'm gonna refrain from saying. Air on the side of caution there. Very well. Yeah, um, you know how yeah. the Germans get when things don't go their mm -hmm. way, and they feel slighted. Who? So, um, yeah. Metal's I, fudge. But I've told him. <laughs> <laughs> but I've told him <laughs> Metal's metal sauerkraut, <laughs> Metal schnitzel. Oh no. Better is Wiener. Wiener Schnitzel. Uh, yeah, but yeah. All, I, all of us here have been on Metal's Wiener Schnitzel. Wiener uh, Schnitzel. I can't wait for my turn on Wiener Schnitzel. Oh, nine. Um, but I, yeah, I have picked out a movie that I want to watch and talk about with him. 
and I'll probably get to that when I can uh, when, I, when I'm more got more content coming out as normal. Sweet. I think earlier I said I was gonna have the dog bites one done tomorrow, but then I remember then I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I'm streaming all the rest of today, <laughs> and then I'm sleeping, so that won't happen. And don't fine. forget Book of Boba Fett. Oof. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. How could you forget Book of Boba Fett? Right. Well, no, no, no. When I when I was talking about that, we were about to watch Book of Boba Fett. So the intention Sweet. was I watch Book of Boba Fett and finish it, and then I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Here I am. So. Yeah. Well, that's all right. That is a okay. I lined up. With it. It's it's all good. Uh, good just watched Tasm Two for the first time. Oh no. Anyway, Mr. Frog is objectively the best written show to ever air on television. True. Monsieur Foggy. Just look how popular it was. Mhm. Mm what show is it? Sorry. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. Frog. Frog. Oh my God! Get with the program. Yeah. It's, a bit it's like machines. Time. It's better than machines. Both Better machines. than machines. Jay, it's not my fault you haven't seen Mr. Frog. I don't see what I'm uh, like. What, what do you want me to do? What, what, what did I do wrong? I never said I didn't see it. So maybe you should like. I just asked what show you were talking about, and then you clarified Mr. Frog, and then you said it was better than machines. I don't know. You sounded and really, really surprise. combative. I'm just gonna say that you maybe sounded I, maybe so I just combative. disagree with you. Maybe I just disagree. That is really with combative. You. And I don't appreciate that. I prefer Maybe a calm... You suck my cock. I don't like the Why combative. Why can't you just let people enjoy things without getting yeah. disgusted? Hey, it's not that he enjoys things. It's that he enjoys things that I don't enjoy. That's my main problem with it. Why can't you just let... ...ness happen? Ness? Yeah, just things. Like, ness. Stuff. I hadn't thought of that. Someone said Adam and Stitch try to do EFAP, but I'd rather punch myself than listen to Vorsch. Oh, Adam oh no, you can if you punch yourself, you can choose how hard that goes. So I feel like that's not that big, like of a oh, you, like you can do a little tap. Like, yeah. if you touch yourself, but that's not a punch. You got to give oh, yourself what, a big what's old the definition of a punch? punch. It's when a Wookie just takes his hand and he just fucking punch. lumps you right on the right on the kisser. Damn. Strike with the fist. All right, um, strike definition. This is madness. This bed full again. I don't like sober while we're talking about it. Hit forcibly and deliberately with one's hand or weapon or other implement. So. Forcibly definition. Why are you yay? Using force. Oh, there you go. I guess oh, a little thanks. tap does count. So, yeah, I guess so. Oh, no, no. Um... In a forceful way. Okay, that's great, thanks. <laughs> forceful in a forceful way, was it? So, um, it's like, well, uh, <laughs> the two definitions are using force or violence, and that's like, um, forcibly evicted, so that's not really the definition I'm going for. And the other definition is, um, in a forceful way. They, um, so it's like, that's the one I'm looking for, but I don't think that's particularly helpful. Uh, doop, 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 doop. Oh god, Rags, calm down. I know you've got rage, but let someone else get in there. Hmm. Was this for the rants? I think so. When? Just cruelly didn't let anyone When else have rant. I ever ranted? When have I ever ranted? Probably when Earlier, you when said that you were going to rant. rant. Yeah. It's possible. Also, Jay, what do you do with them DSL? DSL? I don't know what that means. What do you do with them? Dick DSL limo. Let me, let me look that one up. DSL digital subscriber line. Hmm. Oh, I think it's more likely the <laughs> Urban Dictionary. Dick sucking lips. Dick sucking lips? What do you do with them? I've been told I've got dick sucking lips. Oh, okay. I eat spaghetti. I eat spaghetti. I E S. Spaghetti? You can't call them spaghetti since 2022. God, that feels wrong, doesn't it? 2022. Yeah, it really I does. No, I almost said, it's a year oddly enough, what it was last year. Yeah, I almost said 2012 for some reason. 
Man, that was twelve. That was ten years ago. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it sure was. <laughs> but something in my mind just said you can't Sorry. say spa spaghetti. It's twenty twelve. I'll answer your like, question. No, true. I'll answer your question if you uh, specify. If you send another super chat to specify, Dish do you mean digital subscriber line or dick sucking lips? And then you'll answer the question. Yeah. Uh, Rags is describing a hug blumpkin. Oh, no. That's nice. That's that's wholesome. Boba was better with the original actor. Can we have Fringy remove his mask and reveal his true form as a frog, bird, snake hybrid thing that that oozes goo? Oh, gooses. Is that where your goo comes from, Fringy? Fringy, where does your goo come from? Fringy. Huh? Where does your goo come from? That's nothing from- that's not- I don't- Leave me be. Damn. Go away. Come from? From? I think if you're gonna- I think if you're gonna be distributing it to consumers, people should know where it comes from. That's what I'll be writing in my report. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Who do you who who reads these reports? Who do you? Um, I read them. Send. Oh, are you make reports for you? No, I read yeah. them. He doesn't make them for me. Oh, like does he know that you read them? Yeah, I know. Okay. Lots of people read them. Uh, I publish a weekly newsletter about my um, investigations into Fringy's goo. Been lots of results. Uh, would y'all be willing to react to a quick clip? I'm afraid we're already behind on everything. Oh my goodness. Uh, smiling friends, guest starred Mike from RLM. Hi, Rug. It's true. Uh, it's hi. Good. Hi there. Hey. Hey. Two part of a mola. Please do a hey. It's a me, Mooler. Moolerio? Moolerio. <laughs> uh, then a uh, Ala West story. Hello, Fringy. I say, Fringy. Hello, Raggers and Chatters and Jay. Hello. Hello. Well, that's wonderful. Fun fact, the voice actor for Bender is also the voice for Waka in Final Fantasy X. John wow, DiMaggio. A lot of things, mm. yeah. He's a, he's a, a hard-working voice actor, he is. He is, he is. Yeah. Uh, in African accent, why are you Jay? Oh, I, that's funny. That is good, I like that. Why are you Jay? I like it. Just watched uh, Man of Spooda. The three bug boys are great. Wait, you're not even gonna let me ask the fucking question? Wow. While Mr. Strange has the big tism, and I'm autistic. <laughs> Y'all should do a D&D &D campaign, hey rags. Hey, maybe. I, I wouldn't mind doing a Pathfinder 2nd Edition thing. I got the books, I just need to get the time to learn it, put it together, organize it. Also, you may now answer the question, Jay. I don't know, really. It's just sort of how it turned out, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Sweet. I must share my confusion and displeasure with the phrase, all but something. Does it mean something in every condition except for X, Irags, Moob, and Fra? Hello to you. Hello. Um, so all but, I'm trying to think of context where I even use it. I've forgotten. I don't know if anyone else is, uh, wants to work with this one. I, I, I assume not. A lot of silence, you know? Well, but like all but me, like who, who's doing this? Oh, all but me. Is that like, yeah, just, well, I, I don't have any problem with that phrase. All but me? Everyone except for myself. Yeah. That's what I thought it always meant. Yeah, everyone apart from me. Everyone apart from myself. But you guys All others. But. Bottoms. They'll say, it is important to say, this was a, a, a grammatical thing that I learned when I was in high school, was it is, let's say you're in a group, like, let's say you're in a classroom, right? And, and you want to, you, you, you want to say, sorry, I'm tired. So I'm, 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 we're, we're just rolling down this hill together. 
Um, if you want to say, I am the tallest person in this room, that would technically be grammatically incorrect because you're not taller than yourself who's in the classroom. You should say, I am taller than anyone else in the classroom. What? You are the tallest in the classroom, then. It's it's a it's a it's a thing. It's like a grammar thing. Like everyone knows what you mean when you say that, but it's like this one of those picky little technicalities of the. Like pointing out will make you lots of friends. It will. It. I, I've got. Well, no. I guess you're right. Um. I feel for Jamie at the end of Bly Manor. Like her, I wait for EFAP to release a watch party of the show, knowing it will never come. Very sad. Hi, Aww. Rex. Hello. Give us three to four years, and it will come out. <laughs> and that's that's expedient by EFAP, you know? <laughs> Lol, Muller would rather play DS2 than rewatch Atlas. That's very based and long-pilled of you. Have five more dollars. Hi Rags, <laughs> good day for you. Hello, Coom J. Hello, oh, Coom. It's just nice of you to say. The game is already long, but like I could do different builds and play through it multiple times. You know, like yeah, you could fuck around with it. Mm -hmm. it's like a lot of games that are bad. Uh, War of the Worlds was so terrifying as a radio play, it caused actual panic among citizens. That is. Uh, well, it's also because it, um, it, well, it, it's not just that it's so terrifying as a radio play, it's that it, it was told in the format of news reports and yeah. people believed that they were real news reports. Yeah. Yeah, it's remember, not, this not, like, is. It's not as simple this as was just a, being a very compelling drama that people panicked. This wasn't a thing that was done yet. It was like the first sort of thing like this to be. Yeah. Like, it, no point it's, of reference for anything else, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um,. You turn on your 1900s brain to the radio. You don't. You, this is a world without Dune and Star Wars and without memes as we know it, without the internet, without culture as we understand it to be. And this kind of thing that comes through on the radio like that, you're like, holy fuck. Especially if you're on the other side, because because the broadcast was referring to events that were happening in, I think, England. So you know, it's still on the it's on the other side of the planet, essentially far away from you and yeah I, I could see how some people would fall for that kind of thing hmm. it just wasn't something that was done like nowadays we'd know that this is a prank it's a joke it's all for funsies but back then they didn't have that frame of reference that we had more from hearing you right than the janky animations and terrible design of Dark Souls 2 is still preferable to the janky animations and terrible design of Atla oh my god also, hi, Fringy. Hey. Um, I never said that. That's not. That's a quote. That's been. That's, that's a bad, evil Mola, why criminal. Did you say that? Criminals everywhere. Mola, why did you say that? I read out a thing. That's that's my job. I gotta read them out. Hello. Is that a super chat you left yourself? No. Someone is correct. They did say that it was a theater production. I think. I do think that there was like a some sort of disclaimer or thing at the beginning, but yeah, if you but don't if you tune in halfway through, yeah. yeah. If you tune in or you turn that on afterwards, then you don't catch that. Well, I, um, um, as far as I'm aware, if in the UK, it is illegal to um, broadcast fake news reports um, in, in that way. It is like a part of your drama, which is why um, in TV, in British TV productions, if there is something happening on the news, you will see it. You, it will always be displayed playing on a TV rather than just direct to camera. Huh. So, like, you know, you'll have you'll have your little TV set up in the corner, and your characters will be watching the wow. news rather than it actually just being broadcast as the news. Interesting. Hello. I learned that in a Tom Scott video. Would you rather your planet be invaded and destroyed by Necrons, Tyranids, or Drukari? Also, did y'all get around to watching Invincible? No, we nope. didn't. No, we didn't. I as, don't have any interest in it. That's for Necrons, Tyranids, and Druk. I'm gonna have to. Whoever knows what those three things are, you go for it. 
They're, well, they're Necrons from Necrons has Warhammer. Necro in its name, so that sounds bad. So probably they're either like the other They're like undead two. zombie robots, and the Tyranids are like the Zerg. And what I don't know the what the Jakari is. You don't know what the Zerg are? Was it like the Flumbo? <laughs> Fuck me. It, Starcraft. Zerg. No, I've never done Starcraft. Like, oh, I bet I'm most not people. A nerd. Oh my goodness. Um, as for which one, it, I think is the most interesting. What What was the like our favorite? Which one would you rather be invaded and oppressed by? I was destroyed by. To be fair. I gotta let me look up Drukari. Oh, I spelled it right. Nice. I've always uh, believed in your ability to spell ranks. Mm -hmm. We, uh... Let's see, uh... Also known as Outsiders, the Dark Eldar are a forsaken and corrupt Eldari kindred, the sadistic, malicious counterparts of the Asuriani. Like their cousins of the craft worlds, the Drukari are an ancient and highly advanced alien race of fey humanoids. So they're all evil. Um... The Drukari revel in piracy, enslavement, and torture, and are sadistic in the extreme... Oh, that's not good. Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe the... I don't know. Necrons, I guess. Maybe there's... They could... I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's the best answer we come up with, apparently. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, a painting of a one-armed man holding onto the edge of a cliff with an itchy ass. Give it a title and an insightful description of the themes. Hmm. An itchy man doing what to his ass? Um, a man with one arm holding onto the edge of a cliff with an itchy ass. Ah. What is the title and give an insightful description? Oh, that's a fun. That's a fun themes. sounding image. Uh, call it grief, and. Then the insightful description of the themes is uh, life is not designed to reward you. It is designed for experience. It's about family, and that's what's really important about it. That's like the, the, yeah, that's the PS on that description. Uh, invite Adam. He cried when not in paper cutout set. Oh, Adam friended? I, I, I would have thought you would have made it in there, but I, don't, I, don't, I guess, I, you know. He's even got, like, superpowers and stuff. Yeah. We'll have him back at some point. Um, Just bringing the convo back, I will pay good money for a War of the Worlds EFAP. Also, Jay seems like we have similar horror experiences with it. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I can't promise when that will be, but uh, we will... You know, get around to it. Or something. I think we're all we're all interested in that, though. True. You suggesting to f push it to be sooner rather than later? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I'd, I'd enjoy that. Oh yeah, yeah I'd enjoy um, that. it's all about you. I, I, would Fringy enjoy it? I, I think he would. I think I believe I asked him if he wanted to catch it sometime recently, and he said yes. Oh, you're speaking for him, huh? Yeah. I wonder why. Because I'm more important than he is. Oof. I'm gonna tell Fringy you said that. Mm -mm. Please don't. He'd be upset. I don't no, want that. Yeah. Um, yes, Rags, you have them DSL too. And what do you think I mean by DSL, Jay? You got some nice lips. Oh, that's nice. Thank, thank you. <laughs> uh, Mola, TFA part four, and all of your thoughts on thighs? Thighs are cool. Uh, I don't have any thoughts about them. They, they're cool. I like them. I mean, well, I guess you can have some really bad ones. But, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty- I'm fine with eyes. And TFA Part 4? Who knows? Who could ever know? Who could ever know? Uh, you should EFAP Smiling Friends and cover it, it's great. We thought about that, I don't know how covering it would go. It's a little quick, and I wouldn't want to get caught on just explaining what I thought was funny. You know how it'd be. Um, epic voice. Oh, 
Jay, you've got the epicest voice right now because you're. Uh, okay, you're well, I think you've still got an epicer voice than me. You've got just generally very epic voice, more though. Well, that's the line they want read. Should we Let's both do it? Um. I think you should do it. I think you should do it. I believe in your. What epic is voice. the epic voice? Is it like the trailer voice, where it's like in a I world. Yeah, or maybe like I know your your uh, your Charles Dance voice. What? Oh, what's that one like? Uh, we uh, I, when he was like, I have a dream. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Uh, you realize that your options, no, your choices, brought you here, not fate. Fate is a fool's belief, and we know well not to be foolish. Beautiful. Is this is this someone who genuinely took the um you could use EFAP super chats to hire voice acting? Is that, <laughs> is that they ain't really gonna get the like quality it's literally fucking Mario Party tunes in the background, so not that that is bad. Uh Star Wars Theory did not like episode three of Boba. Well well. I don't uh, get I don't I just don't get it. Why was this one that broke the camel's back? I don't I just, know, I, I never know. I just um, don't get it. No standard whatsoever. It would be curious to know what it was. It might be the bikers. Seems to be everybody's Probably the bikers. Thing. Everyone hates the bikers. When I was a wee lad, I was so spooked by Metroid Fusion, I didn't make it to the first enemy. Aww. Ten years later, and I'm the same way with Soma. I'm weenie. Okay. You just keep at it. Keep trying. You'll make it. You'll make it. Uh, thoughts on Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds musical. Epic stuff. I don't think I've ever seen or heard of that. You guys you guys, you guys, guys know anything about Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds? I don't know who that is. I'm afraid, yeah, we're all out of the loop on that one. It was a, a musical, you said? Uh, apparently, <laughs> yes, musical. No, I don't know. High about school that. musical? <laughs> apparently the Wookiee is the... Far favorite from the newer comics, so he was apparently way too weak. The Wookiee was retarded. The Wookiee was stupid. I can't imagine people being that happy about him. Then it, maybe they were. I don't fucking know. They were probably really happy about him because they had they probably were, yeah. fight with him, right? They probably fucking I were. They probably thought the fight was amazing. Sleeping, man. Dude, my favorite part of that is oh, good, my gun. That's where I keep my knife. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. It was supposed to be funny. I'm sure of it. I want to throw this knife at his hand, but I definitely don't want to shoot him. That would be, that would be crazy. That that'll be fun for you guys to see. Rags is just complaining in the entire scene that no one has any guns, and then she picks up her gun. And he's like, "Yes." Then she pulls a knife out of it. And you're like, you, you are joking, of course. But no, uh, she did that. I think in in. Uh, uh, before she, I think we've seen a knife gun thing before, so you know it's it's set up, Rags. You should have seen it coming. I should have seen it coming. I should have seen it. His fascination with throwing knives. Yeah. Um. Also, I, I I'm assuming this is fine with everyone else, but we could probably stop there if if we're up to date on today's and we caught up with some of uh, the back backlog. Yo, I was just typing, like I uh, just typing. Hey, getting pretty tired. Well, now you don't need to. to. I know, right? It's actually more work because I need to go back and erase it because I don't want to say it now. And now I've had to, to explain. Well, I didn't have to explain. I thought it was just crazy. We're on the... We're, we are two of mind, of spirit. We're like on the same wavelength. We've been, we've been on these streams so long that our brains, they like touch each other. They tickle each other through the internet. Yeah. Electrically. Yes. And so yeah. did we do yeah. any of Rack 165? Forks, they're annoying me. We definitely did a, a, a decent chunk of 165, but there's lots left because we talked a lot about Spider-Man, which was... That's six, 165. But there are more. The next one says something about Gwen Stacy, so I... Yeah, I, who knows? Who knows what it'll be? Um, The Wookiee couldn't kill someone sleeping. Yes, and you know what? You'll find out more about that soon enough with the EFAB coverage of Book of Boba Fett, Episode 3. It's gonna be great. But until then, until Saturday... Uh, we shall say goodbye. Um, anything else you guys want to really say? This really will be the best episode of Boba Fett so far. I know there's only been two, but the, this third one will be... Three. This 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 episode is absurd. All right. 
True. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Ooh. Sleep well. Good night. Ooh, blah, blah, blah. Toodle blue. Bye. Bye.